Yeah, so to run Dead Rising, we use something called the Time Skip mod. Let me tell the run. Yeah, I have it on max volume, so I guess as well as have to deal with it. Um, I thought it would go higher. I thought maybe I lowered it last time I played it, but I'm cheater. That's what Suzuka tells me. He made the mod. But yeah, so anyway, going into for anyone who may be newer to Dead Rising speedrunning, uh, for Dead Rising, we actually use a series of mods because for Dead Rising 1 and 2, the games don't really let you speedrun them. It's a game that's on a six-hour rail, so realistically, you can't speedrun that. I mean, you technically can, but it's like four hours of waiting, and it's really not that entertaining. It wouldn't be fun to do. So what this does is this mod will move me between all the cases and the, you know, the scoops. So whenever I beat one case, uh, it's going to remove all the wait time and move me onto what I need to be doing next. So all that it's removing is just the fat, and you're keeping, I guess, the protein, so to speak. Um, if you're wondering how would you speedrun Dead Rising without the mod, um, you end up getting your ass kicked by the military when they come in, and then they, like, chop off, I think, 30 minutes at a time. Uh, I'm using a PS3 controller, and that's actually a good question, Angel X plays. Uh, just because with Dead Rising 1, I have always done it on PS3. Like, I have to be on PS3 for this game. It's really, really weird. Um, it's kind of a quirk that I've developed over years of running this game, and, like, it, nothing else works for me. Like, I try anything else, it just, it doesn't work. I have to be on DS3 Windower. The ending F? Oh, ending F is just pure waiting. You can't do that for the military. Am I getting world record? Technically? Like... Only because nobody else runs this category of all the games? Not Alan Peterson? What, what's the fucking meme right now? Because you mentioned Peterson. Uh, the fucking, uh... Up yours, woke moralist. <laughs> I saw a Crash Bandicoot meme, and it's like, uh, when you know when Crash can warp when he goes to the fucking warp zones and the Cortex pops out? Oh god, it's been fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I went from, like, not knowing jack shit, I just keep seeing memes. Fastest Frank. Ah, yes, of course. Anyway, uh... Hooray, we did it. I go by four seconds. Up yours, woke moralist. We'll see who cancels who. <laughs> oh, God. It's so dumb. Oh, God, we can grab. Fuck, I grabbed. Okay, you know what? I'm having fun, though. Anyway, uh, here's our first thing right now. You're gonna die, then delete that tweet. <laughs> so check this out. See, Kent? I'm gonna shoot him. Uh, what that does is I'll skip all the dialogue. And then I'm going to make a quick step. Quick step's actually really cool. And that's going to allow me to get this. There you go. Other control edit. There's been a lot of fun ones. Uh, we get uh, survivors until same play. Do you wait to go? Oh, what do you mean? So Dead Rising, you really, like, you can try doing a lot of survivors, but there's no guarantee will actually work. Hey, you dick. God damn it, I hate you, Kent. There we go. He's being pretty bratty, chat. He's being a bratty boy. Come on. Do your pose, Kent. Oh, he's bratty. Well, that's fine. I can make this work. Uh, we're doing a marathon today, Centarius. We're doing a big Dead Rising marathon. Alright, good stuff. Wait, is he actually taking pictures? Kind of. Come on, hey, can't, can't, can't. I was in the clinic. I hate this man. I hate this man so much. Ah, uh, maybe this will do. Yay, it worked! Holy shit, I hate this man. We did it! The comics definitely take some work, but if you get used to it, it's not so bad. Alright, there we go. Uh, clear the bathrooms after the outbreak. I mean, I don't think they're worrying too much. I think they I think they firebomb the city. Like, I don't think they have to worry about any janitors of Willamette Mall. Like, the city gets firebombed. How the fuck did I get 700? You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know. I just sort of went for it. And no, Kent was not being very submissive and photogenic. I think Kent was being a bratty boy. <laughs> but yes, and Harrius, like, I have missed Dead Rising. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I love doing the marathons, and I think with Dead Rising 2, I might want to return to grinding that a bit so I can get world record again, because I know I can. Um, with Dead Rising 1, though, I think we're still in the break period. Like, I know this game will come back eventually, 
But for right now, I love doing it for marathons. It's just so much better for me. I think you can kind of tell as well. I'm not like, I don't have to reset right there. It's not so bad. Like, it's pretty nice. Although I did not have to um, go through the zombies. I could just shot. All right, that's fine. Uh, pop, 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 pop. And chat, Dead Rising is like, you know, you never forget how to play Dead Rising. You made it? Well, hey, great to see you lost Pop Tart. Hope you're doing good. Hey, I got stock. Fuck yeah, that's good. Yeah. Skill? The skill never goes away, truly. It's good stuff. I'm glad I dodged that zombie. That was all skill. Definitely nothing else. What are you laughing at, Rod? Is me, uh, getting punched in the back of the head? Because it might happen. I don't know when, but it's entirely possible. I always expect it. Dude, I'm so used to Dead Rising 2's janky fucking boarding that I'm kind of trying to do the same thing here. PP, eh, we're growing, we're making that PP rise, you know what I mean, right? Oh no, Jeff Meyer's dead, he died of old age, I can't believe it. Make him never run? Nice. Still on ban request? Honestly, I don't think it's going to be anything too bad. I really don't mind all that much. I don't care about plebs. When you level up, what you get for levels random. So it's not quite random, Gingerbread Boy. It's random in the sense that it's... In Dead Rising 1, it's seeded. So there's like five or so seeds you can get. In between those seeds, it can be any of those. So the first, like, up to level five will always be Jump Kick, Zombie Ride, Stock, and Health. It just, depending on, you know, depending on you, depending on how you level up and what RNG you get... Um, you might get different stuff. So, it's not really RNG in the sense of, um... I mean, you don't really need RNG minute levels, like... Because, also, you really can't. I have no idea when they're decided. Um, also, it's not really worth it, because you can still get record even on the worst RNG, I think. Whee! Good job, Frank. Chat, look at me, I'm still fucking... I still got it. Still got the moves. It's like beating up a bicycle, chat. You never forget how to do it. Anyway. Yeah, so uh, only hips. That's something called a bike zip. Uh, bike zip is a strategy in Dead Rising where you're able to launch Frank like 80 feet in the fucking air. Uh, the reason why that works is something with the way you kind of get the bike stuck on the wall and also getting a high enough FPS to do that. So it's really cool that they can skip the entirety of the walk back. You know how to do it to him, Zendarius. You still got it? Thank you, Creator, for the cheers. Chat, if you enjoyed the uh, the flawless bike zip, definitely type uh, the new cheery mode in chat, because I'm glad you've been enjoying that. Cool. That was a good one. That was a really good one. But I hope that kind of explains. By the way, um, if you have any questions about the run, you're more than welcome to ask. I kind of just assumed that uh, being confused, like, uh, what the fuck is usually a... You're probably curious. So, yeah, if you have any questions, just feel free to let me know. Feel free to let me know. I don't have a... That's fine. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a, uh, a newer strat that we had a while back. Why was I moving forward like that? What the fuck? That's weird. Cheering in spirit? Well, there you go. Good. Nishi with the tier 1 for 28 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors... And thank you. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day today. I hope you're doing good. We have a new emote, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Also, here's another strat we're going to be doing. This is the SMG strat. Um, that's fine. Good. I was a bit worried, and luckily he was far away enough, so we're good. Why did I change rank in 4? Uh, really, the answer goes back to time crunch. Uh, they didn't have a lot of time. Is there a new game plus category? Yes, but personally, I don't like doing it because I don't think it's really entertaining for me to um, just one-shot every boss. My favorite part about Dead Rising is the bosses. I think just going to every boss, just shooting them once to the Mega Man Buster and running to the next one isn't very fun. I know there's a subset of people who do like that, but I've just never been a fan, you know? But it does exist, and if you're curious, they are on speedor.com and you can find them. Thank you, Andromeda, for the gifts of debut going to K Corona. You enjoy the ability to cheer and make sure you thank them. This is very sweet. But yeah, um, honestly, I think New Game just uses a lot more cool strats, too. 
Um, a fun fact is, in order to maintain my maximum movement speed throughout the mall, I'm actually going to be keeping my skateboard, um, you know, as damage-free at all times. So you're kind of looking around, and you may notice I'm getting off the board at certain times. Um, also, DJ Crab Hat, thank you for Tier 1 for six months. Enjoy the green scissors, the cheer, and the emotes. Dicey, cheer, dicey, cheer, dicey, and thank cheer. you very much. Hope you're having one for the day today. And thank you. Alright, also, really quick before I get more into it, here's a strat. I'm gonna remember the convex. One, two, three. Alright, good ship. Beautiful. So there you see the 100 biddies. We have a hype train going on. Uh, there's the gone, there's the guru's dead. I'm the gone guru, not them. But yeah, um, yeah, with the board, though, I'm trying to avoid taking hits, because it can only take three, and if I break the board, I'm not moving. So I gotta make sure I'm very careful when I weave in and out of the zombies. Um, it's actually really why I like doing this from New Game Files. There's so much cool shit you get to do. And also, we have a hype chain chat. If we hit level 5, I will play Bustin'. All we have only have to hit it. If we maximize it, I will give you a singular thumbs up. And you get to look at my weird thumb, which apparently... You know, I show my thumb to people at GDQ, and they told me I had a weird thumb, and I was like, no, I don't have a weird thumb. But they laughed at my weird thumb chat. I'm sorry. But they did. Alright, actually, get a second board, and uh, let's do that. If dicey cheer bustin', if dicey cheer bustin'. Oh, I got perfect RNG. Why did I do that? That's fine. Thank you very much, by the way. St. Harris and Valentine Biddies. Thank you, Andromeda, uh, for the 25 Biddies, the bustin' ones. And thank you, Mushbrain, for welcome to Biddies as well. Hope you're doing good today. I got a real Hitchhiker's Thumb. It, like, goes far back. I know you can't see it yet. We'll see. You know, so far this is good, though. And someone asked earlier if I'll put this on YouTube. Yeah, ideally, if Dead Rising 3 or 2 don't mess up, then yes. I shall be putting them there. You need a close-up? Uh, hey, get a level 5 hype train, you'll get a close-up. Alright, yeah, a maximized level 5 hype train, I should say. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, this is... Oh, I should have kept the gun. Uh, I'm dumb. Uh, well, let's do this. Damn it. God, I hate this so much. Uh, Hitchhiker, I think. There we go. It's such an awkward hitbox if you get it just wrong. Okay, there we go. But yes, I have a Hitchhiker's Thumb, my eighth. Which of the Dead they crashed everything? Three. Sam Russi with the team over 26 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you very much. Hold on. Did someone say level five high train? We did. We'll see if we get it, though. We will see. Sweet. Good five. One moment. Uh, we'll be uh, getting rid of that one. Let's take you. Give me you. Okay. Thank you very much, by the Cake Mobile, for the Prime Gaming. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. And thank you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And welcome to the swarm. And we have a new cheer emote. So you, you know what? It's a great time to be in a Dice sub. You're getting new emotes. All right. Anyway, time to drink up. Like the Batmobile. Cakemobile. Hey, okay, Cakemobile. I like the name. Thank you for correcting me. I always butcher names on my own end. I butcher my own name. Cakemobile. I like your name. Also, thank you again, Sam Rusty, for the 26 months. I like the idea. You want to see my weird thumb, don't you? It looks not like that, but this way. See, Chat's trying to get free thumb picks because they're going to screen cap them. Anyway, check this out. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, I was on backup. Oh, God, I got bashed in the skull. I was on backup at the last event, and, um, hold on. Um, I was on backup for the last event, and I ran Dead Rising 1 at the previous GEQ. So, I'm definitely a fan of this game franchise. It is uh, very near and dear to me. So, I definitely hope that you enjoy it. Uh, I think Switchbacks is most of the best. Switchbacks good, but I think my favorite from Dead Rising 2 has to be Firewater. Like, I just... It's just such a banger. But Switchbacks are really good. Why do I kill the survivors? Great question, Pickle Fork. So I'm killing the survivors because Dead Rising... I'm really all of it. I think Dead 1 and 2. But Dead Rising 1 has a survivor cap. So you can only have 8 survivors existing in the mall at a time. Uh, throughout the game's 
you know, timer, they'll spawn in at different times. So, some bosses have survivors tied to them. Um, like, as you saw there, Cliff had three. Uh, Joe has four, and the later boss is going to have five. So, the only way I can get bosses to really show up is if I actually kill their survivors. Because otherwise, other boss... Oh, shit! Ah, uh, no, he did it! Wait, that's bad. Really? Of all things I could fuck up is that... Fuck you, Steven. There, you're dead. Oh, they're good stuff. They're really good stuff. Alright, good. Yeah. Right, we'll see what happens. I mean, if it happens day one, I'll fucking take it. Like, I will try my best to get on whatever I can get in on. I definitely think I've become a bit of a Dead Rising guy uh, everywhere. So, um, I would absolutely love to do that. Also, I'm going to skip this split, I think. Because I don't actually know where I'm supposed to split. Also, I should take wine, but I'm not a coward. Fuck it, let's go. I think Dead Rising 4, it's a rush game. That's really my main gripe of it. I don't think it's a bad game. I think it's a rush game. Uh, I played it. It is very, like, just... It's It has flaws, but it's not a, really a boring game, if that makes sense. Like, I think if you knew nothing about Dead Rising, you would have fun with it. Also, welcome on in. How are you doing today, I, it's Andy. Okay, I think I grabbed the magazine now. Cause now I have, finally have a skateboarding mag. Whee! What should you DJ to name this with Clussy? You know, that's a very good question. That's a that's a very good question, Ross. Alright, uh, let's see. I'm gonna play it safe. Come here, you dick. Come on. There you go. Fire, that's fine. So I'm playing a very safe strat right now. Um, normally, if you don't play a riskier, you can get greedy. But on higher FPS... Actually, on any FPS, it's not like fucking 30. Uh, Adam can infinite block. What that means is the machete is like, usually like 90 hits or some shit like that. Um, if Adam blocks it just right, he can get all 90 in one block. Which is absolutely terrible for me. Uh, so I'm mainly just playing this fight safe. I'm not trying to fuck around with Adam. Also, Adam can, uh, 100 to 0 you. He's one of the only bosses in the game that's capable of that. It's fucking wild. Uh, I'm gonna let Katie die. Uh, Katie's not quite in, uh... What's the word? She won't be, uh, much of a thing going on. Uh, let's do that. Okay. So, Katie might be dying. Yes, I am glad you enjoy it, Ethan. I, I said we're getting it. Wait, what level of hype training did we get? We got level two. Okay, I was checking. Like, did you? Did chat bust? They tried. Also, that's actually decent RNG. I think. Let's do this. Really? Did I whiff like a bunch of them? I think it did. Yeah, it did. Uh, I guess he's moving. There we go. Good chip. I think I suddenly know, kind of. Hey, sounds good, William. It's fun stuff. I mean, no, you don't get any of the thumb. It's all or nothing. You don't even get to bust. You're edged now, chat. And if you want to unedge, you'll have to wait till the next hype train, I suppose. Uh, oh God, wait a minute, stop it. I didn't think it would grab me. I mean, that's how it goes. You know, that's the way of the hype train. At least you got a new emote. Yeah. I like the Adam fight. Adam is weirdly difficult with how he functions. It's kind of strange, actually. Come on. Anyway, chat, you want to see Greg's reward for helping us? Forever. Oh, thank you, me, Jessica, for giving a sub to Forever Edged. Thank you. All right, Greg, good job. I'm proud of you, buddy. He did it. All right. Maybe I don't do that. Now, chat, you know I had to do it to him. You know I had to. Okay. Don't you ever think maybe Greg needed killing? Because, you know, I think he did. I think he really did. Oh, God. I should check my posture. I check my neck instead. Exactly. Greg tried his best. Thank you for the follow, by the way. 
But also, welcome on in, Corroded Pixel. I like the combination. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you have any questions, let me know. I was going to cuddle poop. Also, chat, time for the most important part of the run. Fantastic. Actually, I think I need a better photo. Hold on. Fantastic. Eh, fuck it. The first one will do. Hey, look, chat, Booba. <laughs> oh, God. Never gets old. Uh, did I play Rising Frank deal. You mean Frank? Yeah, I played Frank Rank Rising. You only need five on the one. Oh, that's good. I thought you need like a thousand. Yeah, thumbs. Oh, you did get a thumbs up, I guess. You got a free one on me. Well, that was for Frank. Slightly different. All right, I can, I can beat this board a little bit more. That they can, Ravenloft. That they can. I mean, is it wrong? I don't think it's wrong whatsoever. I think it's a very correct opinion, in fact. Shit. Uh, you know what? This can work. Alright, come here. Hey, Kent! Kent, stop being a word that sounds like Kent and get your ass over here, buddy. Okay. Come on. Hey, it's a classic one. I hope you'll be okay. I hope that you'll be doing all right, Global Reset. Counseling dinner? I hear that. There you go. Ah, I look so you got it, so that's good. Uh, I think it's this one. I should play it safe, but chat, do I look like a fucking coward? No. Wait, that's a baguette. Hold on, chat. Like, Dicey, you suck. Frank sucks down baguettes like a goddamn champion. Chat, if you're, if you're looking for a man, find you a man like Frank. Do you see what he did with that baguette right there? Did you see that shit? Uh, we do have to kill Kent, but we kill him later. We have to do his boss missions. What? Have you never seen Frank suck, suck down a baguette? Why do you think we have a suck emote? Dude, he put that down clean. You know the phrase, road hard and put away wet? Yeah, the wet part's Frank's throat. Because god damn. Anyway. Time for Joe to die. Here's a favorite strat. Uh, in addition to killing Joe, I'm also gonna, just gonna let K die. Because it's funnier that I can just kind of infinitely, infinitely attack Joe from K. Oh no, K Nelson is dead. I can't believe it. Joe, you killed her, you monster. How could you? All right, don't worry, I'll help you. Wait. There we go. Oh no, they all died. There's nothing we can do. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's, it's all over. <laughs> They're gone. Dude, Franken actually, he can. He can suck a cork out of a fucking wine bottle. Oh no, why would he do that? Oh no. The bullet just flew right at him. Oh no. So someone in chat might wonder what the fuck I did. Again, that's a survivor count. I need to make sure that I'm staying constant beneath eight. Um, so I have to kill all of them. Oh, I was on Gert. Yeah, it's wild how their head just exploded. The day is saved. More like under new management, is what Frank says. You know, Frank was just kind of an inhuman monster, and that's my favorite part whenever someone plays Dead Rising for the first time. It's like, how's this game gonna go? Well, Frank can literally rip out the guts of another man. And uh, that's something he has the capability of just doing. Like, not not that like it's a, a thing that like he might do, like he can do it, and he will do it. So. He is, isn't he? On the X Games mode, right? He's been in wars? Yeah. <laughs> he certainly has, hasn't he? Alright, next mission's gonna be easy. I can't do that? No, I cannot. Is stream quiet? It shouldn't be. Why? Might be your end. Oh, uh, it's it's the it's the game. Uh I don't know why. It just happens with uh, Dead Rising 1 Remji. Uh Remish. Remish? Remy. Uh it just happens. It's a Dead Rising 1 problem. I don't know why. Um 
I even have V-Sync on and everything. It just sort of happens. It's funny because I bought a new computer. It still happens. So. Capcom ports, huh? So that is the case. Also, someone mentioned the game might be quiet. I have it up on max volume. He hasn't been anywhere he's covered them? Yeah, and spit. I've seen the video. Really? Uncle Roger, time to die. How dare you pollute my YouTube content for like a month. Hold on. Stop it. Alright, good. There we go. Game volume's good? Yeah, it should be about right. Chainsaw Blaster. Exactly. Chainsaw Blaster. God damn, I hate these guys. Uh, anyway, don't need you, and let's move. Uh, I should take two, actually. I, I have the ability to. That's what I'd say. Why not? Uh, I don't want to fuck around with this bell. Right, so we have, like, a nine, uh, like, possibly a nine and a half hour stream coming along, so, like, let's play it safe, yeah. Chainsaw Blaster. Rather be safe than sorry. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I really do enjoy playing Dead Rising, though. It is a fantastic franchise, and it's good times in general. So I've always had a, I've always had a fun time doing this franchise. Also, I know like uh, there's a good few people uh, from GDQ who uh, came in from the run. So if you are new from the GDQ Hotfix, I do hope you enjoyed that. Um, I guess I'll probably be submitting Dead Rising 2 once again to the next event, but uh, I do kind of feel bad that I didn't get in. Like, I was really close, and it just kind of the event cycle. It's no hard feelings, though. There's always next events, you know? It is a comfort game. It's a nice one, too. Oh, Dead Rising as well. Like, one of the most important games for my life, I think. Yep. Shit. Come on. Isabella. Patient for revenge? What revenge? <laughs> oh, God, Isabella. There you go. Thank you. What revenge? Hey, maybe. Uh, I'm definitely submitting Lollipop Chainsaw to AGDQ. So you don't have to worry about me there. I will be submitting that game absolutely. Great job, Frank. I'm really proud of you. Yeah, a little too much whiskey? I know the feeling. How are you doing today, Steady? I play a Dead Rising VR game? Nah, I don't really do VR. I mean, I probably would, because I'm assuming... If Capcom literally sent me everything, yes. Otherwise, I don't really do VR. But I do love Dead Rising. I mean, it is a horror game, believe it or not. Like, a lot of people are surprised when they hear it. But it is a horror game. Tipsy? Well, doesn't make sure you drink plenty of water. It is quite important. Anyway, um... I'm glad I got the extra gun. Like, I don't totally need it, but, like, I was... It's just right. Oh, of course. That'd be the plan right there. Green screen my body off of the GDQ stage. Hmm. You need to do. I can't do this without you. Poor Carlito. I love that this category is the only category, too, that fights Carlito's truck fight. It's a good category. Where did my phone go? Oh, my phone's charging. That's right. I was wondering where the hell my phone went. Oh. I got added on Twitter. Was it you, chat? Did, did you at me on Twitter? Because you know what? You might have. You just might have, actually. It is very possible. And one more drink. Well, drink water. Definitely drink water. I'll tell you that much. No, I'm not going to make a Twitter account for PETA. He gets to chill in the back of my room, staring at me, menacingly. 
That's what he does. And when he'll be out, well, make sure you're staying safe. I always uh, encourage that. Like, as much as I like to party and drink, safe drinking is cool, chat. Alright. Anyway, I hope this fight doesn't fuck me. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright. Sean, please, think of the children. Not like that, Sean. Please, stop. Don't kill me. Oh, wait, he's dead. Never mind. Okay, good job, Sean. Proud of you. Are you remember Natterdays? The Natty Daddies? Of course. Anyway, dead. Dead. I got speed? Dude, I am speed. Holy shit, I don't have to jump anymore. Wait, Chad, Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? Oh, she's dead. Alright, don't break on me, board. real cool. Oh, shit! Uh, go, 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 go! Okay, good. Thank God. Sure, why he falls down? No idea, actually. I assume it's kind of supposed to, I, I assume Sean's fall down is a desperation move. Uh, cause I think the idea is he's like an old man, so he's on his knees, and then it baits you in, and then he hits you. Cause no log games that do that. So, uh, you can't get away with the surprising amount of age, but, uh, wait, what do you mean? Well, that's, at least you're safe. You know, this run's been going really well. For, like, me returning to this, like, run, I haven't done it in a bit. It's going... I think it's kind of nice that I never truly forget how to play these games. Like, I always do kind of worry that whenever I play anything, it's like, I'm going to be good. But, yeah. So, I hope that you're enjoying it so far, Chance. Oh, wait, is Belgaris over here? I'm... Am I... Hmm, weird. I feel like I'm a little bit more left than I normally am. Maybe I have to move it over. It's weird. Oh, I get. Yeah, I'm dumb. That time I I moved a window that I've that make more sense. Well, I'm glad I can in uh, intuitively know something. There's like a window on my monitor above me. It's like, why is that more right than it look normally is? So I guess that would track. You see, chat, we're currently 13 seconds ahead. We're doing it. I'll save all the time in this game. It's perfect, really, when you think about it. Can you imagine Kent 100 zeros me, by the way? I mean, he can do it. Kent's one of the only bosses in the game who actually can get you uh, on a fucking infinite. Uh, I'm on PS3. Um, every other game uses PS4. This is the only one... Oh, wait, let's actually take the safe route. Um, this is the only one I have that takes um, PS3. And the reason why is because back when I was playing this game, I just had DualShock 3. And I've been using it for years, so it's definitely a comfort thing for me. And I've tried doing other controllers to Dead Rising 1, it just doesn't feel right. Like, I feel like I'm physically just worse. So. Uh, I'll be playing the game, she's not. So I've never actually played Shadows of the Dam. And very often, so I can always speedrun new games, what I'll do is I will play them casually. So, I'll be playing Shadows of the Damned casually tomorrow, and then if that goes well, we will see how a speedrun's looking. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I kinda wanna treat that game like Live Hop Chainsaw. So. Uh, I played all of them on PC. What? You mean the games? Yeah, I'm on PC. Uh, you can connect a PS3 controller to PC, Is that if that's what you mean. Oh, he's drinking Who do you hope is drinking Natterdays? Also, Bomb Collector, you think it's gonna go good or bad? It's gonna be bad, ain't it? Yeah, Shadows of the Dam will be tomorrow, so I can test the waters of that game. And do like mangoes. Alright, good. Alright, time for Paul. Yes! Good fucking fight. Chat, you ready for Christmas carols? Paul's nuts roasting on an open fire. You know, I don't know the rest of the song, but I'll help him put it, I'll help him put it out. Don't worry, Paul. I got you, buddy. I got you. Don't worry. It's absolutely necessary. Gotta do it, lad. Is he enjoying it? I might say it's a really hot situation. Anyway, he's dead. Jack Frost. Well, Jack Frost was kicking. That was in weird France, we're doing good. 
follow you money? I was just trying to help him put it out. The fire wouldn't go out. Wait, did I grab my chainsaw? Okay, I did. Thank God. I was like, did I grab the chainsaw? Jack Frost nipping at his toes. Well, more like Jack Frost nipping at his nuts then, I suppose. God, you wish that were you. You want an overweight reporter to kick you in the nads until you die? While you're on fire? I I'm just saying, like, that's what that statement implies. I guess that's fair. You can't say nuts twice. I suppose that's fair. You can say a shaft. I'm always seeing a picture at the same time. Well, there you go. You know what my favorite comment whenever I play Dead Rising is? The amount of people go like, wow, Frank West is a hot man. It's like, are you really into overweight, like, average men? Like, is that your jam right there? Overweight reporters specifically? Because Frank West is meant to be, like, the average American man. Shit, I need to go. Ah, that's fine. Maybe I'll go here. There we go. Ah, uh, that's worth it. Not what I wanted, but it'll do. Okay, would you believe me if I said I invented the strap? You know how I learned that? I came up with it by watching Liquid Wi Fi. I'm not even fucking kidding. Because originally it would just chase him and do it on the fly. But watching Simpsons hit and run speed running, I was like, wait, what if I just rammed him? And then I found out, wait a minute, he actually gets stuck on the wall if you do that. So. Watch other speedruns to help you with your speedrun. And we'll blame over at Frank West came to save you. Well, I was coming in to get saved. And yeah, I mean, I'd have to fool anyone saving me. Now, if he's, you know, making moves at me, I'm sorry. I'm not into overweight men. Hell, I'm not into any men. To is it totally a Chad? I don't know if Frank's a Chad. Frank West is supposed to be the antithesis of Leon. Keep that in mind, that's Frank's whole core. He's supposed to be the opposite of Leon, the anti-Leon. But Leon's the suave, you know, the sweethearts. Uh, I guess, you know, I guess Leon doesn't ever really succeed, though, does he? In that case, Frank West might actually succeed. Huh. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Even in Frank's own, yes, even in Frank's power fantasy, he's still overweight and bankrupt. <laughs> and he's breaking, breaking, bank, breaking his knees. He's saving you from loneliness? There you go, then. More power to you. Not gonna lie to you, chat. I, uh... I was in rents. You know, I guess I don't have a dog in it. I'm not a chick. Or I'm not a, I'm not in dudes in general. So I can't really tell you how I feel about Frank. I'm just saying, though, like, I, I feel like I can do better than Frank. Whether or not you can or can't, up to you, chat. So, anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, I should a cock and ball torture. Exactly. What a name. Look at that. Oh, my God, we have a band evader. Hold on, I want to check this shit out. Wait, I thought that was my account. No, I did us, oh, that's right. Hold on, hold on, let's see. The hold on, hold on. Hold on, I got a fun one here. I wanna read this shit. Uh imagine wishing prime so much so I'm sure such a friend when you know. Uh she challenged him and we're trying to ship him with life. Ah, of course, of course. Well you got the account of Dick it Ectic Eats. We all know the real alt accounts like Dick Us. I don't know if Shaq can even read that, I'm not gonna lie to you. But you know what? Chat. You ready? Are you ready? Because I got a fun one here. I actually got the ban evasion. A man's coming through with the ban evasion. I was right. The guy was coming in. I mean... I'm really surprised. I think it's funny. But let's see here. Well, look at that. I told you, right? And can you do me a favor and copy and paste that? Because it's probably going to scroll by at some point. I'm not going to read all of it. And I'm not going to read all of it now intently. But when I get to a funny cutscene, you bet your ass I'm going to read all that. So. Anyway. Hey, th uh, thanks for the ad uh, view. Copy pasta. Oh, yeah. We have a new copy pasta already brewing. 
Should I paste it now? No, don't paste it yet. I want to read it out loud first. Just, uh, chat, we didn't get, uh, you can't see it because, uh, ban evasion prevents messages from showing up because the guy's a dumbass. But, uh, he also gave me a free ad. Oh, now he's insulting the mods. Eh, mods can do something about it if they want to. I can't believe it. Why did I save the game? Fuck it, it's fine. Oh no, Mindy Baker's dead. I can't believe it. My brother in Christ. Your poor feelings, right? I can't believe it. I'm more surprised that he actually made an account with my meme name. I can't believe it, chat. However will I live. Actually, he didn't type any bad words. It's more just, it's a long fucking message. Yeah, you can go ahead and ban him now. I'll read it later. If you're already copy and pasting the messages, go for it. I mean, you can't read, the messages aren't even really visible anyway, but still. It's the principle of the matter. Also, I used a lot more chainsaw than I should have. Hey, there you go. Curbello, the name of the 220 months. 20 months, damn right. Months, damn Enjoy right. the emotes and the scissors. And thank you very much, Cabello. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. And if you haven't seen the cheery mode, it's pretty good. I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, hold on. Uh, let's get rid of you and let's get rid of you. Okay. One, two, three. Let's do red. Right? I can't believe it. It hurt my mod's feelings. They'll never recover. I, I can't believe it. No, that doesn't mean ghost. Uh, were you all aware that quarter Canadians? Whoa, you okay? That sounds fucking awful. Yeah, it's a good emote. Wait, was that, that was the guy who I banned for telling me to hurry up. Really? That's... That's that's why? There you go. You figured it out? What, for Sean kneeling? That'd be neat. You know, chat, hold on. I want to theorycraft for a moment, because I'm actually kind of curious... Why do I have a fragile, fragile, fragile ego? This guy was bitching. I have a fragile ego, and you can't believe people follow me for that. What would you think makes me have a fragile ego? I'll start. I... I'm a jack of all trades, and don't really have a lot of competitive world records. Even then, I don't really have an ego about it. I'm kind of just pointing out what I'd probably say. My small hands. Yeah, I do have small hands. That's right. I can fit my hand in a Pringles can. I ban you personally. Exactly. I can't believe it, Rosie. What? Yeah, I can I can fit my hand in a fucking Pringles can. You can't? It's a party trick. I can get the last Pringle. My gorgeous mane. Yeah, you got it. It's because I bring up cock and ball torture once a day. Because I ban everyone. Oh, yeah, I, can you imagine, wait, can you imagine if this was the, the, uh, the spiders guy? You too? You see, I'm not the only one. We're extremely powerful, PJ Kenk. We're extremely powerful. Ultimate power. I wonder what the unban request is going to be, by the way. My lack of or- Ah, oh, yes, that's what, that's why I have a fragile ego, because I wasn't invited to the GDQ orgy. I can't believe it. That is why I have a fragile ego. So, I, I get it. Oh, God. Uh, let's do double shotgun. Because I'd rather not worry about Larry. Maybe they get a Natterday for me? Maybe, actually. Maybe. Oh, well, anyway, I'll see they're on ban request in like 15 minutes. And I'll see what they have to say. I'm sure they'll give me something funny, alright? I mean, I say the same thing to anyone who usually gets banned here. Do you really want me living rent-free in your head? Just look at me, dude. A guy who plays video games online uses the phrase cock and ball torture once a day. If I'm living rent-free in your head, then, uh... I mean... That's on you. <laughs> like, personally, I wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't. Hey, PJ Kank. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the tier one. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. And welcome to the swarm. Hopefully you are having a wonderful day today. And thank you very much. I'm glad you've been enjoying the stream so far. We also got a oh I can go this way, what am I doing? Uh, we also got a brand new emote, which is cheer, which is pretty nice. In the follow, by the way. 
Captain Walmart. Thank you for the tier one for 14 months. Yeah, it's a good time. We're just uh, a little bit in Dead Rising 1. We'll be uh, doing pretty good. On ban request? Ooh, this is spicy. Hey, I'm d all right. By the way, I'm just going to say it right now. You're giving me free content for Twitter and TikTok. I got some dank likes because of it earlier. And uh, I'll say thank you. I'll say thank you really quick. <laughs> I haven't even read it yet, but... Uh, as a, uh, anything, like, any slurs or anything in it? Or is it just a regular on ban request? And is it funny? Or is it, like... I'm always curious. Because the copy and paste is already pretty fucking funny. Uh, hold on. Go to that. Not quite on the spiders level? Okay, cool. No slurs? Fuck yeah. Thanks for the free content. Hey, Twitch chat. Do me a favor. For our band friend here, can you either type, uh, like Dicey Cheer or OS Frog to say thanks for the content? Because our man's giving you free content right now. In the middle of your content, you're eating more. Because I, I'm having fun with it, dude. And all good. All good in drumming. All good. Are those uh, frogs in cars? I fucking love that. It's good shit. Anyway, I'm going to get the meat. I don't feel like taking Larry Risky. So we got banned. Yeah, I banned some guy who I think... I want to say it was the guy in the beginning of the stream who was like, hurry the fuck up. But, like... I don't know. I'm guessing it's that. Which, I'm also guessing it's someone else who probably, uh, was here before. Because there's no way in hell they would just know that name so quickly. And that's a, that's a deep cut of a name. So they're previously aware, yada yada yada, they'd be aware of my ego, they'd be aware of blank, they, they probably, they're probably an old person who got banned again, in fact. So... Right? I can't believe you're a speedrunner. Why are you ta Why are you having an, an intro screen to go get water? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, that guy. And I can't believe you insulted the mods. Oh, oh there it is, Unit Turtle. I can't believe it. Did we get the up yours, woke moralist? We'll see who cancels who. <laughs> Where's the gray? Ah, yes, of course. That's who it was, Blue Laser. That's who it was. Every guy you told it works? No, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, you mean for the Sean Fall, right? So how's it work? Oh, give me one moment really quick, because we're on the, uh... Did you? I can always check chat history, because you might have, but I may have missed it. Oh, hold on, there we go. Okay. And, uh, party time. Alright, uh, I feel like I might have spent... Not yet, okay. Oh my god! Wow. That was barely... You get him to 75% health? Okay, cool. So that's what it is. I've been to Japan? No, but I'd love to go someday. Who is not an action below center to fall down? Okay, yeah, you did then. You did. I wonder why that's the case. Like, such a weird thing, right? Alright, so Red is dead. Hey, Larry's fight was actually a bit rough there. Is it installed from Fortnite? Technically, but I also have been doing this earlier. Much earlier than Fortnite. Yeah, IQ. I thought it's been a bit to, uh, since we lost on Dead Rising, so that'd be fun. We. Okay. Larry? Exactly. Larry. Poor Larry. By the way, I'm quite excited. I guess after Dead Rising 1's done, I'll read it, because we have a little setup in between. Oh god. That's fun. Alright, I can't quite read it now uh, for the other one, but I'll read both. That was a bad fax. I mean, I'll take it, but that's fine. Yeah, it was a good time skeptical. I really like running Dead Rising 2 again. It's definitely been a bit. Also, the guy got it wrong. He said I was a GQ employee. No, no, no. I'm a GDU Hotfix employee. There's a difference. I work for GDU Hotfix. I mean, it's a slight difference, but get the title right, dude. Come on. 
You gotta put some respect on that. I don't have the dank hoodie yet. I'd love to get that. So. Exactly. You can't even get the insult properly. He's giving me more props. Yeah, I'm not an employee yet. Although I did party with Mikey Yama. And I handed him a natter day. I handed him two, in fact. Larry the platypus. No, Perry the platypus. And tag for my promotion. Hey, but how do you wait? Chat, what if that was actually a plant sent by Mikey Yama to hype me up for a promotion, huh? You see, uh, we're focusing on the uh, the other news. What if it was actually a plant? You see, he actually knows the truth. He knows that Mikey Yama is going to hire me for a staff job, right? No hoodie? Exactly. Once I get the hoodie, uh, my, my ego will be less fragile. Exactly. This is it a Disney show? But we do have a viewer named Perry the Platypus, and they are sweet people. And they're named after the Disney show, so that's why I do the meme. Plat a platypus? Perry the Platypus! Because I watched it when I was younger. It was a good show. It was fun. I'm only in it- I'm not only in it for the hoodie. How do I have haters? Dude, anything will have haters if it's large enough. On my end, I'm pretty sure it's because I ban people who annoy me. Which happens more often than you'd expect. Anyway, there we go. Okay, let's see here. Chat, I'll read one right now. You ready? Okay, ready for this shit? Okay. Imagine wasting your prime or spending money on a sub for a streamer with such a fragile ego. You treat your chat like shit and ban people who challenge your shitty opinion, which is Omega LOL. Your life is sag, dude. In before I'm banned, again, someone needs to knock you off that shit horse you think you sit so highly on. How you got a job working with GDQ is beyond me. And it makes me lose a bit of respect for them, because they're a great organization that's being ruined with employees like you. I mean, he got his scoop. I can't wait to get my share of the take. <laughs> uh, it's funny shit. Anyway, back to the game. Right, get off my shit horse, right? Oh yeah, the moment I read that, it was fucking hilarious. Someone do me a fair and clip that. I got your email. <laughs> Ah, of course I mean Nick. There we go. So. Exactly. Mikey Yama's giving me a promotion. That's what I learned, right? Your life means nothing. I was going to race. You know what you're doing, God. Right? I can't lay an Oracle. I ruined GDQ single-handedly. That's what happened. Anyway, my favorite split. Frank sees a sick RC drone. Look. By the way, I hope you enjoyed me losing like 50 seconds to read that. There it is. Nah, GDQ's fine. I think it's fine, uh, Malachi. I think GDQ's in a, a fine state. I go this way, right? Yes. That's right, okay. My life is sad? Yeah, my life is sad. I can't believe it. Doing good. I cannot complain. It's uh, doing the Rise Marathon today. It's good stuff. I was reading a fun... Uh, apparently, they also have an unban request, which I'll probably read if it's not anything too bad. Because um, I've been having a lot of fun reading comments that people love who hate me. Because, I mean... Why the fuck would I give them any respect, right? Hmm. I'm hoping I didn't mess this up on accident. I think we'll be fine. But I do need to be a bit careful. Free him? Free him! <laughs> no, we're not going to free him. Uh, exactly. You got him in butterflies. That's why. All right, give it to you. Don't die, don't die, Frank. Oh shit, okay, that's fine. Anyway, Chad, who's ready for a naked Frank? Anyone? You see, Chad, that was the revenge. I can't believe they got me. Look how ready he is. red, right? Oh, I've done the pause glitch before. It's funny. Um, how are we going to do this? Frank can break these stuffs. He can. Ban evasion? Ah, yes. And then I'll read the other one on the actual uh, unban request, because I don't know what the unban request is. Yeah, my mods know. Should I pause? Yeah, so 
I just explained, like, why is he red? It's Frank's skin. So there's a glitch that can happen, too, where, um... If you're doing that, you can actually make Frank, uh, you can, the pause screen turns red from blue. And then normally there's this blue, uh, glow. No, no, I'll read, I'll read. I'll personally, I'll personally take a look at it in a little bit. Yeah. No, chat's fine. Again, it's really hard to normally get banned here, the funniest shit. It's always one of the surprising parts to me. That could be good. Ah, uh, I'll work it out. It's gonna be awkward, but it should be okay. Although I really wish I saw the capability of jumping. Awkward. Okay, he's there. Uh, well, I hope this will be fun. I hope. I'm on a very new territory, because I'm not used to... I greeted a little bit. Alright, I already got the thing here, so that's fine. And now, here's what we're gonna do. That's right, that's on Sustain. Okay, I remember now. I remember, I remember what we gotta do. Because I know we changed the route a little bit. I was trying to think of what it was. Because over time, New Game uh, got kind of finicky with our um, the other strat that we got. With Queen duping, I think. That's fun. Yeah, the zombies are good, Captain Pickle Fork. They're good times. Alright, that's fine. Shit. Uh, how am I doing on health? Uh, I'll probably manage. So I for a gallon. Of I mean, it's called the last right, Victor Ghost. I, I, yeah, I got intentionally captured. I definitely planned on that. I definitely wasn't uh, getting greedy in my gameplay. I was in Beaver Edge. I'm glad you're enjoying the emote so far. Oh, the clip? Oh, yeah. Go ahead and put it in Discord. You remember the route? I I think I remembered it. Oh, I forgot to do, oh, do the door, uh, door opening. I think I remember it mostly. Like, I'm still going to be really far ahead, I think, even still, because I don't think Queen Duping was in my good run of this last time. So it's kind of neat that a strategy that's newer is going to be involved. Enjoying the emote? Yeah, it was a great, uh, great job. Uh, Ms. Moonshine always knocks out the park, and I'm glad Stone Evil and Chad have been enjoying it so far. And I'm very glad the way it turned out. Uh, anyway, first things first. Um, one. And the other one, I think, is up the stairs. I was in Faulty. Great to see you. I was going Z uh, Captain Zekiel. Hope you're doing great today. Howdy. You just missed a funny message. Yeah, I had an unban request from some weird dude. <laughs> Uh, he says, apparently, I'm the person ruining GDQ, which, I feel honored. Dude, like, I know, like, with all the GDQ people, like, that's, like, a fucking mark of honor right there, right? That means I can be one of the cool boys. I want to go, uh -huh. hey, nothing wrong with that, as long as you're getting back, right? Exactly, by myself, I'm taking down GDQ, that's right. For my GDU Hotfix shows, that is how I'm ruining GDQ. You know, I'm kind of worried right now, so... Let's play this fun. Alright. It's a firing squad! Stand off! So long, military! Alright, we're done. Guess I got mad at the end of chance for Chris GEQ. I don't know if that'd be it. I mean, maybe actually. That would be kind of funny. There we go. So I got what I need. Alright, so the OJ thing I can explain. I'm pretty sure it's a last rights thing. I found this glitch years ago, but what even prompted this? Oh, the guy came in in like the beginning of my stream and was like, Will you hurry the fuck up? And I was like, Really? On my, on my, like, my starting screen. I just banned him, because I don't want to deal with that. He seemed annoying. But yeah, last rights are a thing in this game. 
You see these planking zombies? Faulty. Faulty. They're, they're dead. I'm sorry. They, they've died. <laughs> uh, we're at the part of the game where the military cleanup happened. They're, they're dead. <laughs> I'm sorry to... Dude, I remember playing... Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I was in high school, I planked. I'll say it right now. When I was in high school, I, I did the plank, man. I'm not immune to propaganda. I, I planked. I'll say it right now. Honestly, you did too? Yeah, I know. It's all good, Gander. Played. Um, you mean for uh, Sonic 4? Or do you mean like, uh, for like really early GDQ? Because you mean for this event, what normally happens is, um... Actually, I'll, I'll wait for you to explain, maybe. Alright, there we go. We good. Well, they're fun, Skepsipol. What could we say? Wait, why would planking in Germany be banned? That's such a weird thing. Um... Uh, okay. Let's do this. Let's test this out now. Um, 30 FPS. Hold on. And the fall, by the way. Good. Okay, so I got two. Uh, drop you. Two out of... Um, how many? Ten. Eight more. Okay. Also, if my FPS looks low, so this is a glitch. Um, it was... It was theorized for a while, um, and then we finally found a practical application for it. Uh, it's called Queen Duping. And the idea behind it is that you're able to duplicate the queens, uh, in the game. And that's lets me, um... Hold on. Uh, that's gonna let me give Isabella a lot of fake queens. Yeah, we're still on Dead Rising 1, Zexans. So I got one, I need... I got two, I need, um... Eight more. One, three... Four... Five... Hey, chat! I'm gonna give her the pipe. God damn it! She took my queen! Alright, I'm on six. Why is Frank naked? The military stole my clothing. I mean, I got six. I, I got five of them, I should say. Right? I tried to lay some pipe and I was rejected. Just like real life. <laughs> oh, that chat. That's why I got the 70 Bumble dollars. Uh, can't give me karma? It did. They made up made on banner request. Oh no no yeah they, uh Raj, you missed it. Uh they made an alt account and uh they got angry. So uh don't don't remove it yet, I wanna read it. But um uh we we saw it. We we saw. There we go. No GDQ orgy for me. Right, I can't believe it. Hold on. All right, I have six, right? So I need um four more. I'm getting lucky, aren't I? Don't tell me yet. I want to read it after the run's done. Cause I I love reading this uh, this shit. How the fuck is that dude? I mean, he's seething. Roz, you missed uh. Hey, uh, me, Jessica, can you, can you, uh, DM the message to Roz that they typed earlier? As I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty funny. I think Roz is gonna laugh out of it. He also insulted the mods. Got the queen. Alright, chat, now I got my queen. I no longer have to worry about my $70. I finally got a queen. <laughs> Okay. 
Right? I can't believe it. My mods are just monsters. Total monsters. So. It's better than spiders? Uh, the mod said it wasn't as good as spiders. But apparently it's still going to be pretty funny. Uh, hold on. Hold on. There. Okay. Um, let's try this out now. Good. One. Alright, chat. Two. Now I'm gonna lay some pipe for my queen. Hey! Three. One more. See, look at that, chat. That's how you lay pipe right there. Anyway, I just saved three minutes. That's why I didn't mind that much. I, I knew I'd be a fucked on head. Um, takes note. Yeah, you just have to keep duplicating items. Shit. Come here, you. Come here. The double piping. That's called endurance, Rough Legacy. That's what it's called. It's called the endurance. Well, leave up the unbanned request for now, because I want to read it. Yeah, you knew. Some Dead Rising today. And we got a new emote. It's really cool. And I hope people are enjoying it. It seems like most of the chat's been enjoying it. It's actually really, uh... I think it really pops. I was kind of worried it might come off a bit small, but I think the yellow pom-poms did, like, it's carrying the emote really well. I think it's really good with that. Oh, it's a fun one, Skeptical. Exactly, Pickle for it. No one up pizzas the pipe. Oh, of course. Alright, almost at the end of Dead Rising 1. Chad, you want to see my best YouTube video, by the way? Because, uh, my Dead Rising Spit video got, like, almost fucking, I think, 250k. Two, or 200, yeah, wait, 250k. And, I'm really surprised. I mean, I have the sequel brewing, but I'm kind of worried because my save file may have been corrupted. I'm hoping it wasn't, but it might be. 275,000? Ay. I'm hoping it continues to grow. Is that the Nolly Q? Nolly Q, you missed it. Uh, some dude came in here and uh, had some fun words to tell me. Some very interesting uh, sentences. Did you know that I personally ruined GDQ? Pretty powerful move, if you ask me. Also, we have a new cheerleading emote. Fun words, I say? Yeah. I read it earlier. Oh, Roz, you don't have to worry about them. They are... It was me? Yeah, sorry, you knew. I'm the one who ruined GDQ. It was me the whole time. Is this Isabella gonna follow me? Isabella, get your ass over here. The whole time it was me. You know, actually, killing all these zombies may not have been the best idea, and I think about it. Huh. I, I, you know I had to do it to him. Right? I can't believe it. How dare I ruin GDQ, right? They used to have such respect for the organization, but because of me, there it is. Solely because of me, apparently I ruined a GDQ. <laughs> yep, and my, fra my, my fragile ego. You know how fragile my ego is, right? Also, you missed this lay pipe, apparently. Wait, is this smarter because all the zombies? It might actually be. Alright, cool. Anyway, uh, here we go. Right, I can't leave it, Zexans. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a dumb joke. Uh, pretty much, I think they're just upset that I work for GU Hoppix. And they don't like me personally, so everything I do is mush. And it's the bitch eating crackers things, actually. Uh, you can call them out all you want. I already made my piece with it. I think it's fucking hilarious. I love reading insults about me. Let's chat. I genuinely don't know what my faults are. I can only assume very base things. So I love reading what people think about me in mean senses. I'm actually going to start making this a Twitter series uh, where I read mean comments about me. Like, I I'm not going to lie to you. 
For people who think that gets under my skin, it's the opposite. It kind of, you know, I think you're boosting my ego a bit. I'll give you the tip if you really want to harm my ego, you just stop watching. Hate watching is still watching, and I, I relish in that shit. I'll tell you that right now. An insult really doesn't do much for me. I've kind of been insulted all my life. Just look at me. I look like a long-haired Ellen DeGeneres man. Which, yes, Ellen DeGeneres man, because I am a man. And I look like a lesbian wine aunt who's probably going to let you sneak wine at Thanksgiving dinner and go, shh, don't tell anyone, sweetie. Anyway, uh, time to kill Brock. Well, thank you, uh, Gravinus. Grab anus. Wait, grab anus. I didn't realize your name is actually just grab anus. Anyway, uh, we're gonna spit on this man until he dies, because this is a good time. You know, chat, some people would pay good money for an overweight reporter to spit on their crotch until they die. Would you? I wouldn't. But some people might. Oh, yeah, I need to make the spitty mode a thing. I actually do have the art for that. You would be your degenerate? I can tell. Death! Ooh, there we go. Alrighty, Chad. He's big boned, I suppose. Ready? Okay, let's see this. How does that work? Oh, uh, Spitfire does a base damage. So, on the final boss, it's supposed to be hand-to-hand -hand combat, but what I did was I drank the drink before I went into the boss. So it lasts a few minutes, and that's gonna allow me to actually just do base damage in very small melee combat. I started the file at level 1, so I don't have a lot of strength, which is bad. Avium with the raid. Hold on, here we go. Let's see. Here we go. Hold on, I wanna read this. Alright, let's see. Oh, God. That sounds weird, actually. Hold on, I'm confused. I'm actually confused by this one. Welcome, though, Raiders. We have Naomi Boo. There's Kill Lahi. Raging Mule. Avium. A lot of great people. Hope you're all doing good. We just killed the man who spit. And I was going to read it on banner quests. Let's see what it says. You're a hater troll. I'm disappointed in you and done supporting you. I mean, they followed me on an account that... I don't think they were supporting me originally. I'm not going to lie to you. It doesn't really seem like they were. If they were, then I don't think they really were. Aren't they, weren't they already done supporting me? Like, I'm just kind of critiquing their banner quest here. And by the way, I'm going to reveal to everyone that you called Tiffany... I don't know any Tiffany's. Fatso behind her back. Enjoy your stream. I don't know any Tiffany's. I know one Tiffany, but she's like my aunt. And I can't imagine they're talking about her. I say like my aunt, because it's not actually my aunt. But like, you know, she's like my aunt. Right, Miss Scarlet? Like, I don't know. I don't know why I did. Apparently I did at one point. I have no idea who the fuck they're talking about. That's the only Tiffany I know. I know mistaken identity? You know, maybe, actually. So, why did I call Tiffany Fatso? Good question. Cancelled, right? I can't believe it. Apparently I called a Tiffany Fatso. Which... Yeah, I know Tiffany Lockhart, but I don't really know them. Like, I know them from their fun Twitter presence, but that's about it. Um, but even then, I don't really know much about them. I know things that- Wait, they do Devil May Cry. I- they- are they referring to her? I can't imagine it being her. I'm doing good! Uh, I'm gonna deny. Uh, I don't have a- I don't have a comeback. I'm just go, uh, fall enough. Yeah. That works. Hey, welcome everyone! I am McDysis. I do a lot of horror games and horror game accessories. So if you're into that, you're in the right spot. All right, anyway, to get that. Ah, oh, God, what a crack. For anyone coming in, uh, we're doing some Dead Rising today. We already beat Dead Rising 1, we're going to be going to Dead Rising 2. Uh, for anyone, or Dead Rising 2 off the record, so. Nah. Whoever Tiffany is, is probably fine. I don't know, uh... I don't know who they'd be referencing. Yeah! 950. I love Haunting Ground. One of my favorite games. Is it 7th Day of Achievement worth going for? No, not at all. 
I know Tifa. <laughs> and I talked about, uh... Talked about Tifa before. But, uh... I don't think they're meaning Tifa. <laughs> right? Apparently I'm a bully. I'm trying to think. Like, is there any situation where I even have done that? I don't know any. It's like Steve's. I don't really know any Steve's either. Very nice, Miss Scarlet. Hope it went well. Anyway, there's the ending of Dead Rising. Congrats. Congrats, right? They more confuse me more than anything. So. But yes, Chad, if you do not know Avium, how was the Phobia game? Hope it was a good time. It seems like good stuff. And hope you had fun with that. I do get bullied. Speaking of bullying, chat. One moment. It doesn't work if it doesn't happen immediately. There we go. Not like you. Take a sub on me. That's for helping me with Dead Rising 2 and having me have my moment of, wait a minute, where's the shotgun? Is that fucking made me laugh? <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know, during GDQ Hotfix, um, when I was doing Dead Rising 2, um, I was I, I was in the fucking practice room, and all he was telling me, yeah, you know the shotgun that you get before uh, Boykin? You can actually get one on the stage. I was like, oh, dude, absolutely. And then I looked at her like, where is it? Where is it? And I couldn't find it. So. Anyway, um... Dead Rising 2? Off the record, too, I might add. Oh no, I turned on my PS3 in accident. Oh no. I'm wholesome? Oh no, I'm all good. I'm all good, Blue Laser. Yeah, hey, well, welcome on in. Uh, it's good stuff. Uh, I put, uh... Put together a lot of the shows for GDQ, which I guess that one person's uh, upset about. So. One moment, I have to turn off my PS3, because I accidentally turned it on. Whenever I unplug my, um... PS3 controller, it just turns on my PS3 for some reason. I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, but it just, like, happens now. There it is. Got it. Clean shaven? Hey, I like new clean shaven. Yeah, we're doing off the record, so... For Dead Rising 2, I don't do, um, base. I do off the record. Uh, the reason why is because in Dead Rising 2 off the record, you get more boss fights. And it's pretty much the same game twice, and I'd rather not just do the same shit twice, you know? Plus, you don't have an all-bosses file for, um, Dead Rising 2 yet. So there's that. Also, let me know if I went quiet. Sometimes when I plug in my PS3 controller, it just, like, dampens everything. I don't know why. It might have actually happened right now. Loving these? I'm glad. Actually, I'm going to unplug it right now. I think, that, I think I'll fix it. In a clock tower. There we go. Uh, just making sure I plug that in, plug that out. Um, it, it usually fixes everything, or make sure it's all good. Uh, change the title. But, yeah... Although, you know what I was reminded of since we uh, chat brought up Tifting Lockhart? She's fucking funny. Uh, she complimented me on a meme once. Because uh, I made uh, back... You know when everyone was doing the uh, baby announcements? Sounds fine. Thank you, Vaulty. Um, when everyone was doing like the pregnancy, like, oh, it's a boy! And then like causing wildfires and shit, I made a meme with RE3. Or I edited, I edited the final explosion to be blue. Because it's like, it's a boy! And then the city gets, Raccoon City gets nuked. I thought it was fucking funny. Nice Mike. Thanks. And yeah, I have a split for game swap because I don't want it to bleed into the actual games. Cable management? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Also, Chad, have you seen my pumpkin? He glows. He's red. And he changes colors. I don't know how if you shake him. He's green. He's blue. Yeah, those ones. Nice, Miss God. Am I gonna call it pumpkin a fatso too? Apparently. The only person I ever called fat is me. By the way, Stoppa, I don't know when you did it, but I saw you raided. Chat yourself out. It's mandatory. You have to do it. Avium shouted herself out, and we checked her out, but Stoppa has to do it as well. Anyway, chat, you ready to stomp Frank's knees? Where'd I get it from? I found it in my hotel room. I just, like, 
And I was looking around for my socks, and I just found a pumpkin in my room. I don't know. The last Ray Tari didn't remain alive for long. All good. All good. Definitely shot yourself out, though. It's mandatory. I found it. Yeah, it was in my room. I clawed my way out of Willamette. Looks familiar. I thought I saw on GD2. Me too, right? I thought I saw on a GDQ. No, I'm not going to lie to you. I stole this pumpkin chat. Actually, no. I bought this pumpkin for $5. <laughs> I bought it for $5. That's what I did. That's why not like you got a gifted sub. This is her pumpkin. <laughs> but now it's mine. $5? Damn right. Love the intro? Me too. Oh, I fucking love the intro. Just the slide guitar, Frank West. I'll let things get to me. I'll let things get out of control. With the whole ball to kill, though? Yeah. I think so. The thief that run the thief that runs GDQ, exactly. Exactly. I don't want to admit to crimes on exactly. Good trade? Exactly. Exactly. It's true, Kale. Also love this part. I can't believe it. Fans get angry. Also, my spirit animal of Frank being super fucking buff. Frank will see who can't. Wait, that, wait, we're joking about the guy going, we'll see who can't bankrupt me. Who cancels who? The guy actually typed that. I just realized that. The more I think about it, he got mad that I banned him, so he was, we'll see who cancels who. To get back in the game. That's a good joke. I like that one. I like that one. He was, and then he was vastly overweight. Anyway, chat, you ready? It's time. Okay, three, two, one. My favorite part of the run, you ready? Frank shatters his kneecap for three minutes. My favorite shit. Oh my god, I can't believe TK and me have something in common. Apparently we're calling people fat. Which... My thing these days, especially, I don't need to make fun of people for their actual stuff. To be more serious for a moment, like, I can make fun of people, but I don't need to. I like being more of a positive person than I can be. So, that's what I think it's kind of funny. You know, it just might be. Oh, wait, Frank? Yeah! My favorite part about this is this is Frank West's fantasy. And even in Frank's fantasy, he's overweight, balding. All the ladies make fun of him because he can't get his dick art. I do make fun of Nico Kato Avocado. That is true. That is true. I will admit that one right there. I have made Nico Kato Avocado jokes. You got me there. That is fair. Broken knees? You know we gotta do it. I change. Oh, cool. I'll make sure I change the tag. Oh, really? There we go. Hey! Harlem, 0 0. Thank you very much for the prime conversion to a tier 1. And thank you very much. Hopefully, you are having a wonderful day. Enjoy the emotes and the sitters once again. And we got actually some uh, some new stuff. Enjoy that. Alright, I gotta make sure I'm doing good, by the way. I think I am at a decent spot. We'll see. Mac Daddy 0629. I will. Thank you very much for the tier one for seven months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you. I will smash the zombies. ASMR? Well, you like the sound of a grown man fucking up his kneecap? I mean, it's kind of. I get it, yeah, I get it. And more power to him, you know. That's my idea. More power to him. As long as he's, uh... I don't even know at this point in all honesty. Anyway, let's see if I actually do this properly. It's been a while since I've done the knee drops. There's no ones that have ran this game in general. I hope you're proud of me for actually doing the knee drops, by the way. Alright, come on. We're almost there. A little bit more. The Swarm! A fitting name for a fitting man. 
Aiming the 2 1 for two months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors once again. And thank you very much. We have some new emotes, by the way, so enjoy those. And now we're back to normal. Ah, but I got 40k. Okay, 40k is good. Honestly, I love this game, though. It's a fun one. Like, I haven't done off the record in a while. Well, Nico Kata Avocado is kind of a depressing story because he had such high hopes, and I think he just really fell into enjoying the uh, mukbang thing. Also, Crystal Great Sword of the Tier One for 37 months. Three years and some change. It's been a hey, long time here to chill for the I'm glad so that both of you and Astolfo have been here for so long. Uh, two of my favorite people, and I have very high praises for both of you. So. Thank you very much, Great Sword, for the tier one for 37 months. We have a new emote, by the way. We have a little cheerleader, uh, the Femek cheerleader, and that's a fun one. So I hope you're doing great today. Also, you have a dancing emote too. And I hope you've been well. I uh, hope I think you're doing schooling. So I hope that's been good. I like a lowland muck actually. How's it, Hope you're doing good. So, Wayward France. What happened is a while back. I realized I like emotes with chicks in them, but I'm not a chick. Also, I can't have a dude gasm. People don't like dudes gasming. It's weird, right? People like having a chick gasm. So, to have a gasm emo, I made a chick version of myself. Originally, I had Catherine, but I didn't want to get hit by DMCAs. So, uh, yeah. Also, I needed. I it start actually it started with a 4 p.m. meme with dick flattening, and uh, it kind of evolved from there. And then I realized it's suitable for any emote that I need a, a chick for. And people like it. People like people like it. Yep. Hey, look, dildos and mayo. I can't believe it. I'll use these as a fuck my fragile ego. I can't believe it. All good. Hopefully we'll have a good VOD. Hopefully it'll be a good time. Uh, as long as this doesn't mess up, I'll probably be going on YouTube because it's still like an hour of time save. Exactly unnatural. Exactly. Plus, with the Lollipop Chainsaw World Record, that'd be fun. Also, wait a minute, we have a fucking hype train. So, chat, you know what we do for hype trains? If we hit level 5, I will play the Boston button. If we maximize it, I'll give you a singular thumbs up, or you can look at my weird thumb. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. I will merely acknowledge the presence of it. What do I think of the quarry? The quarry is a really good uh, guy, the dude. Uh, if you liked Until Dawn, it's great. Uh, I'm going to be speedrunning it on the 13th. Ah, uh, so soon. Uh, I do have a double jointed thumb, actually, yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, thank you very much, me, Jessica, for getting subbed to Wasting Prime Trials on me. Perfect gifted sub right there, right? Perfect. Beautiful. Also, Salander, thank you for the 100 biddies. It is appreciated. Yeah, it should be a good time. Oh no, Sean is dead. Look at the hero of Willamette. So, speedrunning the quarry is usually just making the best decisions the fastest you can. And it's kind of weird, because it might not seem like one, but it kind of is. No, no Bepis Man. And thank you, Avium, for 1,000 biddies. Although, I'm not going to lie, the cheerleader idea actually came from me trying to, um... What's the word? I wanted to make it a bit emote, but I thought it'd be more fun as an animated emote, so I bit the bullet on that. And normally, for speedrunning games like the quarry and Until Dawn, you're just kind of doing the fastest decisions, um... And that's how you do it. Like, you try to take the better routes, you try to make sure you're saving people as you can. It's more of a challenge run, because it's kind of on rails, but you can actually can speedrun it. Uh, a lot of it boils down to how quickly you make choices, are you going to hit every QTE. It's a weird way of doing it, but it counts, and it's it's worth one run through normally. I, I usually think it's worth one or two. Oh yeah, the fire is powerful, Nate Rocker. And hydration is good. Hey, pun hate nation they the prime gaming for three months enjoy the bloody scissors and the emotes and thank you very much hopefully you are having a wonderful day today and now they're bloody and a new emote so yeah i'm glad people have been enjoying them also look at me i get the best boarding in the fucking franchise because i have missed this so much oh my god ready I've been on Dead Rising 2 so much, and I need to go back to Off the Record. Look, oh my god, it's so beautiful. I can't believe it. It is actually kind of double guns. But yeah, that's all a go. Um, that's fine. Hold on. Skateboards? Yeah, you know we gotta do it. 
you know we gotta. So that's the question. I just hope that I hope that answers the question. Oh yeah, you know what would actually make uh, it's even funnier. Well, first off, trap Desne. Thank you very much. It's your one. Welcome to the swarm. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. And thank you. I'm glad you've been enjoying the stream. Um, you can do a lot of animation canceling in this game. Also, there's the thing I was talking about. If you shoot them in the fucking head, they just do that. Alright, not bad. Morning, Mars Cakes. Great to see you. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. There it is. Oh, shit. I didn't have to do that yet. That's fine. Bop. Give me that. Yes, yes, yes. I know all about the horny joke. Uh, yes, so the cleats will be adding up to a total costume, uh, which we'll be seeing. Actually, it's kind of funny, because we don't really get the, the horny anymore. Uh, we don't need it. We have the horny skip now, which... Yes, I know what I said. I'm doing good. Uh, very interesting day so far. Let's, uh, put it that way. Let's put it that way. Also, apparently we've extended the hype frame. I no longer need the horny, but I like wearing the horny. It's I, I still need it. Interesting, exactly. I'm wondering why that was slower. I'm sure there's a reason I won't understand. That'll be fun. So yes, that's what that does. How's it going, traveling? Great to see you. Hope you're doing well today. I had a train of thought that I lost, and I don't remember what it was. I'm sure I'll, someone will remember it. Yeah. It happens, sleep easy. The only uh, one thing, though, is usually uh, whenever it's mentioned, there's always the slight delay, so just keep that in mind. Usually just ebbs and flows. I guess it is the, the edgy number, huh? Riley, PNW, thank you very much for the Prime Gaming. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. And thank you. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and welcome to the swarm. And hope you're having a a good one. Alright, get the face paint. That should be fine. Although, I'm pretty sure I can do this later, and I haven't been doing that, but... That is a fun combo, Mars Cakes. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That's a good one. It is a good combination of emotes. Little sparkles in the cheerleader. Also, thanks to Froob, uh, I'm actually going to try submitting uh, Lollipop Chainsaw to GDQ every event. I think I can get it in. And I really want to get it in now. What can I say, chat? It's really a move. Uh, you know there's more stuff. Original Dead Rising's fucking fantastic. Like, absolutely play that shit. How's run been? Good so far, Glamour Star. Um, I haven't really had a run of this done since I uh, since um, we found Queen Duping. So, I'm already five minutes ahead off Dead Rising 1 alone. And I know the other games just have more shit I can do with them. So, I can actually chop this down from like a 10-hour experience to like maybe an 8-hour thing. Which would be pretty good. It's like the length of a regular stream. Hey, thank you for the follow. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Hey, no worries, young Ricky. No worries. The VOD will exist, and it will be there. Hopefully, this will go on YouTube. Hopefully. Denise will be fine. I'm sure she'll live forever, right? I'm sure she'll be fine. Only Dead Rising 3 behaves. Hopefully. Uh, one can always hope. Other than Glamorous Jar. Hope you're doing good. Oh, I already asked. Yeah, it is nice. Sorry, I'm, uh... My brain sometimes goes to mush. How long is speedrun in this game? Uh, about two hours for all bosses. Um, we use in-game timer, so it's a bit weirder, but think about a little over two hours for just real time. Hey, thank you for the fall, by the way. Yeah, the cool thing about Dead Rising 2 is I feel like Dead Rising... Um, Alright, so Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 2 off the record, I was talking during GEQ. But with Dead Rising 2 off the record, I would say it's much more important to do first. Like, if you're doing Dead Rising 2 base first, you are very brave. 
I'll say it right now. You are a powerful, powerful person if you're doing Dead Rising 2 base first. Uh, the reason why is because Dead Rising 2 base has the weakest boards. Well, Dead Rising 2 uh, off the record has the best boards in the franchise. So, really? Cool. Uh, I've only done Dead Rising 1 so far. It's not too much. Hey, hype train success. Thank you, chat. So right now we're on Dead Rising 2 off the record. Um, I don't do Dead Rising 2 base just because I don't want to do the same game twice for one extra boss. And also the boss is the exact same. It's just Leon Belly, I think. Wait, is the name really Leon Belly now I think about it? Maybe. Well, between the games, they kind of just made some tunings for some reason. I, I don't know entirely know why they did, but that would explain it. Oh, of course, I got Dead Rising 5 early. You got it. That's what happened. There you go. I hope you're doing good, Super Toaster. Alright, time to make my first quick step. On. There we go. Good ship. Uh, I should be able to make that, I think. Yes, I do. Nice. And, alright, now we're good. Also, chat, I don't need to do this. I want to do this. You know why? Because guess where I'm going? I'm going to a sex shop. You know what I'm going to find in a sex shop? Take a wild guess. It's been a bit since I gotta make this dumb fucking joke. <sighs> Dildos? Actually, I don't know if they have that there. A Viking helmet. You may be wondering, why is a Viking helmet in a sex shop? Because it's horny. Oh, no. Although there are dildos in here, too, yeah. All right, thoughts on the Life of Chainsaw Remake? Uh, I want to see more of it. I'm going to play it day one. I don't care if it's good or bad. I'm significantly worried about it, uh, both of the music and the lack of Suda and James Gunn. But I'm down to play it. And yes, and box 69. Nice. You know what else is nice? Arctic Foxers with tier one for five months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you very much. It looks filthy. Of course it does. I can't believe Denise hasn't died yet. Nice, right? I can't believe it. Where'd my phone go? Oh, there it is. I'm trying to find my phone. I'm glad you like that one, Salander. I'm glad you like that. What's a dildo? It's a massager that you use to massage things. Don't worry about it. How you doing, Juice? Cool. Oh, God, that's a crack. I'm breaking my bones, chat. Alright. I love getting a good back crack so much. I love surprises. It's dough made from the dill. Oh, of course. That's right. Oh, no. We're dead stopped. I can't believe it. Whatever will Frank do? Hopefully, Denise will live forever, right? Chat, you think Denise will live forever? I have my Oh no, Denise is dead. I oh no. Yep. I think it should be neat. Anyway, question time you've been asking. The sports fan outfit boosts my movement speed and gives me a lot of quality of life buffs like damage and shit. So what that's gonna do is in this game, uh Rebecca and any survivor movement speed is actually tied to Frank. What does that mean? So Rebecca's actually gonna be able to run just as fast as me right now. So, normally, uh, she'll be running slow as shit. I'll be waiting for her to spinning around with Chuck. But for one, they added enemies here. Two... Uh, Rebecca's slow as shit. So this way, I'm just gonna have her quick step plus my movement speed, and that's gonna stack, believe it or not. Uh, it's really weird that this game has stackable movement speed. Like, quick step goes faster if you're on a higher level of speed. Which is kind of wild to think about. Uh, the downside, though, is you are always going to be in the sports fan outfit. So if you like other outfits, then, uh, oh well. You know? 
you run into some issues. There we go. Who's gonna tell Sherman? Of course, I can't believe it. Not Denise, is too young. I think this is the game that also has the achievement for bringing Denise all the way to Boykin. Which, I've never done it myself, but it seems like a neat achievement to get. Also, I like how they added the giant, like, blockade here. My favorite part also is that, like, it's the Greniers, which a Grenier is like a, ce like a rooftop ceiling in France or something like that. Like, it's the Greniers, the Greniers. I learned that's an actual thing. No, it's not the Vikings. It's the Greniers. Which, it's like a, it's like a French ceiling. Or a roof tiles or something like that. I, I don't know the exact thing, but it's not at all what you expect it to be based on the outfit. Also, Las Vegas famously like, didn't have teams for the longest time. Like, I think they might have the Raiders now, but I don't even know if that happened. And they have some hockey team. And then they got that, like, in the past 10 years, I think. Vegas sports is a really weird thing, believe it or not. Ah, yes, we all make sacrifices in the heat of passion, Jimbo. Raiders of Los Angeles? Oh, we moved to LA, gotcha. Me, the moon jump. Wait, it was Vegas. Because now we have the LA Rams. Vegas got the Raiders? Okay, so it was, it was Vegas. Do the Raiders really count? I mean, it's more than nothing. Vegas Nets and the Stanley Cup. Yeah, they, I mean, they're not bad. It just, like, it's a really, it's more the fact that I'm saying they're really recent. Like, I think it's like uh, the Golden Knights, right? Grenier's an attic? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Like, I knew it was something that's, it's definitely not a Viking. <laughs> it's absolutely not a fucking Viking. I'll tell you that much. Thank you, Fade. Um, I was going Gabe. Yeah, but it's the Golden Knights, right? Because I remember them, like, coming in. My buddy was super into hockey. Same with the training stadium. Gotcha. Gotcha. There. Alright, 2 2. We are on Brandon. Okay, cool. Alrighty. We'll have a good run. You know, I'm happy I remember how to run these games as much as I do, because last time I played, the, like, any of these games it was, like, months ago, I think. We God, I wonder if I can still do Dead Rising 2 off the record, all survivors. Like, maybe. Can't imagine it being easy, though. Maybe. Hooray, I have the good file. Thank God. I don't have to worry about the bug. There's a bug that can happen if you enter Brandon uh, on the same frame that it turns into nighttime. And doing all scoops marathon. The problem with all scoops is, are you just doing one and two, or are you also going to do, like, three? Because three technically has scoops. And I'm only waiting on doing that for, um, the point goal. And I'm, like, I'm actually kind of, like, waiting to do that, technically. Three and four? Four's weird. Does four have them, or are you just going to do, like, the, uh, get all the safe houses maxed? Because I don't think four has direct missions. I think it's more of a safe house thing, right? Whatever exist. I thought about four, I don't know how. What are scoops? So cases are the main missions. Scoops tend to be the optional mission. So a scoop, you'll like, oh, save the survivor, beat the boss. And these aren't going to be things that make you beat the game. They're the optional uh, content of Dead Rising. Never played four. Four is weird. Like, I kind of wanted to look up how to 100% four because it's really weird. But also, I made it a very high sub goal because it's, it's, it's a large game. Like, Dead Rising 4 does have a lot of fucking content. It is not amazing content. First try, by the way, chat. Who's rusty now? I'll give you a hint. It's my fra it's my fragile ego. There we go, good ship. Yeah, Dead Rising 4 is rough. No rusty? Well, there you go. Yeah, that's what the optional missions are called. Alright, um... Done. Ah! 
By the way, you know what's funny? Oh shit, not that. I didn't realize that apparently I already knew what the claw grip was. And for a while I was asking what's claw grip and I didn't realize it's like this shit where you just have your fingers on all the buttons. Because apparently I've been doing the claw grip for a while. Good. First try? I hope it's first try, yeah. Oh, you mean for the, uh, the glitch? Yeah, we had a really good glitch there. Just good stuff. I am actually not playing bad right now for not having played this game in a while, like... I don't know. I think the GDQ break's been really good for me. What's wrong? Oh, some guy came in, uh, trying to, like, uh, I guess be pissed. So. We've been memeing him today. Alright, I gotta get all the money. Uh, I started doing Claw without realizing. I just, I've always done Claw, apparently. I didn't even realize it. Alright, um... Zombrax. Alright, good. Nice. Alright, we should be good. We... Oh. Uh, yeah, the Psychos in Dead Rising 4 don't really have cutscenes. Yeah, we're doing all the bosses in Dead Rising 4. It just, um... They don't have intro cutscenes, so that, like, you don't really know that we're doing it. But we will be doing them. Yeah, the Maniac, sorry. They did, CC. Did I get a GDQ boost? No, not really. What do you mean, like, PB? You mean, like, today? Or do you mean, like, in general? Or do you mean, like, ever? Like, ever? Yes. From GDQ? No, I didn't run anything. Usually you only really get the boost if you're uh, doing a game of GDQ. Hold on. He hit himself his own Molotov. Fucking dead. We are suck. Good job. Cool. In general? Um, uh, no, no, no. Um. Yeah. You know, that's actually accurate now. Don't those are my feelings. How did I not get hit? Apparently, I'm fucking cracked. I don't know. I mean, it was still a bad fight. I kind of wish I had a hit, as I could have just had a better fight, but... Yeah. He went right through me. Apparently. Right? I can't lean a rocker. Uh, it does, but I still want to be careful with my ammo. I need a lot of ammo. Wait, who the fuck named that split suck peen? When did we do that? I forgot we named the split because I kept saying Chuck Green, more like Suck P. <laughs> uh, I remember that. It's correct, it is correct. I agree. That is true. They are, they're a good exchange. Got him? I was looking and it happened. But yeah, the GDQ boom, though, normally is, uh... It's really a runner thing. Like, if you're on couch, you should never expect to, di like, get anything. Hell, even if you're a runner, you shouldn't expect to get anything, realistically. It's an event for charity, and if that's your main goal, you'll be deeply disappointed, potentially. Um, although there is kind of a weird duality where a lot of people are like, Oh, the GDQ boom doesn't exist. It definitely exists, it just don't expect it. And it really only affects you if you are a runner, and you, like, knocked it out of the park or something. So, yeah. I use an attempt to speedrun. Yeah. But, like, I've had the GDQ boom in the past. Was it even part of the event? You know what was boosted, though, during GDQ in a really weird way? My Twitter. Oh, yeah, I definitely don't... Like, I, uh, so Zerix, I'm definitely not saying I haven't had it, because I, I have. I've had it, um... The largest one I ever had is probably Nightcry and Haunting Ground. Uh, Dead Rising was okay, I think. Um, but with Nightcry and Haunting Ground, I'd say those are the two that definitely, I like, I felt the boom. Uh, the Mummy didn't really do anything. Um, I think Night Trap was more of a lingering effect more than anything. And then Sonal 2 had a minor boom. But I'm really lucky to be a part of GDQ and have that, but... Um, I'm more just saying, I think some people are like, oh, if I don't get into GDQ, I won't be able to pay my bills. Which, 
it's not quite like that, but in the same vein, like, if you are going to GDQ and getting a run, you will distinctly have an advantage someone else doesn't. Which, I think that reality does miss the mind of certain speedrunners. Not, not to name any names or anything, I just, you know, every now and again you'll read something, and while their heart's in the right place, there still is the fact that it does affect the whole thing, you know? Oh no! Chat, it's Snowflake, I can't believe it, we beat the boss. And yeah, exactly, Self Spidey. You can do or say something to a GG as well. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't always go good, sometimes it can go bad. Like, not everyone hits it out of the park. Yeah, the BNF only hotfix did well. Sort of the Dead Rising 2 one. Like, the Dead Rising 2 hotfix did really well. A lot of people seem to like that. So I'm happy with that. It's good stuff. And I like talking about this topic a lot, because not a lot of streamers will talk about this topic. It's not something that everyone's going to bring up. And it is something that is a reality. So, for this event, no. In general, yes. I'm definitely impacted by the GDQ boom. But for this, I think you meant, like, that's why I asked, like, do you mean in general, or do you mean this event? And it's powerful, Carlet Moon. There we go. Alright, time for my favorite strat, because you can just do, oh shit, uh, that. And then Frank is able to outrun a moving train. Ah, yes, the overweight reporter can outrun a moving train, that is, that is correct, right? That is how I play my video games. That's how you know it's a fantasy. The overweight reporter outrunning a fucking train. Shit! Don't die! Alright, thank god, that was bad. I should've, uh... That was the last event? Yeah, probably for Dead Rising, right, Steel Pluto? Rang is no mere man? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Well, let's go. Ranks of Cyborg? You know, a little bit. Also, my health's kind of low, and I'm worried about that. I think that there is food uh, right up here, though. I don't know, like, go for this food, but, like, I'm on one fucking HP. There we go. Would you eat the, uh, the maintenance tunnel burger? So Frank, all right, so eighth. Um, in this game, Frank West is supposed to have gained a lot of weight because he's in the middle of a midlife crisis. I think six years passed since the original Dead Rising. So in this game, Frank West is meant to be balding, overweight, uh, kind of washed up. And the funniest part of this game is also his fantasy. So even in his fantasy, he's washed up. <laughs> and everyone says how his dick can't get hard. And he has to take little pills, which is funny to me. Oh, you would not eat it. Okay, gotcha. I mean, I would consider it. Like, is it on the wrapper, or is it, like, just flat on the fucking ground? Like the dude who installed me earlier? Yeah, just like that. Just like that. You got it. And, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm really glad you enjoyed Stealth Pluto. With the GDQ runs, I always try to, um, put a lot of work into what I do for those. Uh, I am a very big fan of the events for GDQ. I'm happy I was able to get involved. And I like working with them. I'm not ex I, I want to be staff. I actually, the funniest part is they mentioned, I, they can't believe I'm staff for GDQ. I wish I was staff. I'm not staff yet. I'm Hoppick staff. So they can relish in that fact. But, you know, if a staff position opens up, I might actually try to apply for it. And I think, uh, especially now, I think I have a much stronger chance. So I'm sorry. I might ruin GDQ in the future. If I get accepted, I'll give a shout out to uh, our boy. Which is funny because they tried saying they used to support me, which, I mean, if they did, then why would their first thing be telling me to hurry the fuck up? Their first, I can see people's first message in chat. So, it's like, no, you didn't. I know who supports me. It's the chat here. Also, we saved, oh, I didn't need to heal with Snowflake, that's right. I didn't have to heal. I mean, I'm glad I did, because my bonked would have been bad, but still. Do the roar! Yeah, it's a good time, Jonas, I've been well. Good. I forgot I level up from Snowflake. That would make some sense. Snowflake is great. She's the only survivor. Yeah, you've been here for a bit, Dave, that man. You've been here for a good bit, I think. I think I have enough bullets for Antoine. Oh, exactly, folks. They supported me for three minutes. And then they got tired of waiting. 
I think they actually were here longer, but I don't know who they were. Because, like, the things that they had in particular were very, I think, particular trying to get under my skin. Like, it doesn't because I, you know, I, I'm not really thin-skinned. But, yeah. Uh, it sounds like it's come from all the like, cost of doing work. Yeah, I know that much. I know it depends on, like, also what's being done. But, I love working with Hopix so far. And I have some plans with Hopix right now that can be good. And like I said, if anything ever happens, like, you know, I could apply for, I might go for it if I can see op openings. I usually know I see the openings on what? Twitter? I just know Faulty is GDP staff. I think I got enough. Alright, cool. There we go. Uh, let's take this gun just in case. May as well say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, my dream position would be Games Committee. That would be dream position right there. If I can get on Games Committee, I would fucking, like, I would squeal. Like, I'm a grown-ass man. I might genuinely fucking, like, uh, you know... I would cry if I actually got games with me. If you want to see a grown man cry, that's how that's how I do it. So, but for that, it might. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna hold my breath. Ah, yes. Yeah, so I saw the bread sandwich incident, of course. Ah, the loop. Wait, wait, you don't know about the bread sandwich? So a while back, try along, what happened was I ordered Uber Eats because I was really hungry one night. And when I ordered my Uber Eats, I just kept telling Chad about this fucking sandwich. Like, oh, it's my favorite sandwich. I'm so excited for it. I get the delivery, and then I end stream, and I go to eat my sandwich. And I go to open it, and it's just fucking bread. They bagged two... Is this guy okay? It's not. They, d they bagged two pieces of bread for me, and that's it. I was like, what the fuck is this? And I bitched on Twitter, and I bitched at, uh, you know, like, the general, like, what the fuck is this? Be grateful I got that? I'm wondering, like, did they eat my ingredients? What happened? And, uh, so if someone wants to dig up the old tweet, you can. It was good bread. They, like, buttered it, and it was, like, sourdough, but I wanted fucking chicken jalapenos and cheese. I bought a goddamn sandwich. I didn't want bread. Thank you, Unnatural. What's that bread? Oh, sourdough. So. Uh, and then I, like, alright, and then it goes further. Because, like I mentioned, chat, I get vetted weekly. Like, every single week. Oh! Shit. Uh-oh. Hold on. This is such an awkward fight now. There we go. I forgot to grab a sword. Awkward fight, by the way. Give me a moment. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I win. What the? How the fuck are you blocking these? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. He's dead. We did it. Oof. Hey, hey, you always were a kidder for life. Thank you for the Prime Gaming. Uh, I hope that's a Harvester reference. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. And thank you. Hope you're having a great day today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I honestly, I, I forgot the sword. Which, uh, I hope there's another sword I can get. There is. Uh, I know where it is. I know where get it. Not here. Um... Land! 
Lawrence! God damn it, where's the Motherfucker. You're dumb. Really? There's no sword? I guess I'm fucking no sword. Uh, that's fine, never mind. Uh, you know what? We're gonna do some very improv shit. That was an iron love official. I had a fun one. No kidders? Well, I got yeah, fine. It's Lancelot, I guess. It tracks. But yeah, I was doing the Harvester reference. You always were a kidder, Steve. I guess I can fight Light Yagami or just guns, right? Where did the dead come from? Um, meat, actually. Kamashi Miko, thank you very much, by the way. Two and four months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you very much. Hopefully you are having a wonderful day today. Alright, good. Alright, I'm about to play this on the fly very weirdly, but we should be okay. How do you beat Light Yagami? I'll show you. Come on. Good. Come on. Good. Where's my gun? Oh, I had two guns. Okay. I, th I didn't think I had space. Cool. How you doing it, Andrew? Don't tell him your name. Tell him your name's also Light Yagami. I'll work perfectly, trust me. Alright, I think I should be fine, and if not, I'll have to play it by ear, but we should be okay. That was Mosquitoes, what, to beat Light Yagami? It is a cool game, I love... I love Harvester. So, it's fun. Eee, okay. Anyway, chat, because I want to... Okay, hold on. Listen to his voice. Listen. Listen to it. It's Light Yagami. <laughs> you... You're Frank West! And you are... Oh, you know me. I'm Slappy. Everyone knows Slappy. And anyway, let's go. Dude, it's in the fucking laugh hard. There it is. I fucking love his laugh so much. It's such a good laugh. Oh yeah, I'm not kidding by the way when I say this, that is actually the, uh, the English VA of Light Yagami, and it's, you know, if I could pay him a commission to laugh for me and make that like an alert, I fucking would. I don't know what I'd use it for, but like, his laugh is just, it's such a nice laugh, Chad. It's, it's such a lovely laugh. By a lovely man, okay, hold on, I think I can kill him with three more bolts. I fucking knew it! Look at that! Beautiful! Now I am the god of the new world. Oh, yeah. See he's on Cameo? I would check if I could. I don't know how to check, though. We'll listen to a bit of the mailman. We'll listen to a little, a little bit of him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you're, um... That's right, he's the English dub. Uh, so, I guess... Wait, chat, I just outed myself. Now you know, I'm a filthy dub watcher sometimes. Alright, in all fairness, I watched Death Note of both the sub and dub. So just saying. Just saying, chat. I watched both. I really like Death Note. I think that's fair. Oh yeah, I guess the you Neutron VA did stuff. How like I'll probably watch the uh, the Kaiji dub when it uh, comes out because apparently they, I think they announced that there's gonna be an English dub, and I want to see what it's gonna sound like. I'm curious. I'm curious how they're gonna make uh, English Kaiji sound. All right, time to fight Randy. You know why they call him Randy, right? Cause he's really well, Randy. <laughs> All 
Randy's another word for horny, and he has a pig on his dick. Oh, I fucking love Death Note, though. Series run? Damn right, waifu. I've been wanting to do this for a little bit now. Uh, cause I've, I haven't done that series run for Dead Rising in a while. Plus, my whole goal is to get as many of these as I can. Cause I have so- I have Clock Tower, I have Silent Hill, I have Dead Rising. So my goal is to get as many as I can. I think the next one I might strive for is Parasite Eve, maybe. But also, I technically have Saw, but that's like two fucking games. How has the uh, DMC ones been? Shit. Finally, uh, waifu, we're just talking about Death Note. I know you're a weeb. Also, look, you can shoot his dick. It does extra damage. But... Damn, good shit. Yeah, I've been watching that. I've been watching the uh, the trilogy okay. runs. All right, good Randy fight. Range attack increase? Cool, that's good. All right, nice. Who told you I'm a weeb? Your body pillow. I've seen it. I've seen your body pillow, man. Hold on, you can't give me. You can't, you can't, you can't disprove it. Uh, he's doing one, he's doing the trilogy, one to three. You didn't bring her this time? I met her last time. I don't forget people I meet, waifu. I don't remember her. Oh, I have a body pillow too, so I can't judge. I also have one. My mind is Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club, really? There we go. There we go. I wonder what the fuck that happened. Cool. Whee! Okay. Right. Base? Hey, I'm just gonna say right now, like, people will talk shit about them, but they're really comfortable. And, like, anyone who ever, like, you know, gets to, like, hug one is, like, like, I guess. They're, like, all, like, so surprised. I feel like a total fucking asshole. Like, like, like a fucking pleb. And it's like, you have a body pillow? It was gifted to me, and it's comfortable. Shut up. <laughs> they're nice? Yeah, they're nice. I think there's also a difference between having one and having one with, like, the fucking just full-blown titties out, right? I'll just sleep? I think you do. They are pretty comfy. See? Nolly 2 gets it. So things are nice. By the way, Avium, I'll have you know, I fucking love having Peter. <laughs> he is so soft, and I am... I I blame you if any kind of Squishmallow addiction forms. <laughs> I, I, I adore Peter. He's been a welcome... That's why he's in the background of all the streams lately. He is so soft, and I, I love him. I'm not, bu I'm not buying the fucking titty add-on to the body pillow. Like, oh, here's the, uh, you know, here's the Suckmaster 3000 addition to my body. No, I'm just, just a body pillow. Here's the streamer. Is that Ellis? Ellis, hope you enjoy the new emote, by the way. It's fucking great. We have a cheerleader emote now. Alright, chat, you ready to fight Ed the Boy? They make those? Don't worry about it. They might, they might make that. I may have heard someone who may have acquired one. <laughs> I mean, I knew a guy who once broke an Ono Hole somehow. I don't know what the fuck he was doing to that poor Ono Hole, but he told me he broke an Ono Hole. Which, uh, yeah. And time for what conversation? Body pillows. Yeah, he was a weird dude, waifu. Uh, he would go to Anime Expo, he would buy Ono Holes from J-List, and then he would break them somehow. I don't know what the fuck he did with it, but... He's also the same friend who offered me a slightly used Ono Hole. I don't like the way he emphasized the word slightly. Come here, Carl. By the way, this is Double D's voice actor if you're into Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Come on, Ed boy. Shit. Oh, God, he actually hit me. Don't throw another one. You dick. Ah, good RNG, at least. Come here. No, uh, not used. I guess that's fair. I like how he's not even doing damage to me. He's just fucking lobbing bombs. Oh, wait, you're really doing- Oh. Dude, thanks for the free hit. I'm getting bombed. Please stop bombing me. I mean, it's a good fight, but he's a dick. Alright, thanks. That's 
fine. He didn't ta he didn't chain it. Hold on. Yeah, and he's gonna be like glancing hits. Nothing superb. All right, he dies on the next one. As long as he doesn't. You fucker. What? <laughs> he killed me with the fucking package. The package did the one damage to me, and it fucking killed me. Wow. Is that use laser sword? Hey, I got hit with that. It was a ranged attack. He got a ranged attack on me. I'm just saying that right now. That was a ranged attack. Right at the end, too. Sorry, Nate Rocker. I had a buddy who was quite cursed. I haven't hung out with him in a while. Not because of that or anything. Just, you know, life happens. There we go. Honestly, he had some very interesting stories. Also, yeah, like I mentioned, I used to go to Anime Expos. I know a lot of people who went to Anime Expo. A lot of weebs. I don't know if I want to go now for how fucking packed up. Oh my god. That's fine. What's the name of the boss in William Chain Tag? He death? Kent. Thank you for the one damage. Yeah, next year I'm down to go to AX. Uh, this year, I was like, that's terrifying. Like, NMX seems fun to me. It just, maybe not right now. Also, good to know I can die to the fucking parcel. Like, he didn't even blow up. He just killed me with it. Alright, that's fine. Just don't double hit me in Rapula. Okay, good. Oh. Alright, good shit. I lost a minute, that's fine. Which game is canon? Dead Rising 2 is canon. Off the record is, as it says, off the record. Alright, there we go. Chat, now I get to see the freedom-loving Americans. Kakona! The Momocon? What's Momocon? It sounds like it's familiar. I mean, GDQ was fun. I had a great time there. Also, the masking was really fucking chill, GDQ. Seymour Ball. No, Seymour's later. Uh, what's funny enough, there is a boss named Seymour. Uh, these guys are the. Uh, well, I can always show you. I'll, I'll play a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Chris Marks. Chris R. Marks. Thank you for the tier one. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and welcome to the swarm. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing great today. Sharkat with the raid. This man, the Outlast man, the Outlast dude. Hope you're doing good today. Welcome on in, Raiders. Memes? Memes. That was an impressed old man. So look at that. Wait, you're doing melee? Did you win? No worries, man. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're doing a Dead Rising series marathon today. I get to fuck around with this because it's always a fun time. I get to show off cutscenes. You want some of them? Oh, it was a good time. That's good to hear. Hope we had fun. Uh, you do not know Sharkat. They did Outlast at the last GDQ event. So hope you're doing good today and welcome, Raiders. I do a lot of spooky games. So if you're into that, you're in the right spot. Hey, brother. Chat, it's actually Johnny America. I can't believe it. He's slashing my fucking back. All right, come here. That's fine. Why aren't you going hyper yet? Come on. Thank you for the fall, by the way. I go for the slash. Thank you. Hell yeah, brother. We have some Kakonas for the rednecks. Oh, shit. There you go. Bit of a sloppy fight, but not bad. Okay. Oh god. You're not hyper yet. Good. And you should be dead. Uh, no. Cool. Anyway, uh, I don't think I can experience for that. So I'm going to chug the whiskey. Take one to go. And uh, let's play this safe. 
just in case. Right? I can't believe it. I mean, they're, they're, they're a fun boss fight. I think they'd lampoon the whole, like, Kona. Yeah, we're doing a big old series of Dead Rising today. The Rising Day. The, more like the Rising Bread. We Moon Jump. They run really fast, Yoshi Dog. They run really fast. Anyway, what was I talking about again before that? Oh, yeah, Anime Expo. Yeah, that looks terrifying. Uh, maybe next year. But I like going to Anime Expo when I did go. Oh, there's always some really interesting people who go. Just don't be weird. That's always the answer, right? There we go. Also, it's been a really weird happening today. I don't want to totally talk about it. Like, I was going to mention the title and nothing else. Because, uh, it's a dark, it's a slightly dark topic, chat. Wait! Oh, he didn't go hyper. I thought he was hyper. But there's been something really funny with it. So, I don't want to mention the bad news. I'm just going to mention it and that's it, okay? But there's a situation with that's kind of funny. In a weird way. Super jump? Oh god, am I dead? No. Close to dead, though. I'm dead. Uh, it's just a glitch. It's a moon jump. Yes! So, Shinzo Abe was recently assassinated. Um, that's a dark topic. But some fucking guy on Twitter has been saying that Hideo Kojima did it. It was like an actual politician in, like, France. And I've been fucking like, what the fuck? How do you think Hideo Kojima assassinated Shinzo Abe? Or, like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, it was a whole fucking thing. Like, it was a massive, like, like it wasn't, like, just some random dude. It was, like, a fucking, like, French politician. Like, a news outlet. It's a powerful rumor. Hold on. The man who famously loves Paddington Bear. It's a drum of interest for his next game. <laughs> Death. Alright, it's not that fight. So that was a 4chan joke. It's just wild that an actual, like, politician and newscast actually put that out there. Like, Jesus Christ. Someone didn't like Death Stranding. <laughs> Right, it's really weird, Lakur. Like, I don't want to totally dwell on the whole idea of, like, uh, political figure getting assassinated, because that's a heavy topic in its own right. But I think the idea of, like, someone genuinely mistaking, uh, an assassin for Hideo Kojima, a game developer, is wild to me. Like, H Hideo Kojima. Of all people. Oh, God, wait. There we go. I think I saw the whiskey, by the way. Close the door. Thank you. There we go. Those damn Metal Gears, right? I can't believe this. No, not that cure again. Not that. I think in particular it was like a French dude who's uh, pushing it, like a French politician. Alright, time to fight Big Earl, by the way. My favorite part about this game is that Big Earl is, uh, not the fat one. You think that the one named Big would be, like, the largest of the group, right? Which makes you wonder, why is he called Big Earl? Why do you think he might be named Big Earl, chat? What's so big about him that gives him the name? Because the other one, the, you know, the fat guy is called Derek. But this one's named Big Earl. He's got a big dick? Correct. But also, does that mean that the homie saw his dick and go like, all right, Earl, now you're big Earl. He has a big heart. Oh, of course. <laughs> a big heart. <laughs> all right, thank you. Go for the slash. Thanks. Big slash, good. Good job. Hold on, uh, there we go. One moment. Big bow? Was he big? 
Oh, he said 5'6", but like, is he large in any sense? One not. He's got a big, you know, that's actually accurate. Um, not even gonna lie to you. Uh, the rednecks are supposed to be kind of, uh, overall terrible people. Which, I wonder if they all do, is he just the worst one? Because, you know, in any other sense, by the way, that kind of comment would probably get timed out. <laughs> but considering uh, the context, yeah, it's like, is, so he's the biggest asshole, is what you're saying. Have a good night, Kurt. Rest easy. You know, I'm not a big fan of Big Earl Chad. I thought maybe he just had a giant dick, but... I don't think, don't think he has a giant heart, otherwise he wouldn't be murdering people. Also, you have Deets, who sounds like Ds. It's Deets nuts, chat. Also, this guy hates bureaucrats, which, I mean, I get it. I mean, I probably wouldn't be on the rooftop sniping them, but I, I get it. I don't like going to the DMV. I'm gonna call him Deebs. Hey, Pokemon, have you talked to Deebs recently? I haven't seen Deebs around in a while. He was in, he was in here. Wait, who, wait, wait, what? Today? The stream started. I didn't catch him. Wait, actually? I feel fucking terrible for that, then. When? I gotta always check. Oh. I apologize for that. I, I I genuinely didn't see it. Oh. I was wondering, because I haven't heard from Deebs in a while. I know they were doing Dying Light. Hey. Well then. I guess it's more I'm not observant, which also would track. Anyway, it's actually not that bad. Is he playing League? No worries there, I get that. I absolutely get that. I just quit playing League. Because I was spending a lot of my time playing League. Which, yeah, it'll do that. Well, that's all right. Also, just, just for Pogasol. Wait, where is it? No, there. Just for Pogasol, because I think my weapon might break too. You may have one. Just for you, Deebs and Hudson. You may have nice. one. Yeah, I hope he's been well, though. Oh, if he's outside again, then I definitely want to say hi. There's the pizza. Laser sword? Yeah, I normally like the boxing gloves, but I think it might run out during that fight, so I'm kind of like, maybe not. I want to scro scroll through chat again. See what I miss, because I feel bad. I don't remember, like, I always feel bad, actually. Also, how's it going, buddy? I hope you're doing good. I feel bad if I miss messages. Like, sometimes they do fly by and I don't catch them. And I'm like, oh. So. Yeah, skateboards are really good. Uh, they're really good to use in Dead Rising. Alright. Enough of my ass getting beat. That's fine. No one's here fast? Wait. Oh god. You are pretty fast. I mean, I've seen your speedruns, man. That's how they call you Waifu Runs. Anyone makes an old Dead Rising? Good news for you. It might. It might consider it. I mean, alright. The lightsaber's always been a part of the route. I just don't use it because I'm stubborn. I don't think it's as good as the boxing gloves. But it's not a bad weapon. I know how to use it. Uh, my problem with it is you lose the jump kick, and I really like jump kick. There. Um, I don't need this one. I like how I didn't need that at all, by the way. I thought I did. So there we go. Also, there is a lot of pride in chat. So there's that. And how you doing now, the cat and run? Hope you're doing good today. It's only better if you're really good at the camera cancels. Yeah. I can definitely see how it's nice. My problem is you just, just losing the jump kick is so rough to me. Especially during, uh, Slappy. Wee. Hey, I got the bonk. Love that shit. Bonk. Exactly, Deku. Happy pride. Trans pride. Also, you raided earlier, right? Thank you for that. I saw your name on the hosting list, but I wasn't too sure. So I wanted to say thank you really quick. Also, I... I'm wearing the wrong clothes. Yeah, I like this. There you go. There we go. 
Is it a regular sword? Oh. What the fuck am I talking about then? Wait, what boss do I like jump kick for? I don't actually know then. Never mind. Chat and Pride don't share any letters though. You know, you're not wrong actually. Yeah, all the Pride GDQ emotes. The velocity. Oh god, that reminds me by the way. Talk about velocity for a second. Okay. So, nothing wrong with GDQ's design, but there's one thing that genuinely kind of terrified me. So, at the event, um, there was these, like, make sure you're wearing your mask kind of signs around. And nothing wrong with that. They're good. I'm glad they're there. But looking at them, there was, like, a human version of the GDQ mascot. Like, a purple face and everything. I was like, this is kind of Uncanny Valley in the best way. And, like, I wish I took a picture because they were downright horrifying. And they're just like, oh, wear your mask. Which, good. But like, if you've seen the picture, you might know what I'm talking about. Or if you just saw them around. It was super cursed, right? Yeah, Baby loves a boss. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to find a picture online, but like, for anyone who was at the event, you know what I'm talking about. Like, imagine the GDQ Velocity mascot, but like, they're a human being, and like, they're entirely like purple face and like just very like just solemn looking at it, like looking straight forward. Like a fucking 10 yard stare. I think that's good actually. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they did. Because I guess it wouldn't make sense to have a velociraptor wearing a mask, so they had to make it human. So the anthro the mascot. But it wasn't like a furry, it was like a straight up human being with a mohawk. I know, should I time to dance? Pack yourself, I'm... Uh, on all survivors, I'm the bouncer who's beating up all the zombies. They left torch? There you go. I'm the guy tied up to a chair drinking uh, the, the brewski. All Dead Risers, All Survivors win. I've done one and two. I failed. I didn't fail. You know what that is. Yeah, we got a new emote, actually. Hey, you can, wait, we can actually dance to this. We have a dancing emote. We can, wait, that now. I actually did fail that one. You psyched me out. Apparently, I wanted chat to have more time for dancing. There we go. I'm not gonna say BB, fuck it. Alright. By the way, I know I don't have to... ...go this way. I know I can go straight to the boss, but, uh... I actually... I kind of forgot to get the money. I always forget to get the money. So... Let me go get that. Have a good night, Baku. Rest easy. Wee. Okay, good. Oh, my board doesn't break, by the way, because that would suck. Please, thank you. Oh, good shit. Never mind, I'm apparently um, just fucking not paying attention, which I guess is kind of accurate. I was looking at chat. Have a good night. Alright, do I need a shotgun for this? Uh, actually, yeah, I could use one. Hmm. Don't break, please. I kind of need you to last a little longer. Nah, I think I'll be fine. I know where to get a shotgun if I really need one. In your face, sunburn? Are you out in the sun? A sunscreen's pretty good to wear in general, just as a heads up. I was William Good, by the way. Hope you're doing good. Wear your mask, your face, the rest. Ah, yes. I will say, though, for speedrunners, they're actually really good at uh, wearing masks. Like, I didn't feel at all worried while I was at GDQ. 
Like, I definitely could have been a little bit, uh, actually, hold on. Uh, I'm just trying to go to full guns right now, I think. You use time skip? Yep. Uh, we have a special mod of time skip. I actually made a video about it recently. Uh, about Dead Rising 1's time skip, at the very least. Uh, I don't need that anymore. So this is called All Bosses Skip, because we just add the word skip onto every mod we use now. Um, but this one includes bosses. We also have all scoops if you want to do, like, the uh, survivors and shit. Whee. Sounds good. Shell vest. Hope you're doing good today. Alright, I don't actually know if I needed this, but fuck it, we'll keep it. Alright, chat, the mission's called Two Girls, One Club. Do you get it? You know, in the original game, it wasn't called Two Girls, One Club, but in this game, they couldn't fucking help themselves. Because Capcom Vancouver is clearly the masters of comedy. Thank you, Capcom Vancouver. I'm like, you chat, you know a Capcom content creator? I personally, back in 2010, for my high school class, called Capcom and told them, Hey, you should make a two girls, one club joke, or one cup joke. I'll be fucking hilarious and eat like goddamn wine. Go ahead, do it. It'll be great. Dead. This is your first time, isn't it? You see, get it? They're saying I'm bad at sex. I can't believe it. <laughs> they have swords? We're in a club. Yes, I'm showing my- I've said my age. I'm 27. You know, Chad, I was never invited to my 10-year anniversary, by the way. I think they forgot me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think they forgot about me. I hope they didn't. I wanted to go. You too? Oh. Well, hope you're having a good day, at least, Milana. Great to see you. If you do not know Milana, Chad, she has wonderful people. But yeah, they forgot about me. You never got an invite to your 10 years either? Oh. I, I don't know if they had one, but, like, I'm assuming they did and I just wasn't invited. Like, I think that's my best bet. I like to think it's accurate. Forget them? Ah, yes. That's what we'll do. We'll forget... We'll throw our own 10-year anniversary. Anybody anyway, your 10 or 20-year reunion? But I wanted to go to the anniversary... I want to go to the reunion and tell people I'm a gamer. That is my sole reason. Not that I'm a Twitch streamer, just straight up tell them, yeah, I'm a gamer. I play video games. What do you do all day? I'm a gamer. But what's your job? I, I game. And that's it. Student body is crap. I have no idea about my student body. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was kind of always a guy who was like, people were aware of my existence, but they don't actually know what I did or who I was. They just, they're, I, I was like a lamp. Like, you would know what's missing if you looked. But, like, you don't think about the lamp. So, the next one. But well, I take initiative. That means I can't just say I'm a gamer. It means I know I actually plan shit out. I have to show up unexpectedly after getting invited. And, uh, be a gamer. Whee! Fucking love the moon jump. Alright, one more lesson. You game and drink nowadays. Exactly. Got, like, ten years? Nice. Exactly, Butterball. You got it. By doing Wang Jangler. What a name. You jangle your wang? Is that what you're telling me here? Yeah. Wow, this gun's really good against these guys, actually. What the fuck? Okay. They're the lie of their lives? Apparently. Anyway, chat, you want to see me murder a helicopter with a toy gun? Check it. Dead. Clean. Clean fight. How's oh, it going, Teddy? Where's the real Mega Buster? Don't need it. It's actually better. This makes you so mad. It's my favorite strategy in the game, though. How can it make you mad? It's great. And now I got a million dollars. I said DMC2? Were you watching Waipu lately? Is that more straightforward? No, in Dead Rising 2 base, use a spitball gun. I got just 56 students. You only have like 20 heal back for the unions. Ah, that fucking sucks. I had a big class, I think. I don't know how many, but I remember there being a lot of people because I couldn't even wait for the fucking names to get read when I went to school. There's the humble bundle full of uh, back in June. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I know, dude. I know wife has been doing fucking DMC two lately, which is kind of hilarious. 
I don't know why I grabbed two boards. I don't need two boards. Oh, well, it's fine. It's actually sick. Weren't you, weren't you, like, didn't someone else used to submit that to GEQ with you all because you didn't want to, like, no one wanted to run it? I don't deny you, but still. I was about Neon. Oh, you doing good? Neon. Alright, over to you. Get the car and the blam bam. Alrighty, good. Loner Hero. Yeah! I know you, Maxi, and Loner Hero have been submitting it as a trilogy relay, right? Yeah, it's good times. It's it's good, good times, I think. Whee! Okay. Let's go. Alright, chat, you wanna see a cool glitch? One is my emotion. Oh, of course. It is emotional support. Like Peter. Peter. Anyway, chat, let me show you a glitch. Uh, you can actually teleport. So check it. Um, if you know where to moon jump just right and you build up enough speed, you can do this. Where you can launch over this wall and then it's gonna knock me out of bounds and then the default teleport position is the arena. And what that means, I spawn directly onto the oven pipe. Cool strat, huh? Hey chat, look, it's Clussy. Or it'd be Click, because it's Clown Dick. You see, everyone talks about the Clussy, but nobody talks about the Click. Just saying. True? I mean, in fairness, I'm more into Clussy, I guess, but uh... Oh, he's gonna blow me up. Oh god, no! Ah, oh, yes, Click starring Adam Sandler. It's a very cursed movie now, isn't it? What a great job. I'm sliding. No, don't stomp on me, man. Let's try and... Alright, phase two. Now it's gonna go fast. Why does this car have ass, though, is my question. Bon. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> By the way, I willingly ate time loss so I can punt him to death. <laughs> so there we go. I hope you appreciate that. Oh, it's tits? What, are we, what about titties? What are we talking about now? I mean, we have a pie emote. Click is a word? I guess that's fair. Okay. Hold on. I think I should make this first, by the way, but it's alright. Oh, yeah, I have a shotgun I don't need. Ah, I'll live. Uh, Cleanus? <laughs> Are you talking about clown penis, Hoomst? Clown, clown, cleanus. Clown penis. There we go. Oh, yes. And now it's, now it's right. Perfect. Now, now it's perfect, huh? Now, now it's correct. The cleanus. It's any anniversary of Kansas because four students not dead. That's fucking depressing. I hope that you're right, Narga. Like, I, that sounds horrifically depressing. I'm not gonna lie to you. Anyway, time for a cool song. Oh, you can't defend your friend. Got the hit. Doesn't matter. Shit. Oh, you dodged that. Let's try. Alright, hold on. Wait, you're immune to that? How you. Okay. okay, come here. One at a time. Time for Roger. Hey, how's it going? Is that Dudo's tea? Or Dudozu tea? Welcome on in. Um, I actually get that. So, chat, to describe this boss fight. Also, we're doing all bosses, so it's a little bit more different. 
Uh, still a very fun category, though. He's gonna ram me. Um, I should be able to get away from this. Uh, let's actually play this safe, though. Oh! Never mind, not so safe. A little bit greedy. I got rammed. It's okay. It is pickle pork. If you have any questions, do those, let me know. Anyway, this time, can you not, like, uh... There we Oh, come on. Never mind, he did both attacks that time. There we go, they need to follow. Uh, let's get them separated, because this going to be better for me. Good. So, chat, this is actually one of the most interesting fights in the game. Let me break it down for you. Uh, Roger and Reed both have weaknesses. Uh, Roger's weakness is that if he's hit with anything, like, explosive, like a firework or a, um, a Lambo, um, he will get dazed and stunned, like that. So normally what you want to do is you actually want to, um, it's supposed to be Reed who hits him. I might die again, by the way, because my health is really greedy right now. Let's just run away, maybe. Reed is kind of the big pain in the ass, if you couldn't tell. Alright, one. Let's heal up. This is an easy fight. Yeah, Reed is tough. Reed is really tough to deal with. And you couldn't tell. Uh, also, hey, look, chat, it's me at GDQ. So, if you're wondering, what's Reed's weakness? Reed's weakness is... Uh, hold on. I lost my book. There. He can't get hit in the back. So, you can actually go for a backstab. And... A, wait, which way is he going? If you hit him in the ass, he takes a large chunk of health. So, for the fight, it's going to be more optimal just to, you know, wait him out. And you can still fight him, but... It's actually really neat, though. It's a co-op fight. They have, weak, like, clear weaknesses. I guess every fight in Dead Rising does have a weakness, weirdly enough. It just, uh, you don't really see it nearly as often as you think. Really? Fuck you, Reed. You suck. There we go. Slap. Oh, come on. Dude, they're so so good at just, like, playing back and back. Alright, come on. Roger can't be stunned in co-op? That's so neat. I wonder why. Probably because it's, like, one-on-one. -on -one. Wow, Reed. What are you doing, my man? Reed. Being a dick. Death! Actually, I kill you. No. There, he's dead. Fuck him. I was doing simply see. I'll be doing great today. He's dead. We've done it. Yeah. All right, that was a rough fight, but you know what? It worked. Oh yeah. All right, took Zombrex. Bop. Cool. And now you get my shit. Cause there's like two things I need here. I need a gun and a boost. The juice boost. Because I'm boosting my juice. Okay, one. And then. Two. Wait, I don't think I need the LMG, actually. No, I don't need. Alright, boxing gloves. I don't need the boxing gloves. Like, wait, what do I need? I do need the LMG. I don't need boxing. There we go. Claude wrap the spine? Exactly. Do not get it twisted? What do you mean, two graves? You're down minutes. I'll be fine, don't you worry. We'll be good. We'll, ca we'll, we'll, we'll buff out those scratches. We'll be all sorts of good. I think so, at least. Whee. Yeah, all bosses is definitely, I think, my, like, uh, for the full marathon, like, Marathon Rising All Bosses has been my pet category. Um, I do it every now and again. It's really fun. Uh, a lot of cool stuff involved in it. Uh, you kind of just get to do all the bosses, which my favorite part of fucking Dead Rising. I don't know anyone who hates the bosses. 
Easily the best shit. Easily. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Love that. Is there any indie horror games I like? Yeah, I like a bunch of indie horror games. Um, in terms of all of them, it really varies. But yeah, I enjoy indie horror games. I have plan on playing some really soon, too. Have a good night, Ravenloft. Thank you for stopping by. I'm glad. I hope you've been enjoying the stream so far, and thank you for being here. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow I'll be doing Shadows of the Dam, so uh, if you like that game at all or anything about it, definitely feel free to stop by. And then I'll be learning a new speedrun on Sunday, which is going to be Siren, the original game. Because I like to I like to do games, learn games, do marathons, a bunch of shit. Yes, I know you were asking Mars Cakes about uh, Shadows of the Dam. We'll be doing that tomorrow night. Which should be fun. Also, Waifu, you were talking about a Dark Souls boss. You know Frank West is actually a Dark Souls boss? You know why? Because you're about to see what the Dark Souls protagonist looks like. And I'll show you. It should be fun. Uh, Antoine's fun. He's... I kind of fucked up the strategy a little bit, but we'll see. Yeah, Madison seems neat. I saw a cat playing that. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Ms. Cat Link. And Cat Link's great people. If you do not know Cat Chat, you should absolutely know her. She is fantastic people. Alright, anyway, watch. This is the Dark Souls boss fight. He's gonna constantly fucking roll every time I do any attacks. <laughs> I'm the boss. Oh, God. Alright, good. Well, I want to see what the end's gonna be like with Shadow of the Damned. Exactly. I'm the boss fight. He's the player character. Come on, Boykin. Well, I wouldn't say Boykin's deformed. It's more the idea that he just rolls every single time he, like, does anything. He just fucking rolls the whole fight. <laughs> You know, this fight used to be so fucking difficult, and then I realized, wait a minute, if you stay in his face the whole time, he just does that. I found so much shit for these games. Like, the more I talk about it, I'm going down this memory lane where I'm like, yeah, you know, this started happening. Also, Chad, I get a, I get to carry the, the waifu back to the safe house, because this is the average gamer getting a GF, just going like a fucking Roadrunner cartoon, just lightning speed on his legs. Just, Madison. Madison looked neat. I don't know everything about it, but I enjoyed watching Cat play it. I didn't spoil myself, but it looks neat. I don't know if I'll play it, but we will see. Well, yeah, he has to. Yeah, I heard about that, K. A few people were talking about that. I hope you're alright. So... Uh, yeah, hope you're all good. Hmm. Don't get hurt. Hmm. Yeah, extermination. I mean, I don't think it's super difficult to convince you to play extermination. Like, it's not... It, it could be on the docket. I just don't have a goal for it at the moment. Right now, the only goals I have are Hellblade at 1,300, I think. And, um... Nightmare Creatures at 1,200. Uh, if I can find another goal for 1,100, I'll probably consider it, but I don't have any at the moment. Here we go. Oh, it's going Scooby-Doo 420XX. I'll be doing good. Yeah, I made that a sub goal because I thought it'd be fun. I don't- I usually make them on long stretch games, not like just, you know, individual things. So. That. Oof. Need other ones into playing. Well, there you go. And we'll see. We will see. For this is, uh, you and Greatsword. You run lightning fast. That's powerful. The Mummy 20 skin does suck, Gar. I need a good taste. You guys wanna watch the Barbie movie? I'm just saying... The Ryan Gosling aesthetic in that's actually pretty fucking good. Like, I don't know if I'll watch the Barbie movie, but... I definitely think the... You know... I think they nailed it. I think they definitely nailed the aesthetic. 
You'll watch that theaters? I'll be like, I'll be the, t the Chad meme. Two tickets for the Barbie movie, please, for me and the homies. What, for Nightmare Creatures? Nightmare Creatures seems neat. I'm kind of down because it's like one of the only werewolf games in existence that's a horror game. Or, you know, other games. Purple? Give me a wee bit to find my controller and get to a spot where I can kind of like move my hands more. And yeah, you got it. Well, get some rest then. 666 kill, right? It's like the devil. It's like the Deville. You know Deville's brand of car? I learned that from the movie, Corella Deville. Or Corella. Take my time? Hey, sounds good. Wait, was Corella the last movie I watched? No, no, Scream. Okay. I was like, wait, I watched Corella in theaters, and I don't remember if that was the last movie I watched. As I cannot remember. Oh, hold on. Uh, where's my thingy? There it is. It's in my pocket. There you go. Uh, I gotcha. Yeah, this part just mashes the button, so you gotta, like, chill for a moment. It's nice. Hold on. That was Hold on. There we go. No, don't say it. God damn it. No! Alright, there we go. That fingered it. Secured? Yeah, I mean, they killed all the zombies. Dude, have you seen Frank? He's pretty powerful. You know, as much as I love the quick step strategy, I kind of like the just skateboard the whole game more. A little bit nicer. Hey, oh my god, chat. You know what I just remembered? It's been so long since I've been able to do it. I might be able to get to do it again. You know what it is. You know exactly what it is, and I can't wait. Don't say it if you know it. It's my favorite part of Dead Rising 2 off the record. Ooh, I'm excited. I am really excited for that. You don't? Well, you'll see. Don't you worry. You'll see. You'll know in time. You will know in time. Hmm. Is it the thing? You'll see. You, you know this one? You'll see it. Just trust me. You'll, you'll know when you see it. Hold on. Is it the best weapon? No, no, you'll see. You'll see. It's not- that's a really dumb, specific thing we do here. So. Hey, well, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Rest well. But it comes on overtime, I'll say that much. It's an overtime. Also, here's one of the weird changes that's harder from Dead Rising 2. They added, like, a blockade of zombies. And, like, dudes. I know you know what it is. I know you know. Good. Good. What about that? Wait, did I really... Okay, we're good. Oh, if you really think so, Sir Meichi, if you really think so. You'll see. I'll say it right now. You'll you'll see. Give it some time. You'll You'll know. I do it every time. Alright, chat, ready for the hardest boss fight in all of Dead Rising? I'm not kidding, these are actually bosses. I must beat them. It's Mark and Piers, and they can genuinely kill your run. I meme very often about these two fuckers, but they do it so much, and I hate them. I know you know what it is. No, you can't lick the cheerleader, Beaver Red. She's not to be licked. Unless you ask politely. You forgot what it is? Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. You love the hardest bosses? Hey, they are tough. You ever play off the record? Dude, I remember there's one run that was so fucking good that when I was doing this, I think all bosses. 
and I just died, and I was like, wow. I think it made me just not run the category anymore. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm not doing this shit ever again. <laughs> I'm fucking done. <laughs> Do not lick the cheerleader. You may give the cheerleader a single lick, chat. Only one. Use it sparingly, okay? Yeah! Thank you, K-Par. Ms. Moonshine worked very, very hard on it. I'm going to sleep. Okay, I'll tell you right now, it's probably going to be in the next uh, 20 minutes. Maybe less. Is there no music? There's some music, but it's really ambient. That was a razor gem. Oh, so wait, you have the you have the muted stream icon. Uh, how are you doing, Cactite? Is it Groovin? I do like Groovin. I do enjoy Groovin. Hmm. It's gonna be fun? Oh, absolutely. It's so fucking stupid to me. Can he? Ah, there it is. There we go. What do you say? I don't know, man. It's impossible to actually truly tell. Also, let's play the safe. I'm thinking about those beans. No, not the mustard. The beans. Thank you. Chat, you just eat beans? Like, all of them? You know, Frank's kind of a monster. You know, I was saying yesterday I was watching Tav, and she just played a video of a man fucking downing beans. Like, drinking beans. And I don't know why, but that, like, just... It elicited a reaction from me on the inside, and it was painful. Beans in a bag. Her whole are nice, but, like, I, I just mean, like, beans. <laughs> like, not... Yeah, that guy. Kav I I'm glad you know what I'm talking about, Kavalas. Like, it wasn't, like, any pre-made beans. He was just drinking beans. Like, he poured a bunch of beans into a boot, put water and, like, I think hot sauce in there, and was drinking it. So I was like, oh. It is Paradox Dreams. It is, like, a cursed savory boba. Badlands Chugs? I'm just saying Tav is very cursed. And I adore her. Nice shoe, nice video. <laughs> Have I mentioned your name before? <laughs> it's a bridge I have, but I love your name, Gay Rats. Uh, it's, a, it's a pride rat. That reminds me of the, the gay rat wedding from, uh, what the, what's the fuck is that, Arthur? Everyone kept talking about the gay rat wedding. <laughs> yeah, fucking Arthur, man. Hey, happy pride. It's like Rat Jam. Why hasn't anyone made a pride Rat Jam yet now that I think about it? Minnesota overflow, putting one in a bacon soda. Wait, is she doing Bean Boozled? Oh lord, poor Tob. Yeah, the teacher! It's Rat Month now! <laughs> ah yes, the other sins. When do we, uh, is November Gluttony Month? Because I'm all about that. Oh, I don't need these guys up will help. See ya. I mean, yeah? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's go, guys. That's powerful energy. Well, there you go. I hope you have a great day. Do we need more sins? We have seven, right? Seven deadly sins. Hey, we actually get to learn all about the seven deadly sins in Dead Rising 3, because that's the boss design there. Need 7 TV. Ah, I don't have 7 TV. I assume it's a fine emo, Razor Jim. I know chat here is good. I know I know we get good chat, so yeah. Oh yeah, also that's actually why, um, so Dr. Hugby's, like, whenever I mention the don't joke about age, it's not something that's just like I'm uncomfortable with. It's like you will get your account banned if you do it. Like, it's, it's not like a, a, you get stream banned, it's like you get account banned. Like, it is a really brutal ban if you joke about being, like, underage. 
That's how I was like, don't do it. Don't do it. Gay Rat, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you very much. Hopefully you are having a fantastic day, and welcome to the swarm. Prime Gay Rat, exactly. You have powerful lesbian energy, and I just think that's fantastic. Dancing in TFT. Oh, I know that feeling. Are you going mages? You know what I fucking love doing in my inting? I'd always go, uh, Vanguard or whatever the fuck it is. Or, what, it's Guardian now, right? Thelmore, the raid. How was the stream? Tell me all about it. What are you doing today? Madison, how is it? I've been hearing things about that game. Also, thank you for the shout-out, Dave. Chad, if you don't know Thelmore, you should. He's a cool dude. He has the Dodo as his mascot. And he's also playing hit indie horror game that came out, like, I don't know, yesterday? Madison. Nice puzzles, it's funny at the end. I've seen a little bit from Cat playing it, but I don't know too much yet. I was doing Six Speed. I like a bicycle. All I know about Six Speed is that there's an eel song called Six Speed. Yeah, Chad, if you do not know Felmore, absolutely check him out. Wonderful dude, and if you go to any other, like, if you go to a GEQ or something in the future, I'd love to meet you. I don't get a good time. Good question, Bron. Good question. At all in this B patch, uh, let's show Rise. I like, I like Rise in this patch. But I understand he's not the best. GDQ keeps rejecting my- Hey, maybe- uh, I think AGDQ is definitely better for it, I'll tell you that much. Like, if you're very earnestly wondering, as GDQ tends to focus on, like, this isn't me being, what's the word, facetious or mean. For horror, and for anything for SGDQ, SGDQ considered, oh, I got hit. SGDQ is kind of like a greatest hit sort of thing. It's a submit the safest, most like, like what you'd expect GDQ to take games. AGDQ tends to run more experimental, and they also take awful block. Well, SGDQ is more of the silly block. So that's usually how I see the two. I know this because my track record for AGDQ is really fucking good. Me and all of SGDQ, I've been in once. And that's why I did Night Trap. Oh yeah, you love, you love the early 2010s dubstep, because I remember this shit. Oh my god, can I get a good attack? I am coming in if you don't know who I am. I am McDysis. I do a lot of horror games and horror game accessories. I am a big fan of the genre, and they're good stuff. So if you're all doing good. So I'd definitely say for AGDQ, lean more to awful, while SGDQ lean more to like, you know, a lot of the, the greatest hits. Okay. Exactly, horror and horror game accessories. Horror adjacent. Oh no, Allison's dead, I can't believe it. 10 speed of God's blood and burial. I know Six Speed by Eels. I know that song. It's about a bike, I think. I well, hope it was a good nap, Drev. It was a nice nap, I bet. Nice? Oh, that's good. Hey, wow, I actually got best RNG. What the fuck? I fucked up anyway. Hey, AJ with a tier 3 for 14 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors once again, and the cursed emotes. And thank you very much. I know Coheed from that one song. Everyone knows. And I know they're pretty good. Like, I'm aware that they have caliber. Where's the stash? We're in a new era, hey, AJ. So we have new animated emotes. Uh, but I had to share the stash. As a part of the new era, I'm a new Ecdysis. And the new Ecdysis is back to babyface. Also, I like how they removed the dubstep and throw in the standard Capcom, like, orchestra, I suppose. Also, you know what's better, Chad? QTEs. All bosses? Damn right. Sweet, my man. How you been? Great to see you. I missed Dead Rising a lot, actually. I'm glad you're back. Damn, I tried. It wouldn't be a Dead Rising Marathon without something f <laughs> Cool, anyone want to clip that for me? What the fuck was that? I'm glad they knocked me out of it. Thanks, Stacy. Dude, she slammed me in the other dimension. I'm not trying to get slammed like that, dude. I mean, I get Stacy. 
I'm not into that. Dead Space seems fun, but tough. How'd you EQ? I had a great time. I got to see Breaking Fuse. I was on Cabot. I like my baby face. I was on Digivic. Welcome on in. Ram. I can't believe I got fucking bodied like that, though. I did get murdered on a couch. That's correct. That's very correct, in fact. Right, when is the Leon? We don't do the Leon fight in this game because, uh, it. The Leon fight's just Chuck. It's the same exact fight. The only difference is it's a green bike instead of a yellow bike. That's the difference. Same fight. And the, and the starting position is slightly different. You ready for the thing? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get there. Why? B. Y. X. And. Bop. Hooray! Anyway, chat, since I'm 11 minutes ahead, check it out. You get uh, my favorite part. I mean, it happens. I mean, she knocked me out, right? Bitch had it coming. The greatest one-liner? Which one? Part one or part two? Victory? Not yet. We still have another, uh, we still have overtime. <laughs> Looks like you're a little out of your league, boy. This one coming up? There's two coming up. Remember that. Hold on, I'm checking out Twitter. Agent S. I'm ready for extraction. Yeah. I just have an old newspaper. That needs to be <laughs> oh, God damn it, Pokesol. I linked the ninja. Uh, oh, no, no, that. Uh, you linked the ninja uh, fucking thing. Oh, chat, you ready? Here it is. It's ignored. Which part of all this I? <gasps> I was in the middle of the boss fight. Oh, Frank, I fucking hate that pun. Too bad I don't dig flat chicks. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, so I was right, yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't fight Leon just because, um, it's not as fun. Too bad I don't dig flat chicks. Because you get it? She was crushed like a pancake, and she's also flat, because she does not have giant titties like Rebecca, or giant ass like Rebecca. I can't believe it. Rip, right? I can't believe it. Comedy gold right there, chat. Anyway, you ready? No, I got... Oh, I got wonky boarding. God damn it, I hate wonky boarding. You know, the, right? I can't believe it. You, you, the clever folks at Capcom Vancouver really knew how to spring comedy gold onto their audiences. You know, their early work was a little bit too new way for my taste, but they really came into their own with Dead Rising 2 off the record. They were the fall by the way. What the fuck did Capcom Vancouver do before this game, actually? Jill Sandwich? I don't have Jill Sandwich, then I don't take flat chicks. Chat, you know that part where Frank West said he doesn't dig flat chicks? You see, you get it, because she was flat-chested. <laughs> and now we're back! There it is! Hey, chat, you want to hear a funny joke? Hold on, ready? Ready? Dead Rising 4. There you go. Hey, chat, what's the third letter of the alphabet? <laughs> There you go. That's an open comment about. No, not fat chicks, flat chicks. He's saying that he does not dig chicks who are, you know. I'm so excited for your lollipop flat. chainsaw cosplay stream. I'm not doing a lollipop chainsaw cosplay, no. Oh god. There's many good chicks out there. Please, which one? Exactly, Stream you. Me clap. So. Denied for which part? Oh, for the last chainsaw? Oh, gotcha. Also, even the 100 biddies. 
Oh, we do have the emote for the cheer if you haven't seen it. BS chat. Do you want to hear what the CEO of Capcom Vancouver said when he heard the joke of uh, Frank doesn't dig flat chicks? See? Hilarious, isn't it? Flash justice? Yeah. Equality in all, you know, in all things. Wee! Oh, my turn. Moves are nice. I like Abu's take. I like Abu's take. Exactly. Logoport gives a space. He does. All shapes and sizes. Exactly. Do a cost. See, everyone's been telling me chop off my body. So I can cosplay live pop chainsaw. The absolute territory. You know, I didn't know what the absolute territory meant, so I played No More Heroes 2. Because the song Philistine has that as a line, and I was like, what's absolute territory? And then I looked it up, and apparently it's the uh, area of skin between a girl's skirt and thigh highs. I didn't I learned that because of uh, No More Heroes. See, video games teach you things. Like, I have, like, weeb fucking phrases. That's all heavy. Yeah, it's called Absolute Territory, Awful John. Uh, I, I know, I, I guess the game was rated M in all fairness. Like, good collarbone? Well, there you go. You know what I like? I mean, No More Heroes uh, got ported, didn't it? I could have sworn they uh, updated the port for that shit. You get it? He said. He said personality? I mean, I'm cool with personality, but it's not the end-all be-all. It's nice. Jasper Rat Bastard Jr. I remember him. I don't know, I don't really think about it. I don't really talk about my uh, my stuff on stream, I suppose. Usually, if I'm going to talk about any of my dating life, it's about how Bumble paid me $70 because I don't have one. Oh, TK, that's not very nice, man. Why is TK so mean to me, chat? I'm just talking about how the IRS took my money. So. Wait, did you tell you broke up with a girl because she didn't like onions and garlic? Really? Why would you break up with a girl? I didn't like onions and garlic? What if she's allergic to them? I get why. I mean, I don't know why you don't like garlic, though. I mean, I like onions and garlic. I'm just... I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't think I've ever had a petty deal breaker. I'm not going to lie to you. Like to use these to sew your mouth Obviously a vampire. You know, maybe she is. All like goblin girls. They are quite powerful, my understanding. No onion or garlic in your food? What if you, uh, wait, what if you date her and you get more onions and garlic? What about that? Think about it. Chat, why is six afraid of seven? Just seven, eight, nine. Oh, TK, you bust me right up. I want to laugh like that, chat. I don't think my laugh is nearly as infectious. I want to laugh like that. Just, ha 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 ha! Now that right there, that's the C. No, no, it's not sex offender, it's six offender. Hey, what you, got? <laughs> you have to do the pun right. Oh. He laughs like you imagine how that emote sounds. Exactly. How are you doing, this? Great to see you again. Hope you have an awful day. Hey, Chad, you want to hear what my report card was when I was in college drinking all the time? Oh, I tried my best, man. What can I say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love the increasingly specific puns you can make with this. Oh, hey, Chad, you want to hear what I said when I met Mike Yama? <laughs> there you go. That one was a good one. I'll say I'll, I'll die on that one, Hill. That was a good one right there. Beans on toast? Wait, is beans on toast bad? I, mean, I don't really eat beans on toast. I'm not opposed to it. 
The CEO is sex? No, my CEO is the CEO GEQ. I don't know about his sex life, nor do I particularly ask. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's also my boss. I'm not going to ask him. I agree with that, Abu. Thank you for the 100 bitties and the kind words. Yeah, I, I'm not normally into asking my uh, my boss those questions. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll hand him a natter day. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get fired, chat. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> he did take two. He took two natter days. He took the pineapple and said it was terrible. Uh, and then he took the uh, the blueberry one. He thought for a moment, and uh, then he said it's so much worse. Yeah, I heard that. I kind of regret not stopping by when Mike was there. I was gonna hand him one of my good beers, and I kind of regret not doing so. Hold on. Hold on. One moment. There's thermostat was. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what TK said after he realized the thermostat wasn't set to Fahrenheit? Was it this? Oh no! It canceled my call! Oh, I try. I'm sorry. It canceled my call. Oh. No, it's not Mike Uyama. I, I, I can DM Mike Uyama chat. It's not Mike. I mean, they're actually pretty cool. Oh, it's all good. Uh, hold on. One moment. Yeah, dude, Mikey Yama's a fucking great dude. Like, actually, like, if you're wearing outside of memes and shit, like, he's a great dude to be around. He's really chill, fun to talk to, and really chill dude. So I have high praise. I, ah, yes, I single, of course, I single-handedly ruined GDQ, that's right, according to that one guy. Uh, hold on. Oh no, I'm on fire, shit. Alright, I'll thank you for the follow, by the way. Luckily, this section is loaded to wait. There we go. Hold on. Oh, GEQ is about the friends you made along the way. You know, in a sense, it kind of is. God. Hold on, I don't want to die right now. There's oh my god, no! I hate you gas zombies so much. There we go. Oh yeah, well, a lot of GDQ is actually being able to meet people who you talk to. You put names to faces. And you can hang out with people. Wait, which part of JRS? Oh, Mikey on being dope as fuck? Yeah, the dude's great. I like how he did the ooh yeah while talking. If you went, you probably wouldn't tell anyone. I mean, it's about events to go to. Wait, is that a queen? Dude, give me the queen. Sweet. Ah, yes, the classic lines by Capcom Vancouver. Talking about TK has experience at donkey shows in Tijuana. Beautiful. Yeah, uh, Mike Young is the CEO of GDQ. Uh, he uh, founded the event and he heads it. He's also my boss for Hotfix. Like, he's genuinely my boss. You know, maybe he has. No, no business cards at GDQ. There we go. Waiting. Hooray, I saved zero time. They are Capcom Vancouver. Alright, time for the final boss. It's not the same as the item in my hotbar. It's better, I'd say. Alright, dead. Oh, wait, that really. Wait. TK. There we go. TK, time to die. Come here.
That's fine. No, he rammed me! Why did he ram me? I'll sip the sodi. Okay, that's fine. Just wanna, don't wanna die. The spear? Dude, it's like fucking Goldberg from the, uh, the wrestling. Alright, he's, right, he's in the spear. I dodge. Hold on. Play nice and safe, because I think Rebecca might run into some issues. I think he did, yeah. Or on Rebecca. No, yeah, he hit us on thin air. That's what happened. Uh, I could have played this fight a little bit better, but it'll be fine. Eat chair! Oh my god! Frank with the chair! <laughs> oh god, no, this is, yeah, I'm printing out the stun. Uh... Oh no! Well, thank you, Abu. There we go. Oh, what a sweet ending, chat. I sure hope that there's no uh, terrifying zombie jump scare and incredibly loud jazz at the end of this. That would just ruin this game for me, right? See, do you get it? They're going to have sex with each other. He's gonna break her wide open. That's his fantasy. Ah, uh, how sweet. Well, like I said. See, we're good. Oh no, there's the zombie jump scare. Oh no, there's the loud jazz. I... I can't believe it. Every time I play this game, I... I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, boom, 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 boom. I wasn't kidding. Loud jazz. One, well, I gotta wait for the game to actually boot in. There we go. Cool. Nice. Abu is a beautiful human being. Hold on. Cool. Alrighty, let's make sure we're all good. We're gonna get into this. Game is reset. Fuck yeah. Alright, speaking of compliments, Joe is nice. He's a nice guy. Rising Dead 3. Do I like how we got a load remover for this shit now? Have a good night, Blue Blazer. Sleep well. Thank you for stopping by. But yes. Hey, it doesn't hurt. Alright, uh, Nightmare Mode, new game, single player, boom. So chat, fun fact by the way, uh, it's mainline games, uh, Evil Within 2 got in, not one of them. Alright. And then Evil Within 1, I know Jigsaw's been working on that pretty hard. So chat, if you're wondering about Dead Rising uh, 3, That's of course, I'm only 32,000 away, what if I make you gamble all 1 million? That's not all bosses, it's uh, all survivors, all scoops, all like, all survivors and shit. But yeah chat, Dead Rising 3 is a very neat game. 
Uh, the reason why is not going to be something you're expecting. What are the stakes? I'll pick number two, one and two. You have to guess it correctly. If you gamble on it, I'll pick whatever number you don't choose. Sounds like a fair gamble to me. It's two, it was one. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you lost. Anyway, let's talk about this category for a second. So Dead Rising 3 is, believe it or not, one of the hardest Dead Rising games to speedrun. If you want to know why, it's because, uh, what's the word? I have to play on Nightmare difficulty. Most Dead Rising games don't have difficulty sliders, but this game does, and Nightmare difficulty is kind of mandatory, and it's fucking wild that it is. Also, as always, I'm on a new game file. What does that mean? It's gonna be fucking difficult. Yeah, uh, as Swede said in chat, it saves an hour of time. Like, imagine saving a fucking hour of time save. Ryzen PS4? I mean, we have a load remover now, which is nice, but yeah. Oh no, Dan is dead. I can't believe it's. Okay. I'm running low on stamina. Eat the rations. Oh my god, the beer. I get to play my favorite dr game. Drink the beer. Wondrous. Gifting a sub to 1 million points. Thank you, Wondrous. Enjoy. Well, I guess not. Also, the giant cookie. I would tell him to enjoy the emotes and the scissors, but I don't think they're a real person. I mean, they might be actually, I think about it. Yeah, Nair Road has super aggressive zombies, uh, really difficult enemies, and uh, the like. So it's as difficult as you can imagine it being. Yeah, right, that's how it's misspelled. Ah, I gotcha. Well, that would make sense. So I hope that kind of explains how this is going to work. A lot of people actually wonder about this game. Um. I think that covers the gist of it, really. Uh, Nightmare Mode also does not feature the autosave, so you have to manually save at many points. I miss Mommy Milker's 69420. Didn't that account get banned or something like that? I think it did at one point. Yep, unfortunate. So this game isn't bad. I'll say doing any Moogle. Like, a lot of people will shit talk Dead Rising 3. This game is weird. It's not really a bad game. It's just kind of a weird game. Dead Rising 4 is on PS4? Yeah, I think Dead Rising 4 is multi-platform. Like, Dead Rising 4 has a lot of flaws. Dead Rising 3 has flaws, but they're not terrible. Oh, of course. Of course, Val. Dead Rising, you never played? So this game definitely hits a weird area just because it was an Xbox 360 launch title and if you had nothing to do with the, um, you know, multi-platform, you may not have even played it. I'll say doing Alex, or Recon. Hope you're doing good today. Also, I get my favorite part of the game because now I can kind of ignore Rhonda and, uh, Dick. By the way, the guy's name there is actually Dick. Now, chat, we don't want Dick. Dick is bad. Dick's our co-op partner, and we want to ignore him. Yeah, this is a, no, sorry, a, a bone. This is the bone launch title. Nye Yiddle, great dude. Ignite is the prophet, what is in your pocket? You know, I'm actually debating on making a profit emote soon. I'm saying that right now, I don't know when, but I'm tempted. How's it going? Wow is my GF. Ellie New, spicy, Dan. All right, we're gonna avoid Dick, by the way. You see, Dick tried getting in my car, he's not allowed inside. I was going to swear Tokyo. Hope you had a great time. And Chad, you're not knowing any you should. Great runner of Ghostwire Tokyo. Great speedrunner in general. Met them at GDQ. Nice people. Welcome on in, everyone. I am uh, apparently a prophet because I give a lot of uh, booze. So. Yeah, I mean the bone. The X-bone. Also, Dick tried to get in my car, but luckily they're really fast. So if you just, like, you know, avoid all of them, they, believe it or not, just, like, leave. And they'll catch, they'll run after you really fast. And it's kind of hilarious. 
It's my favorite part of this game. Also, look, here's a fun speedrun strat. I'm going to crash the car. There we go. Beautiful. Are you doing a uh, tatami? Because hope we had a fun time. I like Ghostwire Tokyo. So we had a fun time playing it. Also, Avium, for the one thing uh, that you DM me about. It's all good. Everything is all good. Believe you me. Thank you for the follow, by the way. If you have any questions, let me know. Anyway, going into Dead Rising 3, we actually have a lot to do. So, in the beginning of this game, there is a mandatory 10-minute wait. However, on all bosses, it's not a wait. It is a, you're getting your ass to work. You have a lot you gotta do right now. And, oh, hold on. Uh, that is gonna be a little bit of platforming. Uh, cause, uh, ble see this weapon? Yeet! Not the launch here, get that out of here. E. See, look, Dick's in the shop. You know what, Dick? Trying to take easy. Nice, nice. Also, as you can Hope you're doing good today. It does sound cool. We have a new emote today. We have a uh, cheerleader emote, which is really good so far. People really like the cheer emote. Travski, thank you for the cheer one for six months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Well, thank you. Hopefully, you are having a wonderful day today. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Thank you very much. Enjoy the green scissors. I hope you're doing good. It's a great emote, isn't it? Whee! Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna start slapping it. So what I need to do is one, in this area, I need to hit level two. Uh, so I actually don't want this guy to kill too many zombies. Uh, so because I wanna kill them. Uh, because killing him should give me enough to get level two. And I should get it. Now, when hitting level 2 is so important with, um, 1 off. There we go, 2 off. So now that I hit level 2, uh, I can upgrade my PP. This game is much more RPG-esque. I'm gonna put in smarts. Uh, that's gonna raise my PP gain. So before, my PP gain was small. Now I have big PP, and that's what's important. That's what you- that's what Dead Rising's all about, chat. It's about big PP. <laughs> yeah, you gotta upgrade the PP, right? As well, I'm going to be making this weapon called the Reaper. Because uh, the Reapers are going to be uh, very uh, efficient at what they do. So, I'm going to go back here, make another Reaper. There we go. And there should be a... There it is. Uh, two Fire Reapers. Exactly. Also, if you're wondering why am I running before doing any of that? Because these zombies are mad aggressive and they will fucking tear me apart. So I'm gonna take a moment right now to kind of drain one of my weapons and get some experience. Um, I really have to start XP farming because I want to be at a certain level by the time I hit the first boss. Um, because like I said, I have 10 minutes. I have 10 minutes of time that I'm gonna be kind of able to chill a bit here. And, uh, the Reaper's busted, uh, you can tell. Uh, the more and more you kill in this game, the more and more experience you're able to have. You see that giant red bar in the top left? Yeah, I'm already hitting... Oh, shit, I ran out. Uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Good. Alright, and level 3 is fine. I wasn't paying attention. It's cool. I don't need all that. Why well, shade the mustache? We're in a new era of Ictisis. And I work better as a baby face than I do as a full blown mustache. So, that is why. Alright, making another Reaper, and I'll be making two more Reapers. A Death Mask and a regular one. Hold on. When's the haircut at Dices? Hey! Well, maybe soon. We'll see. Alrighty. So there's one call. I still haven't grinded my experience yet. You can see we're doing a lot. I'm not, no, not, no, no, no. I'll probably keep my hair long. I still do want to donate my hair. Yeah, it's a great level. You're going to see it especially later. Uh, I'm not doing it yet because I haven't gotten the full upgrade yet. Uh, but I need a level 3 at least. I usually do that just to clear the zombies in the way because they're there anyway and I get a free level off of it. Okay, so it looks like I got the fight to spawn. Um, yeah, guard, or just spawn. Garden of Peace is going to be the first boss fight of the game. Uh, I'll be fighting Harry Z. Wong uh, while I'm up here as well. Hold on. There. Uh, time to make the ultimate Grim Reaper. I'm gonna make a couple of these. Wednesday Rising 3. You know, Iris, for you, right now. 
For you, it's right now, in fact. Yeah, there was someone who called themselves Big Dick Nick. Wait, wasn't that uh, the quarry? Is there a story in the mustache? I grew it for November, and people kind of liked it, so I was like, eh, fuck, why not? I'll keep it. But then, you know, at this point, I... We're in a new era of Ecdysis. I like being more of a baby face. I look better shaven. I it's the it was the funk, I think. Get out of here. There we go. Okay. Are there so many hoes around? Good question. Well, we're in LA. Alright, time to drink the beer. Alrighty, so chat, I have now made three fiery reapers. Uh, I'm about to teach you how to farm in this game. I'm currently level three, a very low level. So what we're gonna do is we are going to... Stop right here. And let's have some fun, shall we? Thank you, Rough Legacy. Here we go. All right, time for level ups, baby. Scrunch, they have been the gaming. We are back. Hopefully you are having one today. Thank you for the bloody scissors now. Enjoy those. Climb gaming. And the emotes. And we have a new emote, by the way. Hope you're having a great day today. And yeah, we are back. So things are good. All right. Also, right now I'm actually making my way over to a survivor. Uh, this is going to be a lot of experience gains. I actually want to go over to Dana. So while I'm doing this, I'm making sure that I am intermittently um, actually not losing my combo. What is this? It's a lot. It's, it's PP rising. You see, I'm a man who likes to get his PP up. And that is what I'm doing right now. What can I say? I, I am quite decent at it, I suppose. <laughs> uh-uh. Alright, hold on. I think that should be... No, I dropped it. That's fine. That's a lot of PP. We're gonna need a little bit more, too. Uh, we're also gonna save Dana. This is gonna be level 6. Exactly, wow, is my GF. Exactly. Alright, as long as we clear on Dana. Get rid of that. Alrighty. Get help from the Reaper to get a big... Exactly. Get help from the Reaper to get a big PP. Call myself a Coomer? Exactly. Alright, cool. Okay, so this is a personal strat I like to do. Uh, boxing gloves and that makes the Dragon Punch. And now we're going to be doing our upgrades. So the upgrade system is going to go like this. Um, I am actually going to be... Uh, checking my points and make sure to upgrade... Um, mechanic. And I keep one point for health. Um, that point's gonna be very important because we're entering our first boss, Harry Z. Wong. Um, funny enough, Dead Rising 3 is actually based on the seven deadly sins. Um, so the way I like doing this fight is the Dragon Punch. Um, I think there's a few ways you can do these. Uh, early game, you are gonna be meleeing like fucking hell. Um, also, Dead Rising 3 is really cool because there's also kind of a desperate, uh, there's uh, weaknesses, desperation mechanics and shit, and it's a really cool fucking game. In addition to that, there's also a health in the arena. Uh, every arena will have its health, and that's fine. See, desperation tactic, he's down. And let's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nice and easy. Also, I don't know if... Uh, hold on. Harry's Wong. There we go. Where you at, buddy? Where you at? He vanished. There he is. Alright, he's in the mid phase. Uh, he gets a little more aggressive. That's really about it. Um, so he's vanishing. Apparently did a lot of damage to him. Where are you at? Uh, there he is. Nice. I think I grabbed pills, right? No, not yet. There he is. Let's not die. Okay, good. 
So Nightmare Mode on new game is gonna be very tactical about making sure that I save one point at all points. Um, I always want to be keeping my health at, like, five. Or, you know, one upgrade slot just so I don't die. Trust me, by the way, we're gonna get really busted later, even on new game. Wow, dude, Harry, you're fucking beating my ass right now, buddy. Dead! Okay, Harry's, Harry's dead. Woo! Harry's E. Wong, good fight. And then, uh, I like to grab his weapon. The Guan Dao is a cool weapon to use. Uh, I get a lot of experience off that. Uh, I think I get a level up too. So it's a good time. But yeah, it's kind of really cool, ain't it? Uh, we're not done yet, though, actually. Uh, you can still see, uh, even with Harry being dead, I have a bit more time to kill. Uh, luckily for us, this is all just finished. Uh, I can go back to Ronda right now, and if I went a little bit faster, I would. But I have one more thing I gotta do. It's very important. Uh, v are taking a fat rip over. Oh, you're watching Tob! Yeah, dude, Tob's fucking great. Oh, so I was going to nudge. You think getting PP is hard? It can be. Actually, I don't know. You see, that's not your part. I can talk about PPs in this game. Go. Oh, we got in this magazine as well. Uh, so this is going to clear the safe zone. What that does is one, I get to make a safety save. Two. Uh, I can actually go to combo lockers, and uh, I can uh, take more weapons. So I'm gonna get another dragon punch. I have two. I don't need this one anymore. You have my reaper. Now you may have been wondering why did I upgrade certain things? Like why did I upgrade vehicles? It's a car, right? It should matter. Um, vehicle push is gonna come really in handy. Also, that's a glitch I found. If you use the dragon punch off a ledge, you fucking zoom. That bong rips? Yeah, oh, uh, can I have a mod shout out Tobbs? Uh, she is absolutely great. Uh, she is, if you want to check her out, she's a VTuber who does indeed do fat bong rips. I think she also, uh, as a, she also eats drywall. She's quite powerful. Thank you, Wonders. Yeah, Tob is wonderful people. Yeah, yeah, I have, uh, very high praise for Tob. As much as that, yeah! She is great people. Anyway, a similar mechanic can make this car. So we're doing, we're getting into a part of the game where I need to drive through a bunch of zombies. And uh, me too, actually. And um, with all the zombie driving, I do want to make sure that I'm going to be able to push through them. Because if zombies crowd a car, you're barely going to move. And there's a lot. She recently, I heard about this in from Raleigh, exactly. You know, apply for mod? That's fair. Next, oh, well, that will be alright. So that's why I upgraded, uh, what's the word? That's why I upgraded the car abilities. Because I absolutely, um, need to get through these zombies. And, like, I can shoot them now, but there's going missions later that need it. Um, and it just kind of helps in general to have. Uh, especially as the game gets more and more zombie dense, it's going to get really bad. Also, I have to be very careful, because while I have the gun, I, uh, want to get experience. Here. Okay, good. Um, I think I should be able to do this. Alright, so I want this motorcycle. Um, you may be wondering, wait, why the fuck did you make that car? Uh, the motorcycle actually lets me do a very minor skip. Uh, what the skip is going to do is it's going to let me weave through a tight spot. I know that doesn't sound like much of a skip, but hear me out. Um, so what's supposed to happen is you realize that you're going through, uh, like, a blockade, and the car that you took is too big. So you have to go, like, 200 meters on foot. Like, roughly, I think, like, 150. Like, right about here. However, uh... Have to get through here on foot. You can just squeeze the motorcycle in. Okay. You don't ever need Ronda, so you just... Woo! Wait, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, God. Run! There we go. Alright. Uh, there we go. <laughs> we did it. It took me a bit. I mean, I got it. I got it going. I got it. Alright, now I'm gonna fight the rednecks. Uh, this is gonna be a fight where... I don't use DLC weapons because I don't really think it should be a thing. So I just use the car. Uh, you have to run over 10 rednecks. You just drive into them. Also, sorry I'm not making this like a little explained thing. I'm not trying to. I just... 
I really like how Dead Rising 3's kind of come as a run. I think Morheal should run this game in the community. I think it's actually really kind of neat when you start doing it. Also, believe it or not, uh, having Nick blow up inside of cars is surprisingly better than you would imagine. It's fucking hilarious. How's it Major Smith? I'll be doing good. What do you think? Oh, I shouldn't launch him out of the car. Nope, it actually is, uh, just gives you some distance. That's it. Also, I like how Nick is just, like, murdering these guys. Like, I, I know they're trying to kill us, but, like, I don't know. Some of the idea of having them explode in front of you is kind of wild, isn't it? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, this guy's gonna die in a moment. Am I stuck? No. Wait. There, right, thank god. Wait, I need one more car. There it is. Awkward. Hey, again, he's a crash test dummy. I fucking love Nick, by the way. Like, I'm gonna say right now, like, if I don't do Dead Rising th uh, 3 as a, a grind before September, we're doing it in September. Like, I am absolutely here for my Mexican king. There's not a lot of games that have Mexican protagonists, chat. I am here for my Mexican king. Just saying that right now. Alright, time for the gang leader. Uh, there's a few, ways of, a few ways of doing this fight. Um... Let's see. Street that guy with Prime Street for Mod. The rising hype, right? I can't believe it. Alright, here we go. Uh, I like this weapon. I'll do the damage I need. Also, look at his eyes. A wooga! <laughs> look how far they pop out. Fuck. <laughs> he did the actual fucking beam. What a guy, huh? Uh, you mean Shadows of the Damp, right? He actually fucking did it. Hey, American protagonist? Prey? Yeah, I heard about that from Prey. Yeah, it's like I never run Dead Rising, right? I can't believe it. Alright, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold on. Good, and let's kill him. Oh, you're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Hey, he's dead. I like how I ragdolled from that. Yeah, I'm playing Shadows of the Dan tomorrow, actually, not Shama. I've never played it, and I really want to play it. But thank you again, by the way, Street, for the 25 months. Also, we have a new emote. We have a couple, actually. He Daigo'd me! He, th he, he thought he was Daigo. He ain't Daigo. Anyway. Nice series? Yeah, I've been wanting to play it. Uh, I got a copy from Greeny, actually. She got it for me for my birthday. Uh... And I guess it was a delayed birthday gift from GEQ. Tomorrow? Yeah. I mean, I've been wanting to do Shadows of the Emperor a bit. And then I'm, I'm doing it casually. I've never played the game, so I don't know a lot about the speedrun. Uh, if we like the game and it's, you know, it's a good time, I will absolutely speedrun it. But, you know, I have to make sure we're going to have a good time. Uh, I'm on PC, yeah. Oh, you know, I'm on PC right now. Here we go. Uh, the port usually works. Sometimes there's issues, but usually it's pretty good. It's fine. I also appreciate it. I'll keep that in mind. I love Live Up Chainsaw. I know that much. So that's why I like, I like Suda games. Uh, I've heard things about it, though, but we'll see. Either way, I'm definitely excited to play it. Also, you know, I 
I definitely appreciate a game that has protagonists that are Mexican. It's something that's nice. Just because there's so there's so few out there that really are. Like that's why I like Nick. Nick is cool. Nick Ramos. Also, it makes sense. He lives in fucking LA, dude. Hail him for Suda. I heard that. I think you told me that. Go. Good shit. Oh no, Sheldon's dead. I can't believe it. Where did I get it? It's on Steam. What do you mean? It, it's on Steam. You can buy it right now. Hey, do you not use Steam? I thought everyone used Steam. Oh look, it's Frank West. I can't believe he's in this game. Or. Uh, let's do this. Story of this game? Story of this game is not terrible. It's not great, but it's certainly not, like, the worst game I've ever played. Uh, not too much there. I mean, it's nice. Like, I definitely get it. Like, it's not the end-all be-all for me personally, but, like, I always enjoy seeing Mexican characters in games. But I definitely agree it's a nice thing. I think it's, like, usually it's not a, even a big deal. In terms of, like, oh, I can't believe they're putting this in a game. Like, it's fine. What's wrong with that? Like, there's many games that don't have it. I'm cool with a game that does have it. Nick broke that guy's spine. Jesus Christ. Good job, Nick. I'm proud of you. Also, fun fact. Yeah, King! He's the Luchador. Exactly, Neko. Also, for the longest time, I didn't know this hearse was here. Hey, chat, look, I'm going to defile a grave. I really don't mind the 30 FPS thing. I really don't mind it. Like, I don't really know the difference can I ever play this game in, uh, 60. Have I told Overdose? No, I've not. There we go. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Unless I've played a game really intimately, I've never had too much of an issue with FPS. The only time I have is Dead Rising 1, because I played it for literally, like, hundreds of hours of a certain setting. So if I deviate from that setting at all, I'm fucked. But that's the only game I'm like, okay, I notice immediately if it's wrong. In this game, I don't have a basis for other how it plays otherwise. That was on Twister. Welcome back. I hope you're doing good today. Yeah. Hey chat, you remember Dead Rising 1 Otis, by the way? I know how much you love Otis. Hold on. Uh. Ah! There you go. Thank you, Gary. Let's go. Anyway, here's Otis's funeral. What's the next thing I want to grind out world record for? Good question. Um, honestly, I think we're going to play it by ear. Also, sorry to Otis, but I have to destroy his funeral. There's a lot of XP here. Sorry, Otis, your funeral has just enough XP for the next level. Yeah! Well, definitely welcome back. Greg? Yeah, I can't believe Greg just ran into that shotgun shell. I gave him his reward. And, uh, I mean, he got it, after all. But we'll see, BJ Smith. I think there's a few options that we could have for the next game I kind of want to hardcore grind. Oh, hold on. Uh, I think it's this one. Yep. go. I didn't need the triple slash, but it'll work. There we go. Sweet. And then the body's over here. Hey, must be in that back. Good. Yep, Otis isn't giving out his hot white protein anymore. Oh, sorry, mixed white protein. Not hot. Mix. Exactly, Brian 80s. 
So anyway, I mentioned earlier that I have the car upgrade. This is the first of a uh, few chapters that need it. Um, I have to escort a hearse, and there's a fuck ton of zombies. So this way, I just drive through them. And it's funny, because it still looks like the zombies are blocking my car. This is with the upgrade. So it's kind of hilarious with that. And oh boy, it gets so much worse if you don't have it. That's why I had to upgrade the car like immediately. Like it's the second upgrade you do. Uh, first is always the PP uh, upgrade because you gotta get your PP nice and uh, ready. Hey, hope you enjoy it, Steven uh, TTV. Hope you enjoy it. It's good stuff. There we go. Wait, I grabbed a weapon I didn't need. What the fuck? Give me back my... Thank you. No, not that. What the fuck's my Reaper? Fuck it. Don't need this weapon anymore. Alright, that's fine. Chat, I'm about to tank my credit score. I just got into a fucking Dodge Charger. 100% ABR. I am now in a mountain of debt. I'm sorry. PP. I'm glad chat enjoys the PP jokes. Any of any unfunny band or request today? Yeah, some guy came in earlier. I read it on stream. It was funny shit. I'm sorry, shit. I just tanked my credit score. I used to have a really good credit score, and now, uh, I got into a Dodge Charger and all went downhill. I'm sorry. You know Dead Rising 3 is actually, uh, a simulator for tanking your credit score? It's not a horror game. It's a credit score. Actually, it is a horror game if you, uh, if you love your credit score. <laughs> Whee! Also, alright, so funny enough, we're getting a case right now of, um, the wimpy guy, um, Kick. Or, I don't remember, Time for a Hero, I think is the name of the case. Uh, we don't have to do it, so that's a blue case right now. Um, he is a boss, and we will interact with him later, but for right now, he's just, uh, a survivor. And he'll be a, he's a stable survivor later, but the thing is, he doesn't count as a boss until later, and his case will always unlock. He's not like Kent, where you have to do Kent stuff, he's just his own weird thing where he will always be a boss. Which is kind of neat. Yeah, let's go. Oh wait, wrong way. Not really. Give me that. There we go. Credit does terrify. Oh, absolutely. Scares the shit out of me. Uh, yes, he's still a boss if you do the case. It's supposed to be a lead-in case, but there's actually a minor skipper. You just don't have to do the case. Also, chat, fun fact, this game has a really weird theme. So, I haven't talked about it yet on this stream, but Dead Rising games are weirdly, like, all of them have a political theme or a message, like, about the current state of the world. Dead Rising 1 is uh, about factory farmed meat and uh, American consumerism. Dead Rising 2 is about the American healthcare crisis, and it's also about exploitative media. Dead Rising 3... As about illegal immigration and vaccines. And this game aged like shit. Because the moral of this game is the vaccine is bad and Big Pharma is only going to let you down. Which, I mean, I guess Big Pharma is can let you down, but... This is a very pre-COVID game. Because this game is about how certain people aren't getting their uh, Zombrex chip or their vaccine. So, you know, they're going to be, uh, they're illegally infected. You know, they're illegals living in the area in Southern California. And one of the first sentences is, how are you hi like, harboring the illegals? Which, that goes about as well as you expect it to in a game like this. I'm going to go around, I don't trust that way. Yeah, um, this game is an interesting game for the wanting to do. You don't get it? Uh, there's a lot of debates about the uh, immigration of people from Mexico to the United States, especially in Southern California, which this game takes place in. So it tries to tackle serious subject matter, but it's also Dead Rising 3, where you have a fucking ragdoll launching. Also, like a Lamborghini, I'm like that guy with knowledge. I oh, don't fall. Whee! You made it. 
Yep, and they put that in Dead... Of all the games that decided to tackle it, it was Dead Rising 3. Dead Rising 3 is the game that thought, you know what, what if what if we talked about that? Alright, let's go. Anyway, chat, but you're wondering why I'm making a detour here. So this actually is losing me time, but it's, I assure you, it is absolutely necessary. Um, Dead Rising 4 is a couple things. Um, it's, uh, God, it, what's that thing? It's exploitation, but it's, uh, it's when companies will send their labor to other countries that will do it for cheaper. It's that. Outsourcing. Not quite outsourcing, though. Um, like, it's... Offshore. Oh, I guess it is outsourcing. Okay. I thought outsourcing was... I guess it would be outsourcing, then, yeah. Offshoring. But it's not in the way of, like, an IT job. It's more like, uh... Like, you know, people, like... Like, picking fruit. Like, farmers and shit like that. Exploitation! That's it. Thank you. Exploitation. Wait, I already said that, didn't I? That's the thing it tries to tackle. Also, it tries to tackle Black Friday bad, so more of the American consumerism, but more in the way that it's the Christmas. The I wasted bullets. Fun. How do you know Annie? Like what kind of favors? Look, we went to a band. My tattoo kids over us. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's the deal. Okay, lady, you got it. Okay, let's go. Black Friday isn't horrible. Honestly, all right. So, chat, hot take. Black Friday really isn't that bad. I mean, I don't fucking do it, because I'm not stupid. But it's not the bloodbath people want you to think it is. A lot of people parade around the idea of, oh, Black Friday is a bunch of violent people going to buy things. Dude, it's fucking Thanksgiving. Nobody's doing anything. It's called the slow news day. So what people are doing is, uh, is false. I I'm not saying it's not packed. I'm saying it's not a bloodbath. That's that's what I'm saying. It's definitely packed. It just it's not a bloodbath. That is the phrase I'm looking for there. It just not really much else happens around that time. It used to be more chill. Who knows? Maybe it's an amped up. Uh, oh god. I was just shooting each of them? Oh, well, guess you got me beat then. I definitely understand usually a lot of the hype behind it is that it is a slow news day because not really much is happening because most people are celebrating Thanksgiving in the US. Or the day for the day afterward. Also, I am doing really bad on my, uh... Footballers. Yeah, I buy shit online. Alright, give me that. Well, I call me mistaken then. Oh, I don't like Black Friday. I'm really saying about the, uh, the quote-unquote massacre, I suppose. Just give me the fucking car. What a piece of shit car. Oh, I could have taken that car. Fuck it, I'm already in the sloppy car. Chad, I can't believe it. Yeah. I have light Yagami on the top of my car. Let me up. Exactly. Gonna cut some of the box cutter? Jesus Christ. Alright, never mind. Maybe it is a bloodbath. Either way, it's about Black Friday bad, consumerism bad. Why is it lap like that? I need to get out of the car like that. I have a lot of questions. I don't think I'm gonna get answers to. Oh shit, I'm getting my ass beat. It looks really hey, I guess it makes sense though. I do not need that magazine. Do not take the magazine. 
Okay. Hopefully, I should get some distance. My favorite part about these rednecks is that their food in this area is sushi. Which, I don't know if that's accurate. Very nice to be this map. Chat, time to tank my credit score. You hate consumerism, yet you buy video game. Curious. Ah, yes, the plastic. Any haunted sushi? I guess. I guess I'm a crawl. I guess. Whee! Hey, it's good stuff. It is very, very good stuff about. that. Yeah. But, yeah, that's what Dead Rising 4 is about. But this game, I definitely think, tackled the themes probably the poorest. Like, I don't think Dead Rising 3 was a game to tackle these themes. I'm not going to lie to you. Not to say, you know, it should never try to tackle any themes ever, it just... It's Dead Rising 3. <laughs> you hate society, you participate, curious. Ah, uh, yes. Hold on. Alrighty, where's my combo gun? Alrighty, get rid of the Guandao, get rid of you, and give me you, and you. Dead Rising 3 has a lot of good ideas, and it drops the ball with almost all of them. And that's really my problem with this fucking game. Yes. It's a game that doesn't really know what it wants to do with its stuff, so to speak. Uh, the game has a lot of cool things, and uh, it fucks up almost all of them. Uh, cool. Uh, we are good. Alrighty, hold on, because now we're going to start upgrading, because I have points. Um, good, good, and that should be good. Okay. What well, is he seeing at Dead Rising 4? Mini Golf? He loves Mini Golf. That's the theme. A love for Mini Golf. Well, it's not so much an identity crisis. Like, here's a good example. Dead Rising 3 creates a really interesting world for you to drive around with four different areas of LA. However, why the fuck would you replicate LA traffic? Of all the ways you can make LA in a, in a theme in a video game, why the fuck would you make traffic one of the most realistic elements? All the roads are jammed. Why? So you can with the Prime Gaming for 15 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. And thank you very much. Hopefully you are having a great day today. And we have a new emote. I mean, Prime Gaming. Hold on. Uh, I think that hits. No. Yes. Okay, good. GTA 5? The GTA 5 of traffic, I've never actually played it. All I know about GTA 5 was I had a friend, and what she would do is she told me that she would, uh... If she enjoyed going on a date with a guy, she would, uh... Ask them to drive, she would ask them to drive her to the Griffith Observatory. And then, once there in the parking lot, she would just go, It's just like GTA. And apparently, that was her special move to get a second date. Which, she was a good looking chick. Why the fuck? Like, anything you could have done would be that move. So. But apparently, according to her, that was her secret move that she would do to get dates. That's great. Is it really? I feel like it's... I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like you should have the second date already. You guys don't hurt those cars with the Lamborghinis? Yamajuku, I'm glad my friend inspired you with that story. Thank you for Prime Gaming. Uh, enjoy the emotes and the scissors. And welcome to the swarm. Uh, hold on. Uh, give it to you. Thank you very much. No, I'm not gonna show the cars. And then she, and then she ruined it by saying she didn't like onion. Oh, of course, of course. Only a secret move, the opposite thing. I'm just saying right now, I don't think most dudes really like. I don't think that's the cherry on top. Oh my gosh, she's a gamer. Like, homie, you're already fucking in there. I don't think they really care. I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of guys have the uh, the key brain. Trust me, I'm a guy. 
Depending on how it goes, like, you're kind of already in there. There's not really a whole lot more that you gotta do. Like, I feel like if you're hitting the... If you're... Alright. If you're hitting the point that someone's willing to drive to the fucking observatory, you telling them about GTA isn't going to be the, the you know, the, the, uh, the, the deal sealer right there. Like, they're already driving to fucking the Griffith Park Observatory. Hold on. Uh, good. Hold on. One. I think there's one more. Maybe not. Firefly Outlet with the tier two for 19 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors once again, and the spooky emotes. And thank you very much. Alright, cool. Uh, is there a rash? Yeah, there's a ration. Silence is good. For which part? Like, I'm just saying. I have a great night. It's actually going really good so far. I'm trying not to get too greedy. Uh, because I know how Dead Rising 3 goes. I'm going to get greedy. Well, there you go, VJ Smith. At least that's a funny comment. It made me laugh. <laughs> Although it's... You're mean to yourself. You don't have to be that mean to yourself. Although it didn't make me laugh. Uh, I didn't want the raid didn't go through. Oh, raids on Twitch have a weird rule. Uh, I can actually explain that. Uh, just give me one moment to do this. Uh, if the raid size is under one one hundredth of the current channel viewership, they don't show up because Twitch thinks it's spam. Because Jeffrey Bezos hates me. What's the occasion? I'm back to streaming, Wong Man. Welcome on in. Oh, we had a great day. It's a fun game franchise for me. It was eight or so. Right now we're at nine hundred. So that would fit the merit right there. It's a good problem to have, and either way, you get a shout out from a mod, and hope you had a good stream. Yep, I hope you had a good stream. What were you doing today? Tell me all about it. I still like to give the shoutouts and shit. Because, you know, it's good. I like the support. I hope you had a good stream. I can see you on the post of the raid. You carry control? Do I have a mod, by the way? Am I... Hey, there we go. Wondrous is the goat. So I'm going to miss Wondrous. Uh, hold on. But we had fun. Almost Albert time? I love Albert, because he doesn't care about death. He cares about his profit margin. Oh, we control shooting you all. So, chat need that jump scare. Oh, you scared chat, didn't you? I missed that. I actually missed it. You can't scare chat that way. Raid's a mysterious thing. It's more that Twitch was trying to combat anti-spam a while ago, and we're at the point in this channel where I guess we fall under what Twitch would have been doing for that. So, it's more of that. Which, usually if I catch it or someone mentions it, I'm like, oh yeah, no problem. I like Albert because he mentions that he, uh, he's literally the All My Apes gone. <laughs> Good. All My Apes gone. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, they're they fighting hate raids and then they end up uh, pushing into more. Also, chat, you ready for me to tank my credit score? And I'm ready. Here it is! Say goodbye. It's gone. 100% ABR. Dude, I fucking love the All My Apes gone. Like, I think... Like, I think NFTs are still stupid. But the meme All My Apes gone is worth more than anything I could have gotten through all of them. All My Apes gone. All right, hold on. Uh, I have three skill points. Uh, I'm gonna go to stun double. So for Albert, you actually want, to, you actually want to change your gun, or change your book. So I grabbed this book earlier, and that's gonna be unarmed attacks being stronger. Uh, the reason why I want that is because that's going to allow me to. Uh, oh, hold on. It's gonna allow me to do a lot of damage to Albert. There you go. You know, probably. Hold on. Yeah, this fight's kind of weird. Albert's a guy who is or harvesting organs for people for profit. 
Uh, so he's kidnapping people and... Oh, he's greedy. This game really lampoons each sin. Like, the, the Wrath guy was mad that his family isn't what he lived up to. Um, Albert quite literally... I'll play out the ending cutscenes. It's fucking hilarious. And those gains? Yeah. Oh god, I keep getting the bat. I fucking hate this way. Hmm. I have a lot of attempts on this. Oh, I think I kept it from an older split. I don't have that many. I think I made it from like one of my Dead Rising 1 splits or some shit like that, and then I was like, okay, cool. It's not that one. It's that one. Oh. Hooray! How's it going, Devon? Welcome on it. Because Nick is built different. Oh, god damn it. Such an awkward button press. God, I hate this fight so much sometimes, because they just knock you out every time. And if you only have RNG... Oh, it is tedious, yeah. It's a really tedious fight. Uh, Albert, like, it's a neat fight in concept. In practice, this fight is painful. How's the soft style? Doing good. Alright, it's one of these ones. There you are. Dead? Nope. Haha, <laughs> got him. Watch chat. Huh. You see? Libertarian paradise. I'm dying by profit margin. <laughs> also, it's fucking metal I dies. My profit margin! All my apes gone. <laughs> Brother, you're dying. My apes. Alright, uh, hold on. Give me that. And, uh... I like to make the chemical bomb. I think it's fun. You have some chicharrones now? My family loves chicharrones. Hold on, uh, so we're going back to Fortune Fighter, and now, um, I'm actually gonna upgrade ranged. How the way you? Wait, am I going the right way? Yes, I am. The don- exactly, that the donation guy. The donation. I need the donation. Where is the money? Ah, you have returned with my donation. I shall bless your soul. Do you keep the money in your pockets? I am just saying, that is my favorite fucking guy in any video game. Like, I don't think there's a better character out there in any game ever made. Like, you can, you can debate the merits of video game characters. I don't think you can beat them. Alright, I'm taking an awkward path back, but I'll do. That sounds like the overload too. Hey, we'll see. We'll see. You know, I like I'm in the student driver car and I skip the low rider. Like, I fucking love the low, low rider, man. Like, I actually I I was hanging out with buddies in Long Beach, and I don't know what it was, but it was like a low rider competition, and I saw so many low riders, and I've never felt more tempted. Like, when I'm in my midlife crisis, I want a fucking lowrider. I'll say that right now. Like, you can hold me to that chat. Lowrider. Like, I... I love the lowrider, man. You know, you know damn well if I get one, I'll bump that song. I don't know jack shit about cars. I, I drive one. I like my car. It's nice. But, uh... 
It's not just the George Lopez theme, it's a song by the band War singing about the appreciation of the car, the Lowrider. So maybe. No, not Flowrider, Lowrider. Lowrider. Well, yes, it definitely makes you think of George Lopez because it always played the theme song at fucking 3 a.m. when you're trying to go to bed, and then you just get woken up by. Ba -ba 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 Ba -da -da. It wasn't Carlos Santana, it was war. Santana did Black Magic Woman. OG Brad Vickers, how was the stream? Tell me all about it. Santana did other songs like Oye Como Va, Black, Ma Black Magic Woman, Corazon Espinado. Come on, chat, you can't do me dirty like that, please. Hold on, uh, guns, we're getting guns, uh, guns, 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 uh, there, um, cool. There's a, wait, there was a ban on lowriders? Really? Holy shit, why, Last Pirate? Well, how was the Biosock? Oh, we had fun with it. Donation goal? No, I'm not making a donation goal to get me a lowrider. I appreciate the enthusiasm for that, but no, not, not yet. Really? That's sad. That makes me sad to hear that, actually. Santana has fucking bangers, dude. Yeah, for anyone who does not know, OG Brad Vickers is exactly what it says. They are the OG uh, voice actor for the Brad Vickers from RE3. So you like Resident Evil? Check him out. I am McDysis. I do a lot of spooky games. So today we're doing Dead Rising 3. We're doing a Dead Rising Marathon. I've already been one and two all bosses, so now we're on uh, Dead Rising 3. And it's going well. Uh, we just fought uh, Albert, who told us about his profit margins. And now we're going to be fighting the Booba. Yes, she is simply the Booba. Whoa! What a fucking move right there. Why would a zoot suit be illegal? Isn't that like a, like a zebra suit? That was war, like, I don't know, back in, like, the 20s? I don't actually remember when they were worn. I just remember them... I don't think they're illegal. Why would a zoot suit be illegal? A zoot suit? It's a very particular type of suit. Oh, shit, I'm getting my ass beat. Get off the car. Thank you. Hey, there we go. I love that emo, by the way. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I mean, I'd still put, bo I'd still put boss in there. It's just mobsters. But it's a suit. How the fuck are you going to ban a suit? Alright. Let's go. That is what a zoot suit is. Oh, come on. Cool. Wait. Oh, hold on, Clash. Oh, I missed your count. One moment. Uh, one, two. Okay, so this fight's really cool. So you have to kill the three dudes, the door will open, and then I'm actually just going to be stealing the weapons. So you might be wondering, uh, why did I take so many shotguns earlier? I don't need that anymore. The boom cannon's gone. So check this out. I was going to ask. This right here is my best fucking friend. The Z-A-R. The Czar. Right the Czar is fucking disgusting. It is a strong weapon. They have the fall, by the way. And also, uh, how am I doing on upgrades? Uh, one point. Okay. I need four. Got it. Roll, because she's gonna launch a rocket. We wanna avoid that rocket. Uh, I'm doing pretty good on all my shit. Um, there actually is gonna be a, mo a series of mines right here, but pressing first, I'm gonna grab some candy. And leap. Never mind, I fucking walked into it. Yes, you combined a, uh, an AK and a shotgun. Or, uh, you know, machine gun and a shotgun. And it is a very powerful weapon, like one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Uh, anyway, I'm actually taking food right now because of the upcoming boss fight. It can be rough. Uh, we're gonna be fighting the Booba. Believe it or not, this is the only boss in the game that doesn't follow the seven deadly sins theme. 
Uh, if they were, uh, they would be both Lust and Greed. But they are technically not a part of the Chimichangas. I enjoy Chimichangas. Anyway, here's the fight. We're gonna fight the Booba. What we're gonna do for this is we're gonna run up to her. And, uh, we're gonna use the Czar and just fucking drill her with bullets. I'm sorry if you like the Booba chat. Uh, you can see a lot of the damage it's doing. Uh, I've got a magazine and I have been upgrading my shit. Uh, she ran out immediately, so we're gonna actually be drinking our coffee, and I'll be grabbing some OJ. I want to grab the OJ early, because it's gonna happen later, is as the fight continues, uh, she's actually gonna start blowing shit up, and that's gonna be really bad for me. Uh, trading blows is actually kind of ideal. Alright, we're at the halfway phase. That's good. Uh, now she has dudes, uh, that's fine. Uh, we're going to take cover and heal. There we go. She also about to launch an RPG from like fucking three feet away. Alright, she's going down again. We're gonna take more health. Bag of candy. She should be coming back. I think her goons might be coming in. This has been a really safe fight. You know, I've actually learned a lot by playing this game where I no longer uh, worry as much. It's been a lot safer doing this shit now, which is good. Uh, back in the past, I used to have so many issues running this game. But, uh, I think I finally got better. Also, that guy just murked himself. Great job, lad. I'm very proud of you. Alright, there's the Booba. Uh, she wants to flashbang at me. That's okay. She's also, uh, fired an RPG two feet in front of herself. I'm very proud of you, Hope. Anyway, chat. Uh, so you can be a Coomer. I know how much you like to be Coomers. Check it out. You ready? Size does matter, Size does matter big boy. And then he lands face first in the booba. You're gonna coom? You get it? She finished first, cause she died, but also that means she orgasm. There we go. Size so exactly. I get it, it's clearly the 300 IQ comedy I'm looking for in my Dead Rising video game. What's a coomer? One who cooms. Uh, a coomer can refer to a few things. Usually it is uh, the definition of someone who is absolutely driven by uh, the pursuit of sex and the general ideas of sex. And they let that kind of distract them from many different things. So they're built to coom, meaning all they're thinking about is the next time they can coom. So it is one who cooms. And it is normally an insult. You can also define it to other things. Like, I call people a horror coomer if they, you know, can't ever actually... Uh, they're like, oh, that's not horror. Then I call them a coomer. Alright, there we go. Uh, okay. I don't have my upgrade, but that's fine. I'm just gonna... Wee! I broke my legs. Oh, no. Old slang, new slang? Uh, what do you define as, like, 2018? Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Sí. All right, nice, very nice. Um, here we go. Ready to party chat? Check this out. Party time. Boomer's a way of life. Well, some people are born to boom, I suppose. All right, let's go. It's a farming section. Exactly, chat. Do cheerleading if you like the farming portion. Isn't it doing great? Coomer, I'm not Coomer adjacent. I fucking hate the phrase Coomer adjacent. That is cursed. And that is so cursed. What are you, Coomer adjacent? Yeah, we're getting that PP up, chat. I know y'all feel about PP rising. Uh, that's what we're doing right now. We're rising PP. Uh, Alright, keep moving. Oh, I dropped it. Fuck, that's fine. Uh, I can still break it, I think. I don't need to set. Wait, I still need that. Uh, don't break, actually. I kind of need you a little bit. Uh, anyway, um, upgrade range. Just have one on life. Alrighty. So, like I said, I'm pumping all of my abilities into firearm damage. Um, that's really all I need. Uh, I definitely need one more upgrade in firearms, but I'll get that as we play the game. And uh, it is going to be really good. Uh, as well, why I am here, I'm actually going to be uh, breaking this one wide open. This kind of why I didn't totally uh, turn my weapon yet, just because I still want to make sure that I can, uh, you know, kill. There you go. There you go, dick. Alrighty. Ah, Zubinata. Hope you're doing great. Oh god, I hate that for Akuma Matata. Sounds beyond cursed. Name of the hundred biddies, though. Oh god. I kind of find out why it cuts off like near the end, but that was fucking funny. Thank you very much. Well, hold on. How many uh, inventory slots do I have? I have three czars. Okay, one czar, one boxing. Oh, no, actually, no. Um, Let's upgrade a lot. Uh, Super combo, ultimate. Oh, God. I went through scuffed as fuck. I'm surprised it worked as well as it did. All things considered. Okay, so I get the book because that's going to make melee weapons last longer, but I don't actually want to do that yet. What I want to do is... Actually, hold on. Let's do a little bit of that, I think. <laughs> Uh, cause if the zombies are still gone, no, okay, they're all dead. Uh, zombies are all dead, that is fine. Uh, I am actually going to swap over to the... Just randomly cut letters and added EC. It does that sometimes. Look at all these dead zombies. Experience. Also, is that Frame Fatal's runner, Venata? Big congrats on that, by the way. Hold on. Okay. Alright, time for the average American boss fight. Darlene Flesher. Big name, I don't remember. Like Meyer? Flesher Meyer? Flesher Macker, that's it. Flesher. Yeah, Flesher Macker. Uh, anyway, like I mentioned, uh, the Zara is gonna be really powerful. Kakona. Take a wild guess what her sin is. Go ahead, take a guess. Anyway, uh, Darlene, oh uh, uh, yeah, she's definitely Lust, you figured it out. I like how I rolled out of the way of that and still count. This fight's actually really gross, but in a good way, because you like puke all over the fucking field, just like, I don't know. It's definitely gross, I'll tell you that much. But it's kind of weird, because we're at the first boss where I'm just absolutely busted, so she just gets shredded. Pride, yeah, it's clearly, I mean, it kind of is pride, really enough. Alright, Darl Darlene is dead, and now I have food for the kitchen. Alrighty. There we 
go. I actually do need a boxing glove, though. Oh, of course. She's Wrath? No, that one's uh, Harry Z. Wong. Now, actually, I'd probably make this better. Hold on. Let's kill Boomer Matata. What a wonderful phrase. I don't know how wonderful that phrase truly is. That is a cursed phrase. Alright. I'll take the free experience. No, no Nico Cut Avocado. The lusty buffet maid. What do you mean, lusty, Venata? Is there something you're not telling us? Because I'm concerned. Also, this is the first time I'm actually ahead of time. Normally I'm wasting time on Darlene, but I'm actually going the right way for once. Not surprised. She has eyes on the food. I, I, so you mean she's lusting. I see. Okay. That's, that's better. That is a better uh, turn of phrase than... Lusty makes it sound like she's, you know, eyes on the prize. Hey, that's at the end of Dead Rising 4. Darlene is every sin at once. Oh, of course. Of course. Hey, you're still here on my sausage, and we have like a good half of the marathon left, so you're more than fun. Don't you worry. Alright, um... Really? There's not that many in all honesty. I'm just gonna go to the next area. Hey, thank you for the fall. I'm glad you're the stream. Alright, we're gonna go here. Nice. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream so far. I you know stay awake for the rest. And there'll be the VOD. There's always the VODs. I can't freaking believe they killed Angel. God, they're gonna pay for this. No one was supposed to get killed. That isn't what was supposed to happen. And now you wait. See chat, we did it. No, no lifting up tail. I finally gotta check Twitter. Let's see. I'm glad chat's been enjoying me reading the fucking unbanner question that one dude. I'm getting a lot of uh, ads on Twitter for that. But yeah, right now we're just because we're waiting a bit. Exactly. Uh, I would farm, but I think I'm like the middle of the area where like I have like enough for like a little bit, but not a lot. Junk bike. Oh, that's where the junk bike is. Holy shit, it's been there the whole time. All right, that's good enough. Um, God, God damn it. There we go. I thought I had more. See, that's why I was like, I can't farm yet. Anyway, I saved a minute and like 20 seconds by doing that early. So, tis pathetic. Unbans? Hey, funny shit, right? Alright, uh, I think there's food I can use. Wait, beers? No, there's just bottles. Hey, right, coffee. Cool. The junk bike's apparently really good. Alrighty, family style dining. Okay, so we're gonna go to the main mission. I'm actually gonna go the opposite way. Ha 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 ha! like my more like junk wife. Ha <laughs> ha! Get it? Because the man does not like his wife very much. All right, uh, we are going. Wife bad, TV good, exactly. We learned it. My wife. You see, chat. I don't have a wife. It's not depressing to talk about it. Oh God, that spider's the best. I like spiders. They're fine enough. I'm gonna make the jump. By the way, check this out. My credit score. Oh no! I've directly attacked it. Oh shit, I really have directly attacked it. 
Wife bad. Why does the book not swipe? Hi, Scooty. Whee! Oh god. Uh, there we go. I think I'll live. Fuck her up. No, not Chuck's daughter. Attacking your credit score directly. That's what you get when you buy a Dodge Charger. Anyway, Chad, who wants to be here one of my favorite bosses in this fucking game? Wait. Really? Wait, where the fuck is he? Wait, did I not go down far enough? Oh shit, I thought I did. I didn't, shit. Hey, that's fair, Miss Scarlet. That is quite fair. Is that wait? Is that also Miss Scarlet Tanager, the Kuon Runner at Flame Fatalis? You just came at the sexiest boss in the game. I should say arrived. Anyway, here's Dylan Fuentes, the Kuon Runner. You. Chat, enjoy the dance. Spam the dance emo, because this is the banger alert. He also has the cock and ball cannon. He shifts his gun from cock mode to ball mode. That's hot. Well, now he's dead. I shot him directly in his cock and balls. <laughs> but I will steal the cock and ball cannon. There we go. That's not gluttony. That's very obviously lust. No. On. And for I mean he died. Best boss? I fucking love his song though. Who is Envy? Uh you'll see him later. It's the I, I don't remember his name. He calls himself Kick. Oh Kenny. That's yeah, not Kenny, that's it. Oh, why is it Kenny? Does everyone of these have at least have one sex fiend? Yeah, but uh Yeah. In this game, I want to do like the seven deadly sins and the trope. Also, Chad, my low rider. Look at this shit, right? See, low rider. Ba -ta 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 -ta. There we go. Yeah, he's envious of Nick being a badass. And here's the Kuon runner, the very same. On the roof. Can you player two? No, you get dick. If you want to play with the homies, you gotta play with dick. I'm sorry. That's how it goes with the homies, right? I was like, I'll go back to blue. Fuck, I'll do it later. All right, Chad, time to tank my credit score once again. I'm sorry. Time to directly attack it. All right, pure stealth. It's a stealth mission, Chad. See? Stealth mission. I tried. So the cock and ball cannon is actually really good at... Uh, oh, hold on. I need to switch from cock mode to ball mode. There we go. Remember, there is two modes of this gun. You have cock mode and ball mode. I'm not kidding when I say that. Ball mode is not nearly as good as cock mode. Or is the other way around. One of them's not as good as the other one, I'm sorry. Oh! God, my bones. Anyway, here's why the Czar is continuing to be busted. Just land headshots. I kinda like I lived. How are you alive? 
that. Okay, good. All right, time to teach this guy a lesson. You're not going anywhere. All right, enough laughing. As hilarious as the fight is to hit him with the cock and ball cannon, the Zara is much, much better. I shoot my cannon with my cock and ball. It's a dual effort. Arbitrary. You need both. And gravy fries. Got you a sandwich? No, you didn't. You don't know where I live. How are you going to give me a sandwich? I'm not going to tell you where I live either. I don't think you did at all. It doesn't track. It's not that up. Are there DLC stories in this game? Honestly, I never actually played much of them. I know they exist, but I just never got around to them. Hold on. You buy some subway inside my P.O. Box. I don't think the P.O. Box man will be very happy with you, and I don't want to keep a good relationship with my P.O. Box man. Get off my ride. He's a good dude, what can I say? Hmm. Yeah, it's been a good night tonight, Chad. I hope you've all been enjoying the stream. It's been a good night. This cock and balls was the torture. I am the torture. That is the case, Tekken Andrew. Yeah, that's a fair part. He plays the commando dude, he makes it all the way, and then he dies by a cock and ball cannon. I mean, in all fairness, though, Miss Scarlet, like, this is my full time job. Like, I got a little bit of endurance. Also, I just love doing it. Like, it's it's really fun for me. I, I love streaming. So, me having a lot of time, me being able to just do a lot with this. I mean, I will say right now, I'll get, you know what? For long streams like, such as this one, if you do enjoy them, any support is appreciated. Whether it be either just shooting a follow, following me on social media, or if you have, you know, like Prime Gaming or anything like that, it is always appreciated. I know many of you have, but I'm getting my plugs, it's long and shit. Yeah, I, I take breaks in the middle of it. Like, that's what I do. Like, uh, during the, uh, after two games, I take a break. I walk around, get a snack. I had a banana. It was a good banana. I'm gonna do long categories. I'm gonna do my, my subtle little plug, huh? Uh, cock and ball cannon? Yeah, it's, uh, off the Lust Boss fight. It doesn't look straight legal. It's not. It's a bunch of, uh, airplane fuel tanks in the back of a fucking lowrider. Ba da 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 ba da 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 So yes. Although, actually, in terms of, uh, like, I guess revenue for a moment, I don't want to have a heavy talk, but I haven't thought about it yet, but I've noticed a lot more people on Twitch doing the ad thing. And from being in their channels, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm not saying I'm gonna be doing it next week or anything, but I feel like if Twitch gave me a high bounty on a very low amount of ads, I might consider it. But also, it depends on what you'd find as a high bounty. But for right now, I only run the one ad when I piss. Or, you know, I guess really just whenever I pee on the one ads. As in DPR, I'll be doing good. So, I just want to be very open about that. All right, we go. Just take more. Ah, oh, yes, just take more breaks. But, I mean, I was watching a few other streamers who do run ads, and like, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, a lot of chat called me crazy for passing on the first few deals. Get that back, and we'll see what happens. I'm not, I'm not, I don't plan on playing them anytime soon. I'm just saying if there was like a large deal that was like one minute of ads, I was like, maybe. 
But also depends on what you define as large. So. Wait, why am I taking this car? Ah, uh, fuck it. I just has a slight boost. I think I'm good for zombies, I suppose. Yeah. So. Anyway, for right now, though, I haven't taken the odd deal. Or regular. Regu oh, shit. Wait a minute. Maybe I should have saved my cock and ball cannon. I should go into a safe house. I think we'll be fine, but... Uh, I definitely need to be careful with my resources. Well, the cock and ball cannon? No, this is a car. And also, they're, they're, we're telling me they're not ours. We, we're simply borrowing it. It's someone else's. You run more off or something Xeno Saga. Isn't Xeno Saga the really big RPG? I guess it's all of them in all fairness, but still. I'm making it a month by itself. Yeah, although I think the later deal had less time on the ad, just why it was less. But we'll see. We'll see as they offer more. So. We will see, chat. We will see. Oh, I have a lot of guns. I forgot about that. I have a lot of guns. We'll be fine. Magic missile car. It's a cool car. I think it's like a co-op car, so like the person in the back can fire rockets, so the person in the front can like boost every now and again. But it does the job getting where I need to go. Hey, there's a lot of cool ones, Drev. There's a lot of cool RPG speedruns out there. I know like uh, FF, uh, FFX had one at GEQ. The uh, cutscene skip. But whenever, it's, whenever things change, whenever these things come up, I do like to talk with chat. Also, talking with something about GDQ, like about like just some of the way Twitch works and shit like that, like... I don't know, it was very nice conversations. Alright, how much experience... Uh, how many points? I have five. Uh, ooh... Fuck, uh, you know what, I'll open Diego, I'll love open Diego. I'm gonna play it safe, I'm not gonna be risky. I thought about it, by the way, chat, I thought about it. I really thought about being greedy. And I almost did it, too, I almost fucking did it. Alright, um... Okay. Actually, hold on, I think I get more than one upgrade from Diego, uh... Hold on. Oh, actually, hold on. Uh, give me your gun. Seriously, man. You gotta get out of here. Please build this art. There we go. Uh, you'll have to ask that GDQ. In which way? Uh, you can ask right now if you want. It just depends on what you're trying to ask. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. Uh, hold on. Moments. I did see the gun here. Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Shit, did I blow it up? I think I blew it up. Fuck. Oh, fuck it. It's fine. I'll be okay. Come on, man. Come out. Oh, uh, it lost mine. Oh, that's be easy. Will I stream again? Yeah, I'll be streaming again. What do you mean? I stream frequently. Very frequently, in fact. Also, my favorite part of this boss fight is the one of the venues for the next events. Don't know. Uh, we'll be hearing more and more. I just have uh, a lot of doubts that I'll probably be in Florida. Because Florida has the, the sussy vaccine rules. And I know GDQ has been pretty good about trying to make all, sure all the attendees are vaccinated and shit. Come here, Diego! Bop, bop. It's actually kind of a neat fight, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, especially if you have the Tsar, because you kind of skip a lot of phases. Like I said, uh, the Tsar is quite busted, chat. Is he stuck? Diego! Diego! Am I cheating? I don't know. I was in the moon right, I'll be doing good. Oh, I'm cock and ball cannon time. Did 
They're bouncing off him, that's bad. Um... Play it safe! Play it safe, do not risk the shit. Fucking hate this part. Got him. Good fight. Yeah, uh, it's a weird, uh, section. I have no idea what the fuck happened, but Diego is not my friend. Okay, good job, Diego. I'm proud of you. I mean, I'm not, but... Yeah, you're doing number one, Ryan. Hope you had a swell day today. And it happens, creator. Is space exploration a deadly sin? Yes. Actually, it is. You're right. He wasn't a space suit. He kind of went off the deep end. And this is how I pay you back? Diego, work yourself. I get it. I really do. The situation doesn't exactly bring out the best of you. There we go. Uh, 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 hold on. Wait, what do you mean? Well, I missed a comment there, by the way, didn't I? We're not fighting Nemesis? I'm confused. Whee! Anyway, now we get to the problem area of Dead Rising 3. Uh, they start blocking all the roads and shit. Howdy, Fenkel. Hope you're doing good. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, doing good. We have a new cheerleader emote, by the way. It's really good. I saw a lot of people using it today, and I'm very happy that people love it so much. Uh, as always, Ms. Moonshine knocks it out of the park, and I am very happy to have her as an artist. Alright, time to fight Jerry. Okay, so if I want to try this for a little bit here, let's see something really quick. Nope, okay. Worth the try. So, someone on YouTube, and I also learned in the Dead Rising Discord, on New Game Plus, Jerry will die immediately if you throw an exercise ball at her. However, um, it only works as you have the maximum, like, damage, which I don't have. Yeah, get the fuck out of the way. Yep, this is pride. Diego, get the fuck out of the way. That's fine. Proud of you, Diego. Good job. You hit her once. Alright, time to show her the cock and ball if you know what I'm talking about, chat. Oh, God! Maybe not like that. There we go. Give her the cock and ball, chat. Diego, come on. Good. That dying because you got cock and balled, right? Think you should show me the cock and ball? Also, my favorite fun fact about Nick is Nick is the strongest Dead Rising protagonist. Look at this shit. Throw it like a goddamn frisbee. That's like 250 pounds. Nick is a monster. Like an actual fucking monster. And I want you all to be aware of that, chat. Chat, look! It's the uh, Lamborghini store. They blew it up! They really did it! Oh no! Nick level 50 is stronger. Like, Nick level 1 is stronger. Nick's kind of a monster. Oh, you mean Dead Rising 4 Frank? Then Dead Rising 4 Frank. Dead Rising 1 Frank? No. Time to eat cock and ball, lads. Come on. Cock and ball. Ball. Homies. I really wish I had my czar back, but they kind of took all my... I, I could have made one more czar, though. Damn, get the fuck out of the way. Thanks. There we go. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take actually just a motorcycle. Diego, get the fuck off my bike. You're not allowed. No, Diego's allowed. 
That's the core rule of bike. Fuck you, Diego. Yeah, there we go. No, Diego, no! Uh, so the ball has a glitch where I think it just, like, infinitely hits her and then she dies, like, immediately. I've seen it. Like, I know it's a thing, but it's only available on New Game Plus. So it's a weird glitch. So, I can't really do it myself. But, uh, it was kind of theorized that made for all bosses would be really good for Jerry for an instant kill, but the problem is it only works on New Game Plus. So, you'd have to do a New Game Plus category to do it. There's a lot of damage. I've seen, I mean, you hit like all of it. Why is it New Game Plus? Because on New Game Plus, I think you have the melee damage, or the item damage to do, uh, do it. You know, I probably should have gone the lowrider, but I kind of want this guy. Uh, so we can definitely answer it better. We have all the books. Oh, that's why it's the books. I thought it was the item, uh, the upgrades. All right, good. Get on the car. Sweep. Hey, it's a good vod. Thank you for the RNG blessings. Oh God! Oh no! Oh no! Hmm. Out of the way, you. Oh, bomb. Yeah, you have a lot of the upgrades. Hey, thank. God damn it! Get Diego out of my car, zombies! You're letting a monster in. You know what a real monster's gonna do? Tank his credit score. Thank you for the follow, by the way. That's not a legal license plate. You know, I don't think the zombies care much about laws. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think the zombies were, uh, wondering about what laws they should and should not break when they were, uh, in zombies. Wait, is that the ramp? Yes, this is the ramp I need. This is the good ramp. Okay. There's, like, two ramps, and this game starts blocked here earlier. Yeah. For new game co-op? Why specifically new game co-op? That's such a specific category. No zombie lawyers, then? Would you specialize in zombie law? New Game uh, Plus? I mean, New Game Plus all bosses probably exist, it just... I don't ever do it myself, so I don't know the exact extent of it. Take it easy, Twister. Have yeah. a good one. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Like, with a lot of New Game Plus stuff, it the whole answer why I don't do it, it's not entertaining to me. I just don't think it's as interesting to kill all of the bosses in one hit. Now, I do think there are some interesting strats, especially in the later games, maybe. Dodge. Yeah. Zombie mess and zombie law. Aren't you, like, an actual fucking scientist, though? You could probably do uh, zombie medicine. Oh, no. Poor Diego. He died. Oh, how's it going there? I thought we didn't gun. There we go. Need the spit shot in case zero. Gotcha. Is it not a lot down? Just maybe. Alright, so we're gonna be going over to. You know how right I am? Yeah. Oh, I thought I did. I thought, wait. Maybe I do. I don't know. Hey, pal. Banged up tough guy down on the highway. Whee! All right, uh, I just need the cock and ball gun, and we good. I always enjoy the amount, because, but chat, by the way, like, my favorite parts of streaming is there's a very wide group of people here who watch the stream. Uh, this could be between, uh, you know, college students, people with full-time careers, uh, scientists. I appreciate the amount of diversity that comes with the stream background and the different levels of, like, work. All to watch a man use the sentence, uh, above all is the weapon of cock and ball. There we go. Hey, Nick. Kinda looks like somebody's alive in that big mansion. I can appreciate that. That's right here. Same. Whee! Oh, God! Why did I not think that would work? Well, I tried. 
Oh god, zombie done. I have no idea why the gun zombie is so accurate. The fucking zombies. I did, Alistair. Hope you were having a great day. Dude, cake. That was sombrero? You're damn right, I just want more fan. Every time I do this game, I dress Nick up like a mariachi man. Does X voice actor count? It can, yeah. I don't know, I think it's a really neat thing, uh, really neat thing with streaming. Also, Green Snow Dog, is that Mr. GDQ himself? I can't believe it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what's my background? My background was, uh... IT guy, law student? And to video game guy. So, that's my background. Out of the way, zombies. I think I make the jump. We I did. Oh, I love mariachi outfits. Gravy fries are not considered a salad in any regard. I don't know why you're forcing that so hard. Alright, it's time to level up. I should have enough coming up. Is there a vitamin? I don't know. Nice. Like it's oh god, I got tackled. Oh, he dropped my fucking combo. D? I do take vitamin D to keep me healthy. And D spin to win? Exactly. I think I already have enough, by the way, for upgrades. Uh, yeah, I do. Cool. Like, I have to play a little bit safer coming up, but this is good. I guess you get a level up on this one. Yeah. Uh, hey, nothing wrong with that at all, Captain Pickle for it. It's a neat uh, array of people who watch the stream. I think it's fun stuff as well. Oh god, I have the cock and ball gun out. I was like, wait. My weapon break? Or did... Oh yeah, I, I put my weapon shit. Fine, I'll help. I think that's good. Should be good, right? Oh, you're not good yet. Hey, Tracy! Give me that taco. Fuck it. Tracy's dead, chat. Oh, never mind. Tracy's alive. We're good. we good. Mm. Oh, I know what to do. Okay, we're good. We're good. I know what to do. Um... I'm actually going to play this a little bit safer than I thought I would. Oh, we have Spanish chat now. I don't understand bits and pieces. I wish I kind of studied more Spanish. I don't think know enough to know what's good and bad. My favorite thing was I worked my old job. I worked in a very uh, Mexican neighborhood. And certain people would be surprised when I'd start laughing at their sentences. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, yeah, I get it. What do you mean? You don't know that I understand it? Yeah, of course I know that word. It's all a balance, I suppose. Anyway, I'm eating some time loss, but it might help me out in a bit, because I want to get a fuck ton of czars. Uh, combos. Uh, two. Good. Would be my son Hill? I don't know, because I don't really know the extent of my inner demons. So, uh... I don't really have an answer for you, Weld, Rob Tier. If I knew my inner demons, uh... I'd probably let you know, I suppose. You know, I don't really think I have any... I, I mean, I probably have some, but... I don't really have a lot of demons, I don't think. I feel like a pretty happy-go-lucky guy, I guess. Raw, yes, it's all. You know what? You ever play the game Yuppie Psycho? It's that. I get banned here by the ESRB. Well, in that case, I'm not going to pry because that sounds immensely heavy, and I am sorry. Because uh, I can only imagine what would the uh, get uh, banned by the ESRB, and usually the way that leans. 
I hope you're doing okay these days. Everyone's in is finishing something. Wait, for what part? Corpse, you're not a survivor? I mean, I feel like I do good at Silent Hill because I don't have a lot of inner demons. I feel like I'm pretty, pretty alright. Anyway, chat, time to fight the sloth fight. Vitamin wise. Wait, what about vitamins? Oh, vitamins. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Weirdest part about this fight, you have to check the door. And then you can begin. Wait, wrong way. That's fine. How are you still alive? Come on. Get out of the wall, right? Yes, I can. That's actually a really cool strat. You can hit it through the wall. I watch you do this. Uh... That's why the cock and ball can't. It's actually why you take this the whole fucking time. You can just get it strangely far away. And it's a really easy fight. Anyway, that's Sloth. He's uh, he's done. Easy fight, right? He died. Yeah, he dies of a heart attack. I went the wrong way. Or did I? You know, I've never actually checked. Uh. Let's be on this fence. Damn. Nothing. Shit. Yeah, I just went the wrong way then. That's fine. Well, yeah, I mean, he dies of a heart attack, then he shits himself, but, you know. Principle's still the same. No, I don't want Freedom Bear. God damn it. What's this sombrero? I like mariachi man. That's it. I don't need it. I, I just... This game has a good amount of time for you to kill, and I like mariachi. I don't understand what you mean by that. You mean Freedom Bear? Yeah, Freedom Bear is really like a turret. I don't like Freedom Bear. He's a bad weapon. Nope. Whee. Welcome back home, Nicole. There's not gonna be a psychopath mariachi band. Am I gonna blow up a car already? No, it's barrels. Okay. Oh my god. There we go. Well, that's what happens when you got drip, chat. What can I say? It's drip. Yeah, we'll never use Freedom Bear. No, no Freedom Bear allowed. You know what I will do? I'll leap. Whee! Maybe I should have taken the Lowrider, by the way. This car's gonna blow up soon, and I probably... You know, there's another car coming up. I know there's one. Uh, uh, motorcycle? No. I want an actual car. Uh... Oh, Gamble's gonna be better. Fuck it. Like I keep saying, I should get a car, and then you know what I don't do? I don't get the car. Let's get this one. We Hey, remember that upgrade I talked about earlier? It's good shit. Also, Nicole, you see the new emote, by the way? We have a cheerleader emote, and it's pretty fucking cool. Right. Also, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. I'm having a fuck ton of fun with Dead Rising 3. Like, a surprising amount of fun with this game. Like, I kind of, I think, finally got all the kinks out. Wait a minute. I've almost got the kinks out. I'm not going to talk yet. Because I just realized what I just said, and I realized one of the worst parts of the run's coming up. I mean, it's fun enough. It's not a bad game. So cute. Yeah, I love it. It pairs really well with uh, the boogie. No, no, uh, it's a different anime, Baka. Uh, it is uh, Kai, Kaiji. Uh, so it's... 
Not Zawar Zawar Rorlu. It's uh, Zawar Zawar. You kinks out? Oh, 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 oh. Chip. Uh, Dead Rising 1 and 2 are normally the ones you want to stick to. Dead Rising 3, while not the worst game ever made, definitely has its flaws. Uh, mainly, uh, the big flaw being, how the fuck are you going to have a world so dependent on driving and then block half the roads later? If it was just zombies, that'd be one thing, but they block with, like, fucking barricades and shit. Yeah, good. I kind of wish I had a Reaper. But I'll probably be fine. Everyone's here to see... Oh, there you go. Perfect. You think, huh? You you think? Hold on. Oh God! Oh, my chair's doing the fucking thing. Where? Ah, oh, God! Oh, good. All right, let's go. There you go. Uh, let's make the... Hold on. Morning, Sir Ace. Hope you didn't get today. Go! Uh, this Mario Dead Rising 3 take the largest chunk. Yes, Dead Rising 3 is definitely the longest one. Um, this game probably runs at about... Apparently, I have a 253 in this fucking game, which I don't know how the fuck I got that. Um... And then Dead Rising 4 is the second longest, then off the record, and then 1. 1's the shortest. Alright, good. Have a good night, Alistair. Rest easy. Get some good sweep. Sweep is rather important, don't you know? Oh, we need it every day, in fact, don't we? Really? Dude, take the hearse. Thank you. Well, it's good, Donnie. Hope you've been good. Hope you're having a good day. All right, cool. I had a really good backtrack, by the way, and I felt damn. Good. It worked. Okay. Jesus Christ! Hey, chat. This is with the zombie push upgrade. Remember what I talked about earlier with the zombie push upgrades? Great, huh? Intent the sleeping thing again. Have a good night, Miss Scarlet. Rest well. Also, chat, while some people are knocking out, it's currently 2 a.m. in my time zone. You know what that means? It's what I like to call 2 a.m. vibe check. It's 2.27 a.m. If you are here, I hope you're having a great day today, and hope you're doing well, chats. This is the time of day I like to check on your vibes, because you don't get this question asked every day. I hope you're doing good. I feel good. I think I feel pretty good today. It's a nice day so far. I cannot complain. And I hope that you are all having a great day. We had a new emote, a great fucking marathon, a lot of good shit. I know that you've all just been enjoying the stream vibes in general. Well, for you, it might be a different time, but for me, it's 2 a.m. Meaning, I hope that your vibes are good. Oh, the Reverend Rachel, got home from the club. Ooh, have fun at the club. Well, reasonable is good. Reasonable mental health sounds nice. That's good to hear. Now I get through up there. Host in Hawaii vibe. No, it sounds like a time camel candy. Chilling today? Nice camel vibe. Only a lot of chill vibes today for the most part, I should say. Okay, I'm kind of worried right now that I. Uh. Looking for a snack? Oh, stuff. At 4 am life? I get that. I heard that all too well. Okay, we're gonna be taking a lot of the food. Wine. Lettuce. Steak. Give me the steak. Fine one. 
Uh, wait, why do I have a crowbar? There we go. Come on, please. Good job. My vibes are good. My vibes are doing good. Well, hopefully you can get some rest soon, Skroger. Gotta hang out with DJ Rebirth? Really? Nice. That's a fun time. Sounds like you had a fun time at the club. Which I'd say is always good stuff. Alright, chat. Time to give them all of the cock and ball. Ready? So I'm gonna go in the back of the room. Okay, chat. Let's see how fucked the game's gonna be right now, okay? Do not fuck me, game. Push nothing. Hey, DJ, real life too. Glad to hear. Push nothing. Yes. Okay. So there's a bug there. If you mash the buttons, uh, the game will stop. Isn't that just fucking fantastic? Just great, Chess. Just great. Ultimator, that's good. Okay, we're out. You get nothing and like it? You actually crash, like, you, uh... No, so what happens, actually, is you get soft-locked into an infinite loading screen. However, zombies can kill you during it. So you just die. Great, right? How about your motorcycle? Ooh, what kind of bike you can get? Good. Right, isn't it great, Rambo Rachel? And the fall, by the way. Oh god, we're good. Yeah, there we go. Big turn. Wishing all here birds are chirping and vibing. I got a lot of birds outside mine. Well, I'm glad I didn't blow up. I got a lot of birds outside my house to do that. They love to chirp, 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 chirp. Alright, this should be good, I think, as long as I don't, uh, totally jump the, uh, the shark here. Nice! I got a buddy of mine who's really into bikes. He, uh, lives the lifestyles. I know very minimal. No, I did not steal the fizzy lifting rings. I've been good. I've been a good lad today. Surprisingly so. I mean, you don't need to turn it on a good radius and you can just roll over everything. It's the roller hog. It's a very strong bike to have. And that's the general idea behind it. Well, I guess I can go back to eat a car. Oh, of course, must be a different breed. How's it, Reese? Yeah, glad you have a great night, by the way. Sounds like good stuff. Hold on. Get off my ride. Go inside, and... Good. I like how the cock and ball gun a troll taking down a wooden crate. Okay, cool. Okay, I think I should be mostly good coming up in this section. Good. I gotta be careful though, because with the upcoming part of the game, uh, I'm gonna be fighting one of the worst boss fights. Fucking sucks. Uh, doing well? Cozy your blankie? That is very cozy. I have to, Element Zero. I'm glad you understand the power of this game. We're always destroying that credit score. It's the most important part of Dead Rising 3. Always be tanking the credit score. Really, any car in this game is bad for the credit score. You see, the insurance companies have had cameras on Nick the entire time of this game. And they've been watching him drive, and now he'll never be able to get, uh, insurance. They look at his credit score and they realize this man's fucking terrible. 
Well, there you go. So wired. Well, that's good at least, and hopefully you get some rest soon. Everyone, listen up. Alrighty, almost done with this chapter. My hair is like getting pulled on. Alrighty, here's what sucks. So I'm playing it safe because I'm keeping enough for health if I need it, and I could get melee for more speed, but I don't think I need it just yet. That's fine, half the health, that's okay, and yeah. Wait, did I really get grabbed? I got command grabbed, and now there's fire. God damn it! Get out of the fire, get out of the fire, get out of the fire! Good. All right, phase two. That's fine. The rain, nice. Really good stuff. This fight's as good as it looks, by the way. Next one. Good. Okay, this is a sin fight? No, this is fighting the CEO of a fucking pharma company. And just fighting a bunch of loaders. This fight's as bad as it looks, by the way. Especially since they take away all your weapons, the fire is constantly moving towards you. Uh, so if you go at all slow, also zombies everywhere. Did I say this fight's bad? Why do you think I played it safe? <laughs> there we go. That is the sole reason I didn't upgrade my melee, because fuck this fight. It's so bad. This is the CEO of Phenotran, right? Alright, there we go. Good shit. Um... Okay, decent enough fight. And I am... One minute ahead. Right? I can't believe it. What a terrible fight, right? It's a fucking awful one. I hate that fight so much. There we go. That was it, yep. I think you're fighting a, uh... A pharma CEO's in a wheelchair, like... It, yeah. Like, her boss fight's not really interesting. It, it's not a good fight. That's what it would be doing good. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully you're having a nice day today, then. Alright, come on. We're almost on, we're almost on the optional bosses, though, at the very least. So this has been good. It's been a really good run. How the way, you. How's the run going? Good! Uh, Good timing. Really good run so far. I like dick. So each other that's going to walk. Well, there you go. Oh, 
Okay. Oh no, the rednecks uh, plotted against me, apparently. Oh no, how terrible. However will I live against the redneck plot of closing a door? I won't, actually. That's the answer. Okay. Up we go. Who could have seen that coming, right? So, unless I get into a wild issue, like, I think I'm actually gonna have my first time where I don't run into any problems in this fucking game. But if I die coming up, I deserve it. I'll say that right now. Like, if I die, I deserve this shit. Which, I guess all I needed was a month, like, you know, a couple months break or of this game. Because I'm actually doing really good right now, Chad. And the game can still go wrong. Knock on wood, but, uh... No, we're not doing the tragic enemy. We don't need to do those. Right, I remember what I, oh, hold on, hold on. We're not done yet. I just remembered what happened last time I was here. I did that exact thing, and they murdered me while I was in the cutscene. Yeah, yeah, it just hit me right now, Kiss Ran. I was like, wait a minute. That's exactly what happened last time I did this shit. Because the zombies are so fucking aggressive, they just don't stop beating you. That's why I've been grabbing help. Like, literally any time I can top off, I've been topping off. There we go. And then the entrance. There you go. It all works out, huh? Come on. Okay. Fucking roll out, thank you. I was not about to eat my death. That shit right there. Yeah, they just don't stop beating me, dude. Can't believe it. There we go. The damage, yeah, this part shreds you. That's why I was like, wait a minute. There's like a whole stretch where the game just really sucks. And we're currently in that stretch. There we go. Uh, I have one beer, okay. If you're wondering when we leave that stretch, uh, once we get back to a safe house, that's gonna suck. I had cap zombies? What do you mean? You can only hit so many zombies. That's, if that's what you mean. Yeah. The cap is three. But you can upgrade with books by times three each time. Too many fucking zombies around here. There we go. Is Dead Rising 2 better than the original? You mean Dead Rising 2 base? I mean, there's ups and downs to both. I don't think it's better, I just think it's different. Story-wise, no. Uh, Gameplay-wise, yeah, it's all upgrades. But over Dead Rising 2, not 1. Dead Rising 1 is definitely the best. Also, we're not fighting Gary as a boss, because Gary's not a boss. He's a survivor. Uh, take the care by the survivors so to get through the crowd easier. You know, it would be smarter, but I don't think. So that's my problem. Hold on. Alright, let's get this. Where's the bikes? Oh, uh, this is Jugs. That's the next one. I was like, where are the bikes? I think I can make the junk bike, right? No.
Let's go. We. I mean, again, it depends. Like, gameplay-wise, there's a lot of quality of life improvements, but, like, Dead Rising 2 base does have a lot of things that you just won't get from the other game. You know, this is a really slow bike now I think about it. Like, I might just take the car. Am I gonna make this jump? I don't actually know if I can. Yes, I can. Okay, thank God. I was really worried I would not make that. There we go. Yeah, honestly, I was kind of thinking this was the junk bike. I'm not going to lie to you. And I was like, hey, junk bike. Oh, no problem. Hold on. No, don't fucking throw a fist. Thank you. Okay. Okay, one, two. Here we go. Sweet. Like, I saw a roller bike. I'm not using that bike anymore. Anyway, I think this is gonna be better than the other strat, because normally I'd kill a safe house, but I don't think I need to. Instead, I can just go to the police station, and that's gonna have a bunch of shotguns. Because cops obviously have shotguns, uh, non cop, uh, the military has assault rifles. And then them combined gives me this arm. See? So, time to make all the czars a man can drink. Good. No, not the whiskey. Where's your... Dude, where did your shotgun go? Buddy. Buddy. You're just a dude. Where the fuck's your shotgun? You're just some... Where did... Where did it go? Fuck it. I guess I don't need it then. I, I'll do one... Oh, there you are. Okay. Thanks, lads. Unless there wasn't too much. I mean, probably. You could always look it up. Oh, Lord. Let's do this again. Alrighty. So, chat, now we are cooking. And just in case. Bada boom, game is saved. I am not going to lose all my progress after five, almost six hours. And that's really what I wanted. To not lose all my progress of five, almost six hours. All right, time to fight Kenny. Right? Never happened before. Not to me. Alright. My favorite fact is that Kenny somehow has the most health out of any fucking boss in the game. And his whole gimmick is that he has a orb of knives. And is apparently really strong because of this. Reminder, Kenny just your average over overweight guy. But he's an endgame boss. So. I just want to do one thing that's but he's not larger than Darlene. Like, he's not even the fat boss. Like, there is a fat boss who's, like, specifically the fat boss. Well, that's the thing. You can't even, like, make fun of him being fat because there's a fat boss and she has less health than this guy. He took an entire czar of hits, by the way. Kenny? There you are. Good. Alright.
Hey, GG, Chad, he's dead. Fuck him. All right, say goodbye to him. Say goodbye to him. I think he's burrito stuff. Anyway, he died. Ah, yes, he is simply more motivated, and that is why he is able to do that. That is correct. We figured it out, chats. We learned. While you didn't have sex, Kenny studied the blade. Oh, of course. It's all about the blade studies, right? Oh, God, what a crack. No, I think it's actually a decent weapon. It just... It's supposed to be Kenny's attempt at a combo weapon with just a ball of scrap. So, it's not really a good weapon. It just sort of exists, I suppose. Now, there's not really any universe you'd call a ball of scrap a good weapon, right? Wait, is the blockade up yet? I don't think it is. I hope not. Shit, I see it. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I'll make it. Maybe not, actually. Remember what I mentioned about the roads getting increasingly more blocked? Like, I, I don't mean it in the sense that, oh, the game is being mean to me. No, I mean it in the sense that they literally start blocking the fucking road. Like, you can't pass. Alright, come on. It's not even a traffic code, it's like a full-blown fucking military blockade. How many games are there? Uh, four major games, uh, two DLCs, and some other campaigns. Really just four. Good job, Nick. Really just four. Oh, see, yeah, he was Envy. He was the Envy pipe. Off the record's more of an offshoot of two. So, not really, no. Like, it's two plus. It's like, just a re-release of two. But with slight differences of it. It's not quite a DLC, but also with easy... It's only the same game, like... I don't think it was originally sold for 60. I think it actually went for, like, cheap on arrival. Rain, A. Hey, there you go. That's the good stuff. Let's forget about four. We're playing four after this. No, I'm not a coward. Don't be a coward. You don't let a video game tell you how to live your life. I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna beat some ass in that game. Oh god, Chad, I've been talking for like days straight. My voice is dying. I need to like line my throat with Vaseline. Like that song. No Vaseline. Some Vaseline. Off the record's easier. Dead Rising 2 base is harder. The exact opposite, actually. I think both the I mean, people are comparing the two. Survivors die easier, but everything else is easier. It's If you're doing all survivors, sure, but like, if you're doing the whole game, then... No, um, 2 is harder. They just, they specifically made a bug, uh, not bug, they specifically made a feature in Dead Rising 2 off the record because Frank West is an asshole. So they made it so survivors die faster with Frank. So that's the only thing that's harder, in fact, which is funny. But the rest of the game, much easier. There's a lot of uh, quality of life things that uh, Dead Rising 2 off the record added. But if you count only survivors, then yes. Survivors are harder specifically in that game. But that's it. Everything else has massive quality of life options. The fact that the game also gives you uh, load, load your checkpoints per area, yeah, it's easier. Well, that Resident 2 off the record gives you loading checkpoints. Like, you, you if you fuck up, just load checkpoint. Also, Nick, an average Los Angeles mechanic who's also, I think, 23 in this game, is going to make this for Ronda. Combo Ronda. Swatch. Combo Ronda. Ready to rumble. 
Oh, of course, Moonbreak. Same. Your average Los Angeles mechanic. Okay, there should be a car coming up, I think. Should be. Should be. Keyword should be. Well then, I guess there isn't. No cars. No cars. Any cars. No bitches. No cars. I need a fucking car. Where? All right, motorcycle. I'll take it. Exactly. If you chop off your arm, Nick can just make you a new one. I'll be okay. We. I'm vehicleless. Exactly. Now nah, I got my vehicle. No, I got towed. Ah, oh, of course. The military came and towed every car. Cat. With the raid, do I have a mod who can give Cat like three shoutouts? And yes, do three. <laughs> How was the stream? What are you doing? How was the new game? I don't remember what it was called, but I know what it is. Yeah, the phobia. I even was doing that too. How is it going, everyone? A lot of the pops. If you have the Cat Pop emote, just like type that. How's it going, Tiffy? Great to see you. We have Cat herself. Digi animation rules. Missed Mr. Viper. Zach Cat. A lot of raiders. Ricardo, Bianchi. We're doing a Big Dead Rising Marathon today. And today's been a pretty fucking good day, I think. We have Abby's Corner. Cat broke the gate. What the fuck did you do? I crashed out of nowhere? Uh, is that like how I broke Hellblade by accidentally softlocking? I mean, I did accidentally softlock, but I didn't think I actually would. By the way, thank you, Wondrous. Mods equals gods. Chad, if you do not know Catlink, please, for the love of God, check her out. She is a great friend of the channel and absolutely wonderful people. Me and her are homies. Also, Tippy, next time uh, there's a GDQ, you gotta show up to go to the Hotfix uh, showrunner party. Also, I single handedly blame Cat. Because while watching her stream, she's doing the pop pop peanut butter pops pop 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 them in your mouth And I can't I can't tell you I've had that stuck in my fucking head all week long <laughs> Thank you wonders by that's three damn right. It's three Exactly there it is Is that as lemon as lemon are we doing good anyway lightning we're doing dead rising What's that what the pop pop peanut butter pops pop 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 in your mouth Oh, in the quarry, there's a song about a bag of, like, chippies called Peanut Butter Pops. Which I guess are less of chips and more of pops. It's accurate! I've been watching Cat, and then I just keep hearing Pop, Pop, Peanut Butter Pops, and then now it's in my head. And I can't get it out. Nick is arriving. He found his scene girlfriend. Of course he's arriving. But Tippy, absolutely. It'll be good times. And there'll be more events, so that's why I'll, it'll be all good. They all died of cringe? I have never died of cringe. I'm the opposite. I have, uh, embraced it. Absolutely, yes. Alright, I made the jazz hands already? Cool, we're good. Yeah, for anyone coming in, though, I am McDysis. I do spooky games. I mean, wait, what the fuck did I put on? Yeah. No, give me back my mariachi. Where's my mariachi? Wait, no, wait, I want back my mariachi. There we go. Exactly, Digi Animation. Exactly. Anyway, what we're gonna do right now, we can actually avoid like every survivor in the game. So I'm just gonna ignore Annie. Uh, normally you would ask Annie if she was okay, so I can be like a smooth criminal or something. You know what I'm not going to do? That. What I'm gonna do instead is find a car. Not a wheelchair, a car. Can you dive cringe if you are cringe? No, it's kinda like a nails on the chalkboard effect. Yes, I fucking saw that, and it's hilarious. That was Ninja Ali. Like, I definitely am not happy that Shinzo Abe has been assassinated, but the idea that Hideo Kojima did it is pretty funny. And it's like, how do you confuse that? Right? Anyway, let's take the, this one. Lives from base. Exactly. You get it. 
Also, we have a cheerleader emote now, and I fucking love it. It was good. Anyway, though, uh, yeah. If anyone has any questions, you're more than welcome to let me know. Uh, we have a lot of fun here. Whee! Also, if you're wondering what happened to Annie, uh, Annie runs really fast. Like, she'll keep up the whole time while I'm driving. It doesn't matter how fast you go, she'll eventually catch up. Yeah, it's a fun one, isn't it? Oh, of course, D-Man, of course. In a wheelchair, be a car? If you soup it up, maybe, but I don't imagine innately no can't. Although, I'm going to take my credit score in a moment here. So this is called the Dodge Charger. What happens is people get money, and then they think they want a dar Dodge Charger. And they don't realize that they're paying... Oh, Annie, get away from my fucking car. You're not allowed. Uh, they pay 100% APR, and then they have to give back the Dodge Charger because they can't make their monthly payment. I see she caught up fast. I told you she's actually the T-1000. Yeah, the very same. Is Annie okay? I mean, if you want to ask Annie if she's okay, you're more than welcome to ask her. God, she's trying to catch up. Avoid her. Yeah, how was the Phobia game? Oh, wait, is it really called Phobia? I just realized what that means. Phobia, like fears. I thought it was like Fabia. I didn't realize it was actually called Phobia. Saying it out loud made more sense. I was reading it and it was like, oh, okay. Also, I need to play Madison, apparently, because that's the hit horror game going on right now. Thank you, Renati. You'll be doing good. Yeah, it's going good. Um, we're definitely past a lot of the uh, risky points in this run. Uh, normally, I'm fucking stressing out because Dead Rising 3 is such a pain in the ass. Like, fun fact, uh, Dead Rising 3 is one of the harder speedruns in the Dead Rising franchise. Because if you die, you're on nightmare mode, and you can only do the manual saves. So if you die, you go back to the last time you manual saved, which... Annie, where the fuck are you? There she is. She made it. Phobia came out? Yeah, Cat was playing that today. How's was Avium? Anyway, here's a fun boss fight. Oh no, it's a crane! Hey, look, I beat the boss fight! Clean shit. Easiest fight you'll ever see. Is that dynamite? I don't want dynamite. Get that out of here. Yeah, so I kind of mentioned earlier guns are busted. Uh, I've upgraded all my guns on New Game, and I don't need any other other upgrades. Alright, here's Red. More like dead, because you know what? I'm going to keep shooting him. And he's going to try to ram me, so if you like the ram emote, you can type ram. And every time Red rams you, by the way, yes, Red rams, um, he will take away your weapon, so don't get rammed. What an attack, right? Exactly, Adwork. You get it. Also, Red's whole thing is like the fucking fam- Oh, God! See? You ran me. Although, give me the pills. Oh, look, he's on fire and somehow fucking alive from that. Thanks for not rolling. It's very already inspired well, That's neat. Yeah, my czar. Oh, even having fun at the game. Although, apparently, you're breaking it according to your chat. Quit ramming me, man. I don't want to be rammed. Oh my god! Wait, you can do that. Alright, I learned. Do not fuck around. Do not fuck around. No, no taking over my server. Not allowed. I learned my lesson with Dead Rising uh, 3. You do not fuck around with health states. The moment you're low, you go. Is that the little Aggie? The Iron Mon Man? The fucking Bloodborne? Wait, no. Elden Ring. Oh, I guess you do help Bloodborne as well. The Elden Ring guy? The King of Fireball? The very same. The Fireball King. Name of the Prime Gaming Aggie. Great to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good night. How'd the rest of the stream go? I know you're doing the no-hit challenge. This is the Dead Rising 4 main. We're doing Dead Rising 4 later. Fireball? Hey, I had a shot of Fireball with him. Oh no, the credits. I beat the game, right? No, don't worry. We still have another chapter. No, no flat chick jokes. Oh, they do flat on them. 
Anyway, you ready to see why this game sucks? Hey, here's Chuck Green. He's back from the dead. I know he killed him earlier. He's back. We're gonna ditch him. Did I go the wrong way? Shit, I think I did. Entirely. No, this will work. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, I know where we're going. I know where we're going. Such a pain in the ass, this section. You have Rock and Iron Mon? Wait, what, what Pokemon do you do it with? Also, what are your three favorites? I have to judge you. My favorite Pokemon. Chat, does anyone remember my favorite Pokemon? It's not an answer you would expect. I'll tell you that right now. Some of you know. But if you don't know, you won't expect it. Yes, it's Cradilly. You knew that. No, not Sneed Green. No, it's not Paris. Fuck Paris. Yeah, I love Cradilly. He's so awesome. He's a little plant man. Turabi. Turabi's a good choice. No, well, that's the cherry one, right? But I love Cradilly. Cradilly is easily my favorite. Jolteon, Absol, Superior. Really su superior. That's uh, like the, the grass snake, right? Also, look. Oh, shit. I just bought this car. I'm up. Good job. Yeah, I know that one. Shaman? Shaman? Well, obviously you have Shaman. Like, you have a hedgehog. That would make sense. Yes, you have the hedgehog. <laughs> so that adds up. Good choice. Snorlax. No, but I love Cradilly. Cradilly's, uh, I think, my favorite. Alright, good chip. Post and chat? Why weren't you able to post and chat before? I'll be doing good, Sarah. Jump bluff and Absol. Gotcha. Oh, no worries. Yeah, I thought like there was like a tech issue. Like, you, you all good there? Hope you're alright. Vaporeon? This isn't a cold good night stream, sir. I cannot tell you about the uh, base stats of a, your average Vaporeon. God, the amount I've been fucking hearing about Vaporeons, by the way, is a surprising amount. Alright, anyway, here's the final boss, because this one fucking- Wait, did I really drop? Alright, hold on. Hooray, I got them all, so now they just break everything. Give me the car. And Vaporeon, there you go, Slug Mercenary. All right, now you're gonna move the whole time. Yeah, this section's as good as it looks. It is, uh, you're hunting down, uh, the guy. Wait, am I going the wrong way? I think I actually am. I am, shit. You know what, though? I think I might be able to do something crafty. I have an idea. How's run bit? Mostly good. Okay. There's no way in hell I'm getting there. Okay, I may have fucked up. Go, 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 go. Hold on, get on top of the car. God damn it, I may have to skip something here. Please, please let me in. Don't go away immediately. Let me get a few off this. Alright, here we go. Did he just break my car? No, he's sending drones at me. There we go. Okay, got him. One moment. This part of the game fucking sucks a lot. Because you have to like break all these drones, but also they come out in waves. So if you don't get them all, then it just. Okay. Sucks to be you. Um, I think I'm good so far. Alright, back to business. Oh, you're talking about the to uh, the fucking... What's the one? In a Congo convention? Well, there you go. Yes, I know about the Vaporeon thing. Someone mentioned that Vapor you can have sex with Vaporeon. And every time Vaporeon comes up now, it's always... You have to look at someone a little bit weird, because they just really like the evolution Evi line, or are they really horny on main? You can never really tell anymore. Which, knowing Twitch chats, this is a horror stream. I play horror games. 
If I start hearing about Vaporeon, I know what that means. Just saying. Coomers, correct. Correct. Everyone's a D-Gen? Not everyone's a D-Gen. Why does this truck just have rockets attached to it? Fuck. It's a truck. Hold on. I guess that works. I hope there's another van I can get. You know what? Life finds a way. Create a loss of the Vaporeon thing? People want to have sex with the Vaporeon. That's all it means. There's nothing deeper than that. People just want to have sex with the Vaporeon. Hey, where the hell did Chuck Green go, by the way? Hey, Dentorios. Good shit. Yeah, thanks for the rope. Uh, the big congrats. I'm very happy. Live Up Chainsaw is actually a really cool game. I'm surprised it's uh, as, uh, like, I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I am. I was, but, like, I mean, I made an emo for it. I figured I like, you know, I like the cheerleader aesthetic. I think it's cool, and I wanted an emo for Live Up Chainsaw. Wait, I know the shit post. That's what I was mentioning as well. This is the fucking Vaporeon shit post. But I know uh, Nicole Goodnight's become a bit uh, known for it, I suppose. Bagel. Okay, good shit. Uh, I want to save the Jazz Hands for later, and the Czar. Take a healing. And hey, look, there's Suck. Oh, uh, that's about one. Uh, really? I only have one gun? You're kidding me. I mean, I guess I can make this work. See, there it is. By the way, this is the actual final boss, and it's so fucking weird, because you just wait for this helicopter, and then you just shoot down the things, and you do this for 20 minutes. Great, right? Now so I'll see Nope. Okay, what is Nope? Because I was watching someone on Twitch, and I saw an ad just, Yup, Nope, E-40. And I was like, why is there an E-40 song in a horror movie? Which, and then I saw Jordan Peele, I was like, that makes sense. But... I don't know, I like the idea of an E-40 song in a fucking horror movie. Oh yeah, it took me a moment, I was like, why do I hear E-40? Is that a boat? What, this? Oh, it's just like a body snatcher thing, so you're telling me. Alright, here we go, party time. Come on, suck, look at this man. All right, come on, I got 20 down. Good. I like how I got almost all of them ready. There's another one, there it is. Fucker. Okay, got it. Don't you just love that? You just spawns immediately and then it's, okay, it's gone. It's a great method. Absolutely great. Where are we at right now? This is going good. Like, if you know the phase, it's not even a phase. It just beat the game. Wait, is she still on the stage? Why is her music playing? What the fuck? Is that BB Love? That is BB Love. Why is... Ah, shit. Uh, sorry. Okay, cool. That's fine. That should be good, and let's go. Everything, right? Can't believe it. No, the ending phase of the game blows. This is already not. Yeah, you got it. You figured it out, Iris. You see, like I said, a great section of gameplay, right? Great, great section. Oh god. Oh, alright, we made it. Did you survive the Resident 2? Yes, actually. I mean, not in this. I mean, we didn't save her, but she's supposed to. Um, it might be Adam then. It might be him. I just recognized the voice. I was like, that's BB Love. I know that voice all too well. Also, I like how during all of this, there's still just guides on the bridge playing defense for some goddamn reason. 
Did they? Wait a minute. They finally upped the price of the, uh, the Costco Glizzy? Why? What happened to the CEO who said, I'll fucking kill you if you raise the price of that goddamn hot dog? The most base man of our time. You don't like the article? I can't read it, though. I believe you. I'm sad now, Chad. Not a planet Earth. Well, that's good to know, then. Good to know about no. I'm just saying I like the E-40 song, Choices. I actually love that song a lot. Believe it or not, chat, I listen to more E-40 than you'd expect a guy like me to listen to. Why? I'm a weird goth kid, I guess? But I like E-40. And too short. No official news? Well, that's good, then. I don't think there's any shotguns nearby, by the one. E-40 funny. Dude, you ever try 40 water? It is. Okay. It is worth the meme at the very least. Good job, Chuck. I'm proud of you. He's doing it. Also, if you're wondering why is he dressed like a mariachi man, I like the mariachi style. I think it's cool. I think it's a very neat style. Oh, there you go. So there's no shotguns nearby, because he's another czar. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'll live, but uh, not well. Riveting gameplay. Hemlock? Yeah, the hemlock section in this game blows a lot. And we just wait for that to come over here. Oh, there you go. Why not you? Okay, almost done. I should have changed the color of my lights. Hold on, I can do it right now. No, I'm trying to get back to blue. Come on. Got it. This is different. Oh, the final boss in this game exists. It just part one doesn't have it. I missed one drone, by the way. I'm kind of worried about that. Shit. God damn it, I hate this section. Um. Alright, good. Got all of them. I think there's one more. I may have missed one, and if I did, I'm gonna be really bummed out. Does Katie still need her Zombrex? Yes, actually. I mean, she needs it every day. It has not stopped being every day. So Katie will continue to need her Zombrex. And I need a fucking car. Well, this is gonna be bad. Uh, why is he just as mariachi? Why wouldn't it be? Correct. That's a good question. I mean, I just think the mariachi style is neat, man. I am playing Shadows of the Dam tomorrow. I don't, I don't know if there's mariachis in that game, but I know that's usually uh, praised as a game with a uh, Mexican protagonist. I think it's fucking awesome. Alright, I think it's this way now. Yeah. You have sunglasses, cop? Well, there you go. I always go mariachi. Like, I take the time here because I just want mariachi. I think it's a fun style. And if I could rock a mariachi, mar yeah, mariachi outfit, I would- hold on. Chuck, stop running so fast. You're not allowed to keep up with me. Why isn't everyone else wearing mariachi? Great question, D-Man. Chuck, you're not allowed- oh, god damn it! look at him. He snuck his way in here, chat. You thought Chuck died out there. No, he clearly lived forever. <laughs> And there's a lot of fun outfits you can have. I just, I like mariachi. Do you get it? Because it's Katie and Chuck Green's dad. He's like passing the torch in Dead Rising because his little girl is dating Nick. 
Meanwhile, Dick watches. I love the fact that the major partner is being named Dick. I can't tell if they're trying to be funny. Who the fuck threw a Molotov at me? Who? What? Are th Wait, the rednecks are still alive? How are you alive? Oh, sorry, John. Oh, there they are. Honestly, I mind the zombies less than the rednecks right now. How the fuck are you living bullets? These are guns. You're a, re you're a regular redneck man. How do you live more than one of those? Okay, gone. Gone. I think it's a good spot. Trying to kill Chuck again? If I could, I would right now. Dude, I wish I had Chuck's power of cardio, right? Alright, should we drop in? Come on. Come on out. There we go. Guys, hold on. Almost done. Almost done. Chuck, get the fuck out of the way. Thanks, Chuck. You're kidding me. I need one more. Alright, luckily it's right here. Last one. I think a buff to guns. My favorite part about the Dead Rising Marathon is that there isn't a buff to guns. Guns have always been busted. Like, always. Every single game, the answer, use gun. Always use gun for Dead Rising. It's fucking busted. And they have always been busted. Yay! Phase one. I saved a minute somehow. I love that. Anyway, here's the actual final boss. Hemlock. Get it? Because hemlock sound like a poison or something, right? Yeah. How do you pronounce my name in Japanese? Uh, it's a pain in the ass, so usually they just call me Ekudisa. Ekudisa. Or Ekudisa. I think it's like Ekudaishisu. But, uh, yeah, that's long. Anyway, uh, here's a fist fight, and I'm gonna just keep shooting him. Oh god, he punched me. This guy's a major dad bod? Yeah, he's like a military commander. What's the great final boss of Dead Rising? I know, the overweight military commander that you've been looking at all game. That's right. My favorite enemy in this fucking game. Alright, dude, a hot dog. Hell yeah. Chomp. Okay. No, don't throw a punch. Get out the jazz hands. Thank you. Alright, halfway. You're not the best announcer? I don't know. I try my best, but I don't know if I am the best. I tried. So I'm going to come in here earlier and said I was ruining GDQ, and I felt truly honored. It means I could be a part of the, the fun group of people who are apparently all ruining GDQ. You know, all the people behind GDQ. Anyway, this is why I've been saving this weapon all game long. I think I'll have enough, like, barely. Throw me in the blades, you dick. I'm all out of weapon shit. Kill him. Really? Yay! I killed him! Okay, fucking it worked. <laughs> I try! It's gonna run Mario. Oh, of course. You know, I was on the mic? Wait for what? I wasn't a host or anything. There we go. That was great. It worked. Where did I get, by the way? I don't know.
For this. Fuck you. And then Nick killed the franchise. I can't believe it. Does Sabrero give me any stats? I feel good about myself. I think that's a pretty great stat. Don't you? I feel quite nice about myself. Plus five style points. Another good stat. A lot of good stats. Now I get to check Twitter because the ending. Don't you love the final cutscene just being sombrero? By the way. Wait a minute, I can actually put this bot on YouTube now, because Dead Rising 4 won't get fucked, unless it totally crashes or something. Cool! I actually get dank ad revenue on Dead Rising video. I haven't uploaded one of those fucking forever. Good job, Nick. You done it. It's good stuff. Yeah, every oh, no, not uh, it wasn't only Dead Rising three. Like, there's one marathon where I just kept dying. Also, someone linked the peanut butter pops in Discord. There it is. Told you. I get to see them. It's totally solid port. I mean, I just the nightmare difficulty. Being on nightmare and not being able to have a proper save just sucks so much. And anyway, we're watching the ending because there's a whole other ending to this section. Exactly, the pop pop peanut butter pops. Pop 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 in your mouth. Sweet. Alright, get out of your licensed music that sure will DMCA my YouTube video. Uh. My game crashed. So I guess you might not get to see the ending. Beautiful port. Beautiful stuff. Uh, I was trying to show you the ending credits. And I'm glad it crashed there and not anywhere else. Because uh, that'd be fucking hilarious. Faster game swap. You might act... I mean, hold on. Let me try booting it up again, maybe. Cute nerd streamer? Me? Doesn't sound right. Nerd, maybe. Streamer, maybe. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, chat. I guess you don't get the cutscene. Yeah, no cutscene for you. Okay, fuck it. Uh, the cutscene's a dumb cutscene where Isabella throws a laptop on the ground because she doesn't understand technology. So, uh... Anyway, uh, who's ready for Dead Rising 4? Anybody? Uh, one moment really quick. I want to check something out. What's the record in this category now? I think someone beat it a while back. I got record. I just... I have... That's record in this category. Cool. Awesome. I should update. I should update that. So... Uh, hey, record. Cool. I mean, there was like two runners in this category. And I invented it. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's all bosses record. I guess I could submit that. But we'll have to see. All right, you know what? Let's go with the red. I don't pick red enough. You got a red. I'm trying to go to red really quick before we go to the next run. Are you. Oh my god, it's not working. I'm trying, chat. Ready for Dead Rising 4? I'm not. Hold on, I'll give it a moment. Oh, Dead Rising 4. What a game. By the way, I guess there's that. So. Cool. Alrighty, anyway, Dead Rising 4. I have 63 hours in this fucking game. Why do I have 63 hours in goddamn Dead Rising 4 chat? It is one of the games of all time. Ah, just like Morbius, right? Hey, you. There we go. That works. Never read. <clears throat> Best for last. Clearly. Masochism? 
You got this fourth one? A lot of people do. Honestly, I don't actually hate Dead Rising 4 as much as people think. Ah, yes. It's such a good game. It can't be watched by mortals. Absolutely. Also, chat. Uh, I get to do this now. Check out Cat Link if you haven't done so yet. She's a great friend of the channel. She's good people. So I'm hyping her up. So I get to do it. Alrighty. Now the real question. The real question. Christmas. Valentine's Day. Or nothing. You know, let's do Christmas, I think. You know, it's 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 July. Christmas in July could be a fun time, right? Famous VTuber Catlin. The very same. The very same. You're welcome in time for the best one. I know how we all want how we all love Dead Rising uh, 4. Anyway, chat, did you know I actually have 8,000 hours in Dead Rising 4? <laughs> Excuse me, I was looking for the unalloyed... Well, you found them, DJ Monkey Lad. You found them, and hope you're doing good today. <laughs> they have the 100 biddies. You see, I have 8,840 hours in Dead Rising 4. Why do I have 8,000 hours? Maybe I just really like the game. You ever think about that? Also, I have another save file with 7,500 hours. I just really like Dead Rising 4. Well, no, it says I have 8,000. So clearly, clearly, I've done a little bit less. Alright, uh, delete the file. There. Review, game sucks. Time spent. 8,800 hours. My favorite part about this save file is that I only... I didn't even beat the game. If you look at the amount of cases, I got like halfway through it. Oh god, it just I, it bugged and the hours go up every time, and I'm not going to change it. And I just think it's fucking hilarious for some reason. So, yeah, Cypher with 10k. I wonder why that bug exists, because I think it's fucking hilarious, but I never understand why it's a bug. Um, anyway, um, you know, I could have Frank Rising to this. I probably won't, I don't have the splits for it, but, um, that's also not really technically a part of it, but fuck it. Anyway, uh, chat, you ready for Dead Rising 4? You know, I guess I can fuck around more. Usually I'm, uh, more invested in Dead Rising 4, so, um, uh, let's go. I saved four minutes. Wait, French is optimal? Hey, I didn't know that. I, I'm cool with English. I really don't mind. I don't run this game enough to really do the optimization. Gold split? Yes, I golded swapping my games. What's Blackest Friday do? It's like nightmare mode. It's a pain in the ass. We're not doing it. Well, that's good to know. I know my favorite part about Dead Rising 3 and 4 is a really weird one. For some reason, they moved the sprint buttons and alternated them between the games. And I don't know why. Also, as weird as it may sound, I don't hate Dead Rising 4, actually. I really don't hate this game. They couldn't get the OG VA, but it's not the dude's fault. Like the new VA didn't do anything wrong. He just—it's a job, you know. The actual theme of that Dead Rising Four is trying to do isn't even like the worst they could have done with it. I guess. Hold on. There it is. Alright, almost there. They just could have not used Frank? Yeah, they were gonna use Frank. Frank fucking, like, was the thing. God damn it, I hate these zombies so much. There we are. Like, Frank was the jam, you know? Frank was the thing. Everyone was about Frank. That's Hank? Yes, we all know about Hankies. They did, D-Man! Yeah, they, they cured zombies and Isabella, uh, you know, uh, destroyed evidence or something like that. 
Mini golf night. Don't you love mini golf? I sure love mini golf. I changed the tag. Yeah, we're on Dead Rising 4. Dead Rising 4, dude. Fucking Dead Rising 4. Yep. I mean, it, this game is issue is mostly time crunch. Anyway, I didn't want to see stealth. This is actually a stealth game. In the very beginning, it's a stealth mission. You're breaking into a base, and you must be very sneaky, chat. Remember that. You gotta be as sneaky as possible. You can't sprint during this section. You can only walk at this a slow walking pace. So, uh, they never checked about hopping. So what's that mean? Well, uh, here's our first speedrun skip. Um, remember, ultimate stealth. We must be very stealthy. Sneak into the base, see? We gotta be very stealthy, chat. Stealth. Which Dead Rising just are playing? Two off the record's technically the peak of Dead Rising, because it has the most just gameplay options. Yeah, you can't sprint during this part, so you just keep hopping. Right? You we may as well be playing Metal Gear Solid. Do you think? I have done this before, you know. Me. Also, weirdly enough, this is actually one of the best games of speedrun for Dead Rising, because it's the only one that you don't need a mod to do. Why is the lady skipping? Maybe he is. Hey, also, boxing. It's a zombie. No shit. Are you okay? I can just beat We're the shit out of a zombie. Try that door. I'll see what I can do from up here. Yeah, the more I talk about Dead Rising 4, there's just kind of a lot of things that are a bit of a letdown with this game. Like, they could have been cool, but there's a few reasons why it just didn't work. Usually, most of it being it was made in a fucking year. You hate his VA? I mean, I don't hate his VA, weirdly enough. I, a lot of people, you know, hate it because it's not TJ Rotolo, and I agree with that. But, like, I don't actually hate the guy. Like, if he was in another game, I would probably like him. I don't think the v, uh, the voice actor is really the problem. I think it's the fact that Capcom didn't want to pay TJ Rotolo's union fees. Which, that's what's fucked up, yo. Much more of a that problem. No, I, I think he gets it. Again, you can only do so much as a... He's a voice actor. Last down. You ready, Professor? Hold your horses. Do it. You know? That's it. Who's back in RA2 remake? This guy or TJ Rotolo? Well, no, the, the reason they couldn't have TJ Rotolo for this is because of Union. They didn't want to pay his Union fees. No, the guy who played Frank in the movie is a different guy. Yeah, like, I don't think it's a VA issue. I'm pretty sure it's mostly direction. Like, it's the guy, it's the people who were writing the script, who, who wrote Frank. Like, I don't Frank. think uh, the voice actor decided, all right, golf. Frank has to love mini golf. He must love mini No, that's the, those are writers. I know. Just... Maybe directors. Look, it was them or me. Can we just get on with the reportage? Oh shit, wrong button. Bingo. And actually playing this game, it's really this? not that bad. I'm gonna shoot this stuff. It looks like they've been operating on it. It's kind of a weird thing that not a lot of people really understand. Also, this is the only game that really uses the camera, funny enough. We don't need all the answers, just enough to tell the story. Wee. Come on, let's keep moving. TJ is Burke. TJ Rotel is Burke. Gotcha. There we go. Hey, gameplay good, writing bad type of game. The gameplay is really not that bad. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, the game sucks. No, I mean, it's not a Dead Rising game all that much, but... I mean, it is Dead Rising, it just... It's not the good parts about it. Like, as a whole, Dead Rising 1's easily the best. For all its parts, I think Dead Rising 2 off the record kind of does the gameplay elements. Not just that. Is it good? Never seen it myself. We get out, we get paid. That's what we do. That's okay. all we do. Object three, two, four. I don't know. The door's Someone locked. I don't know. Always. You may begin. How's it going, smile face? Hope you're doing good. Smiley face. Doing some Dead Rising 4, which is certainly a video game. Of all the games out there, this is one of them. I've never seen a song this game is mindless. That's what it is. It is a certainly a video game. Is it fun? Yeah. 
Yeah. And the I mean, forward, I will say, though, that I don't plan on doing a lot with this game, because there's a reason why I made doing 100% of sub goal. It's a huge fucking game. And there's a lot you have to do with this shit. Who wants barbecue? Good job. No one? Holy shit, Frank. This is some atrocity level shit going on there. The best you can is that do is reading a life. book? What, this That's game? Or do you mean something else? About I'm confused. Their faces uh, are all the uh, same. Uh, yeah. It's another one. What are these bastards doing? Go. I think I got that. You know what this Sweet. is? Yeah. Uh, I think there's money in the fridge. Ah, uh, those quiet hands? What do you mean the most quiet hands? I'm on a PS4 controller. Tell you funny? I don't really get it. Yay, lettuce. I guess I don't really get it, I'm not gonna lie to you. No, I'm not gonna return to Frank Rising or Mini Golf yet. If I'm gonna return to any Dead Rising game, it would be actually running Dead Rising 3 as a serious level for the main campaign. Vic, stop! No way! All right. Exactly. But like I've played bad games and this really isn't one of them. Despite what one may believe. Shit. Uh I never remember by the way. Shit. I'm not going to last 5 seconds in there. What's the button? Maybe there's something out here I can use. There we go. God, hate making combo weapons between the Oh, come on. Thank you. I'm not playing mini golf. No mini golf today. Oh yeah, now we're talking. I can, you know, I can always make it a sub goal for mini golf. Actually, I wasn't planning on doing mini golf. I was planning on just doing the main games. If you really want mini golf, I could do that. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a win-win, I suppose. You get a round of it's a new game plus mini golf. What's the goal? I don't know. What would be a good amount? 50 subs? How about that? That sounds fair. I'm just throwing a number out. I don't know if it's higher though. Dead Island's weird to me. Because the concept's neat, but Dead Island makes me very sleepy. And there's not a lot of games that physically make me sleepy. Dead Island is one of them. 69? I mean, that's also a good goal, I suppose. Yeah, that's too repetitive. I think that's the issue. All right, cool. I did it, yay! And I'll make that cumulative. So I have the count above me. I could see. Also, get it? He's saying he's middle aged because otherwise Frank would be old, and Frank's not old. He's a young, he's a spry man. All right, you meatheads. Cool, good chip. Anonymous, saying we're getting two subs of community going to. Uh, Torek and Shoot Dog. Alright, 48. I'll count them out loud. Got oh, yeah, one more, getting five. Uh, 43. Going to, uh, Shadow and Cygnus, Chris John, Zabby, Chicken Salt, and Yuri. Imayo. Enjoy the emotes decision you got. Thank you, Captain Walmart. It is much appreciated. Also, I fucking love this shit. I did wish they did it more. Like, I don't know. I like the comic book style. I loved Infamous. Sue me. I think it's cool. Also, I like Christmas music. What could I say? Anyway, it's still alive. Oh god, you know what? I'm down to watch the cutscene. I'm down. I'm down. Now! 42. Straight back guy, thank you for getting subbed to Chobi. It is much appreciated. No, no, the it's a Christmas game. Look, Hank East. Get it? They changed his name. The more one playable character? I don't think there actually is. Frank West. Am I under arrest? Possibly. Yeah, they actually do call him Hank East. It's like a pseudo name for him, so he can hide from the government. How will you work with others? Oh well, shit, that's never been my strong suit. <laughs> anyway, you might be wondering why am I watching this cutscene? It's because I think it's cool. And normally I'd be watching the Isabella cutscene, but I uh we ended up skipping it. 
So. You can watch a little bit of this one. Mainly because I think they had a good idea with it. Like, a while ago, Rar on Dead Rising 4, but... I mean, I've played it for a good amount of hours. And I don't totally hate this game, believe it or not. Colonel Brad Park. I think there's some neat avenues that it explores. It tried to bring back Frank. Well, then you also know that the ZDC's mandate. I'm not saying it's good. I'm merely just saying it had an idea, and I don't think it's a bad idea. It's happening again, and we'll amend. What is an outbreak? The yes. See anything in the news? How long has it been going on? Going on six weeks now. Really? You see, you return to Willamette. Frank West deals with his PTSD. Who? Oh, the Pentagon. Exactly. Oh, shit. shit like that, chat. No, exactly. No one will know about Hank them. East. You know what I saw. Nobody knows Frank. Hmm. The only reason I found out is because somebody screwed up and passed me a top level report. Mm -hmm. This reservist. Training center. Well, they actually rebuilt Willamette, and now zombies are there again. Was actually stationed there. Maybe they should just stop building things there. Also, hold on, my back. Oh, satellite photos have been updated for four months. Good shit. It is being covered up. I wonder what kind of alcohol Frank's but, drinking. All that pales in comparison to the mystery know. of why you, Frank West, are teaching a goddamn night class. Instead of being two steps, he's like a whiskey man. Maybe Quit. he's drinking Mountain Dew out of a flask. Why would he drink Mountain yes. Dew out of a flask? Quit. It's a flask. Do you know how many? I usually, imagine whiskey in flask. Part of how many I've covered and what thanks have I got? Huh? Nothing. No thank yous. No flowers. Ah, of course, Barnard Filler. It's Bud Light. National Headliner Award 2006. You exposed the first zombie outbreak on U.S. soil. Photographed the whole thing. You wow, I think this game's supposed to happen this year, by the way. Yeah, but let's get to the point. Oh, of Three course, Trilon. Too bad guy giving another sub. The the community US going to Doctor Mellow Yellow. Me. Enjoy the emotes and the decision. Thank you, Tree Back Guy. Forty-one, by the way. I'm keeping the count. Also, almost on a hype train. Like I said, if we get, I guess, forty-one more subs, we'll do a, uh, we'll do mini golf. I'll do a speed run of mini golf. Because mini golf's a weird game I haven't Frank, done in fucking forever, and it's exactly what it sounds like. There is a horror mini golf game. Delta Five, they've been chilling for eight months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. And thank you very much. You know I'll count it. Fuck it, forty. Nah, Diet Mount Dew in that flask. You ever see oh, of how hard it is to get that stuff these days? Conrad, I give me twenty. Twenty subs as well. No! Uh, I can't read all the names. Rogue Medic, you know, Snoo Snoo, uh, Dark Matrix, Jaw, Dusty Bots, Minor Ryan, Trilung, uh, Trilung, uh, Cryworm, Alex the Shy, Jedi, Nervy Destroyer, uh, Pickled Eggs, Anxiety Plus, Twin Blade Perito, and everyone else who got a sub. Thank you, Conrad, for the twenty. Also, I spot. Thank you for the tier one for eleven months. Enjoy the emotes and the decision. Thank you. Also, we're gonna go back to the game now. 20, 19 mini golf? 19. We'll count it. Also, we already got busting, apparently. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, you can have busting. Here. In about a minute, it's gonna get real loud. It's gonna keep saying busting, busting, busting. If you wanna turn it down, you got about 50 seconds. Anyway, we're doing combat. Uh, the combat's exactly how you imagine. You just keep shooting shit. And you stab shit. Anyway, chat, get ready. Spam cheer and dance if you have dance emotes. You have a headbang emote, pop emotes, spam them. You got 30 seconds. Get ready. Also, 19 more subs and we'll do uh, mini golf. Turn that shit up. I'm just warning you. It's the lurk check. You'll see. Get ready. A little under 20, Chad. You'll know when it happens. It's just busting. It's, it's just a loud sound effect. That's all it is. Well, there we go. Anyway, this is going pretty good. I hope I don't get DMCA'd for this. Anyway, ready? Okay, I told you. Does have money in it? There you go, Chad. Is that a fucking RPG? How the, what the How long has that been there? Okay. There's your bust in, Chad. I hope you enjoy it. 
Anyway, we're gonna avoid. Around. Wait, is that another loot? It is. I think I have money off of that, but that's fine. No, I don't want these, that's fine. And then you feel good? Well, I'm glad. There you go. Chest and alarming edge. Now they busted. You got it. Caught now. I didn't know they had actually had an RPG in this fucking game. I was like, Brad ran really fast. He's really fast, chat. Don't worry about Brad. Alright, grab a gun. I got a shit ton of them. Cool. Okay. Oh, you're hilarious. Oh, where's the crossbow? There we go. Um, combo. Just chat got to bust exactly. Oh, hey, that new emote's been putting in a lot of work for Twitch chat. We got trouble. Cover me. Oh yeah, I have an RPG. That's right. Uh, anyway, uh, let's take a lot of Chinese food and shit. Uh, Lambo. Oh, wait, the guy just here? What the fuck? There. God damn it! Who are these assholes? Why are they just at the front of the counter? Like normally they spot in later, right? Are they? Why was they taking that long? I guess I was. Jesus Christ! You don't like the Blambo image? I mean, I think it's fine. I think it's a great image. Hold on. Uh, shots. Fire sake, learn anything from Dead Rising. Understand, guns are immensely powerful. I thought he'd be more around, but I guess not. He should launch her. Okay. Um, zombie time. These are flashbangs. Why am I using these? There we go. Much better. You know, hey, I just noticed it for which part. Oh, the Blambo, got you. Oh, there we go. I was like, where's the other gun? All right. There's a lot of shit like this, too. You, just, you know, you're sort of chilling. Man, got it. I am already sick of this place. And I think that's it. Oh, assault. Wait, there's an assault rifle here? Okay, fuck it. You get wrong in this game set at Christmas time? No, because the game is set at Christmas time. This game is about Black Friday in particular. It's very much Christmas time in this game. Like, extremely so. As in Shane. Yeah, it's going right. Can't complain. Hey, there we go. Choo Choo. Choo Choo. Where's Vic now? There we go. Now he waits for these guys. Good plan. Except I'm going but it to is Katie. That is very what? correct. Look, this it's a, oh yeah, it's a great emote. Kind of test. It's probably run by these military jerk offs. Yeah, and this and moonshine does great I stuff. Why? Like I am always very the over the moon of uh, her emotes in her work. We have uh, the right. the boogie emotes and the uh, you learned something. The cheerleader one. Also, let's get rid of these. Hold on. Yeah, if I get time. All right, I'm out of here. There's a militia forming out in West Ridge. I'm gonna join there up and kill a few more of these pricks. Later, bros. All right, cool. Let's go. Good luck to you, West. How do I, Dick? Thanks. Luck I got. What I need is a big, wet, juicy scoop. Anyway, to kind of further go along with Let's the try. idea of uh, this game gets kind of weird, let me show you something fun now, Chad. I bet you're wondering how does this game function? Well, well. This is Dead Rising 4 in a nutshell. Zombie horror game, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, start your yes, Sirocco, welcome back. It was a fun, I love GDQ. It was a very fun time. Uh, got to meet a lot of new people. And got to hang out with a lot of, uh, uh, you know, old friends as well. I definitely think it was good. It was definitely a good time. I'm before laughing. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty fun. I like the music, but like... It just... Why? At least it was good. It was a good time. Look, he drifts. I can't believe it. He did it. Yeah, I had a really good time, Soraka. 
got revenge on the pole? You know I had to do it. First thing I do upon landing at GDQ, I fucking go. I go to the, uh, what's the word? I'm blanking on it. I go to the scene of the crime and I investigate what happened to it. Because I was curious, man. I had to know. You know what? They broke it. And thank God. Fuck them. It can't hurt anyone ever right. again. Connor says Vic's hold up at the security center. Gotta find out what you know. Well, there he is. No, I don't do the cha cha slide. I witnessed it. That was the difference. There we go. What the hell? You sick asshole! There we go. Hooray, I did it. Yeah. How's it going, Kylie? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a great day today. Yeah, it's fun times. Uh, I'm hoping that AGDQ is going to be in a good area. I'm kind of worried a little bit. Well, hey, have a good day at the convention. Hope it goes well for you. Sounds like a good time. But, yeah, with GDQ, like, I will be fully honest. I was fully expecting to, like, fucking hang out with nobody. But I ended up kind of uh, hanging out with, like, everybody. It was pretty awesome. Like, I had deep concerns with the events. And I'm very glad that uh, a lot of my fears did not really manifest in the way I thought they would. I feel like that's definitely a thing that just sort of happens with events. Also, I'm getting beat up by a fucking snowman. It's just like Christmas all over again. I can't believe it. Gun. Good. All right, we did it. Merry Christmas, you feel me? <laughs> exactly. It really does not smell good in here. I hope this not thick. All right, come on. There we go. Oh. Oh. What happened? Did you kill them all? You been here long? You know anything about a reporter named Vic? Male, or female? Uh. Yeah. Now. She was holed up in this room for I'm assuming that's you're asking. How's it going? What a name, Nano Turds. Hey, what a name. I owe you one, pal. I hope you're doing good. Alright, she's up. You need something? Cool. Come see me in a few. Airplanes are weird? In which sense? That's Vic's hand. Who comes in and asks that? Ah, some people like be polite in all honesty. I usually know some it's bad. Now if they start calling me a slur, then maybe it's bad. But you know, I get the benefit of the doubt. <sighs> I am quite androgynous. It's really not the end of the world. Like, I'm, I'm kind of cool with it. Although, uh, it's always funny because people are like, oh my god, he hates it. No, I really don't care all that much. What does that mean? Uh, the thing in, like, the nano machines, you know, like Metal Gear. Nano machines, son. You know the meme. Alright, so the outbreak started at the mall's Oh, am I wrong? It would be bad. Yes. I think I need to go take a little look myself. Hey, before you head out. Just just a little bit. Heard you talking to yourself. If you're heading to the front entrance, you should take oh, the God. towards medieval village. Let's move. Every other way's been sealed off since the military. He's a dude good lad. Well, thank you. I try. Those idiots with Any the hazmat suit? Nah. Some kind of stronghold out in medieval village. You go, you better go ready for it. These things happen. Better stock up while you can. Huh. I'm glad you like that monster you created. You ever get to relax? Uh, hold on. Yeah, Locations. I cool. I got 3,400. Do I have enough to buy anything? Well, I mean, I I mentioned my piece. Yeah, I already I already talked about everything. You're, you're, you're fine. I really don't. Oh, God damn it. I bought a fucking Santa costume. God damn it. I was supposed to. You know what? Didn't matter. I didn't have enough for anything anyway. Well, I didn't buy it anyway. Oh, never mind. I don't know. Hey, listen up. Don't get eaten. You want something? God damn it. Why did I buy a Santa costume? You know what? Fuck it. We're Santa Claus Scare now. Yourself, Screw it. Why not? It's Christmas in July, chat. I'm just saying, the moment we get Frank West into a sexy Morgan costume, I'm putting him in the sexy Morgan costume. What can I say? I dig Morgan cosplayers. I think they're pretty based. Am I wrong, chat? Am I wrong? Who here doesn't like a good Morgan cosplay? Even if it's Frank West. 
I am gonna get my also, I already answered the question. I'm confused. You don't? Oh, then, oh, there you go, then, I guess. Oh, well. Don't know what to tell you. Alright. Ah, I guess I got worse. There we go. It's a fact. I agree. Yeah, I think I saw that. She's been uploading some reports. Right, I found her first one. Does that said Santa fornicate with a uh, woman in the big and tall store? You know? He just might actually. Not gonna lie to you. Full scale outbreak, the horde is And those women may or may not shit right for a week. So you know, just a totally random quote, definitely nothing else, right? The government did this. And when I prove that, By the way, that is my favorite Christmas movie, and I'm glad that you quoted that. <laughs> You? Well, you never seen the movie Bad Santa? It's fucking great. Yeah. It's one of the best Christmas movies ever made. I really think it like is peak. I'll try to find some more. In the meantime, keep an eye out for those terminals. Park out. Do I have any grenades? I might. I don't get jack shit for money here. That's fine. Bad Santa? I love Bad Santa. I, I really do think it is uh, one of the peak holiday movies. You know what? I agree. I don't think he was a very good Santa at all, Wang Fu. Anyway, I guess we're Santa Claus murdering people. Well, hey there. Never the follow, by the way. He is Erlin. His name is Thurman Merman. Also, why is Frank West into inbred women? <laughs> You know, nothing wrong with inbred women. They gotta get, you know, like, you know, they can have their love. But, like, why is Frank West, like, how is that a comment you make? If she's half as inbred as she sounds, she's my kind of lady. Like, it seems like he's specifically into that, which... Good for you, Frank. Good for you. Exactly. I mean, Frank West is simply BD, right? Anyway, uh, give me that. Give me that. Can I put on the Arthur helmet? Let's see. No, not the scepter, the sword. I can. Okay. Wait, no, actually, give me back the... There, thank you. Okay. What a weird combination of outfits. Okay. That's kind of weird, dude. I'm just saying. Not really fitting the vibe. Neela's, Neela's grossness usually doesn't last very long here. It's more annoying than anything. Which I feel like that's what you're trying to do. Which, if you're trying to, then I guess congratulations, you're succeeding. Good question? I, no, I think you know what you're doing. I mean, I'm cool to give you, like, oh no, second chance, but don't be annoying. That's probably the most important rule of the channel. Also, you know what beats military, uh, not military, medieval knights? RPG. Well, hold on. RPG. Alright, uh, Blambo should be good. Oh god, I'm getting my ass beat. Kind of cringe? Yeah, a little bit. Hold on. Uh, I need to upgrade my health because that will be good for later. Rolling, shooting, and survival. There we go. Cool. Got what I need. You sick? I mean, they're, they're pretty much telling you don't be annoying, which you're not doing a very good job so far. You seem to be arguing with everyone in chat, which isn't a good sign. In fact, one might say that's a bad son. How's it going, Kareem Abdul Jabbar Barbinks? Uh, Welcome back, hope you're doing good today. Good to see you. So, let's see. Uh, where are we at? Uh, death. Wait, that bounced off him. There we go. Also, Frank West is kind of a monster for putting fireworks in people and just letting them die. I mean, good for me, bad for them. 
Although, hold on, before the firefight, I'd rather not die. No, not the hunk of meat. Whoa, um, whoa, give me... I really don't... Oh, oh, oh there we go. Can we call a Just a one. It's just a bit hostile? I told you exactly how to avoid it. It's very easy, but I guess you can't manage that. I'll wait to be insulted, and then you'll, I don't know, go and run and tell someone that you have to end here. Am I gonna die? I might, actually. Nah, I should be fine. Uh, luckily, the level of system is pretty fucking good. Also, I should be able to jump pretty well. Let's actually upgrade once again, because I am getting really greedy. Uh, cool. Dead. Alright, we did it. See, nice and easy. Bad, I just killed everyone who knows the entry. Oh, I called. There we go. You only a bit threatened here? I'm pretty sure you know what you're doing. It Don't ban me on another Kai Pasta. I'm gonna let you have their fun for right now. That was a racist. What was exactly? Alright, now you're kinda getting into banned territory. Yeah, well, you're getting weird, dude. What the shit happened here? Chat, what do you wanna guess on the account ages? You are hearing waiting? Feel free to go for it at this point. They're not providing anything of value. They're just being kind of annoying. Nothing of value was lost. He says all these people were lined up for the big Black so. Friday sale. Yeah, so yeah. For. Again, they, they were kind of just, no uh, the moment they popped in, I had a feeling it was going to be that way. Which, uh, pretty accurate, I'd say. Pretty dead on accurate. Able creation? Not a big surprise, huh? Definitely not a large surprise on that one. Can I May 1st? Yeah. We're boring troll. Chad, yeah, don't feed into it, by the way, very often. I was like, you know Darcy just fucking spawned immediately. There he is. Look at this. I hear Chad trolls make it obvious in the beginning. I don't only really bite the bait. I usually have a smart ass who's kind of a dick. What are you doing? Get out of here. That's out. There's plenty to go around. Hey, buddy. My scene. Beat it. Yeah. Oh. I like how uh, even the Santa costume seems to be overweight for poor Frank here. Hey man, name's Darcy. We should totally work together. So, you know, usually it's kind of a wait and see how it goes. Once you have the moment there, like, yeah. I mean, editor. You send something. Don't take it seriously. They're they're not going to. She's been investigating these. Also, chat. What about selfie mode? Obscurus. That's See, Frank West can make yeah. funny faces. Is an Isn't that what it's all know, about? Also, I'm losing time because I watched the cutscene. Remember that. To meet your girlfriend. Where is she? Uh, I, I think she's at City Hall. In they Old followed Town. me on May 1st. Yeah, I, go oh, there they go. Shit. I can't wait to Remember, Chad, we have a hostile community of bad people and I'm ruining GDQ. That is what I've learned Damn. over time, right? <laughs> yeah, hmm. it's, it's gonna be great. You need a big-ass dust size mouse pad. Any recommendations? I actually wish I knew how to set those up better. I got one from GDQ. And it's actually kind of cool. And I like it. But I haven't good use for it. Not yet. What's in? They'll still troll? Of course they do. I want that. That's like exactly what they do, in fact. Find a big booba mouse. No, do not get giant booba mouse pad. Those don't tend to be huge. I think they're talking about ones that like spread across the entire desk. Uh, stream going? Good. Good stream. Uh, a couple weirdos today, but nothing uh, nothing can't handle. Nothing bad. Yes, though I also That's just how these things go. Yeah, I'm power, as in the undead nah, but I, I'm used to it. Like, honestly, you can tell pretty quickly who's going to last and who's not going to last. So, uh, I hear you have something Mr. Weirdos, nothing of value is lost. And if you really think so, Edward, if you really think so, keep in mind my nose is going to bleed. Where so I get the golden Holland from? Uh, one of the shops. Like a million zombies out there, and I'm gonna drive I'm gonna die. Help me out for a second. Uh, with what? We're gonna get creative. Grab that blueprint, will ya? How did I get a hit streak? Right. I didn't hit anything. Let's put this baby together. Chat, look, Frank West can make a fucking warmonger, which is a uh, wow. a mounted minigun go kart kind of thing. Best. Well, I think he took shop class to meet girls. I can't right, believe here. it. You give it a try. Uh, thanks. So. What ifs? I'll open the gate for you. See, isn't it just Man, great? He's the perfect engineer. Why? Because he wanted to meet the ladies. I mean, I get it. Meeting ladies is a pretty good thing.
Anyway, chat, now we know the lesson of, uh, what, today? Took five shock class, barely change a tire. Well, you know what they say. Sometimes, it's doopy like that. Alright, good shit. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, it's kind of focused on Dead Rising 4 and the person who's typing, like so I have no idea what the fuck they're actually on about. I just understand they're being kind of weird. Morning, Blue Blazer. Yeah, I mean, we're only going for like seven hours, and we got maybe uh, two more hours. Frank, they should be good. Well, there's nothing in weirdness, and like, again, as long as people aren't annoying, I tend to be fine. Wait a minute. You're Paula? You sound totally different on the radio. Poor Paula. Oh, yeah, that's my character. Character? Yeah, I realize no one listens exactly. to me Exactly. Like, he went through the, the whole time. gamut of also, being annoying. Kind of fun. Uh, and then he's gonna so insult me, I'll read listen. on banner quests, and yada, yada, yada. And see what Obscurus was doing here. All right. right. Hey, thanks for the follow. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Flip car, car on a roof. Do you know what these are? There we go. Got it. Well, oh god. I mean, honestly, chat. Yeah, we're still talking about that, dude. I mean, chat has fun with it. Again, chat likes blood. Keep that in mind. It's not we're talking about it. Chat likes blood. Chat kind of relishes in this very thing. Sounds good. Just so you know. All 512. My podcast subscribers are going to be pretty excited about us working together. Chat, yeah. I can't believe well, it. We have more I, podcast well, subscribers than Paula yeah. does. Poor Paula. You know, I'm just going to say right now, though, 512 ain't a bad number of subs. Just saying. Like, that's respectable. I like to make it sound small because Frank West is a big journalist, but, like, you know, it ain't bad. The Bloodstain? What about Bloodstain? All right. Big journal. Exactly. Well, this is Dodd's drugs. The outpost must be on the second floor. Now I just gotta get up there. There we go. Cool. What's the story? Oh, uh, I banned some guy. I actually, I didn't even ban him. I asked some guy, don't use the word AIDS to describe things as being bad. Because I don't really like it. I, I'm trying to move away from that as well myself. Because, you know, a lot of people did that back in the day, and it's not really nice, believe it or not. Uh, there's better ways of using things, uh, for word descriptions. So I said, hey, can you not do that? And then the guy, uh, had like a fucking heart attack over me asking him not to do that. And he typed that whole thing right there. I get a lot of fun comments on stream. That's also why it's like, oh, you're still focusing on that? No, chat has fun with it. Holy shit. No, no he got banned from Maxi's chat. It Ma oh, it was, it was Maxi's. Mr. Maxi Lobes. Yep. Yep. All right, cool. Large game tranquilizers. Some of these are empty. Oh yeah, I mean, it just uh, I like I don't like being lazy, man. Sometimes it's not anything that deep. I just you know it's like it's easier to just not be totally lazy. <laughs> Quite make oh, it's cool, right? Purple? Whatever. All right, give me a little bit, though. I think it's hunting them back. Hey, wow, I got that fucking immediately. Never mind. I was not say, uh, let me give me a little bit longer, say? but... Cool. All right, got it. Also, chat, I'm gonna willingly eat time loss. Why? There's something very important I must do. Not that, but you'll see. Or something. Eh, it happens all the time. People flock in different channels and they just fuck around. That's why. Right. Make fun of them, ignore the plebs, move on. That is the move, Chad. Like, I kind of, like... I stopped doing, like, these whole gotchas because they're not really going to listen. Also, hey, look. Sexy Morgan cosplay. I told you. Would you rock it if you could, chat? If I get around. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. There actually is a Morgan cosplay. <laughs> And it's fun to wear. It's actually a really cool costume. I'm 
sincere if you can rock it totally. I don't think I could rock the Morgan cosplay. There's no obscures here. They must have been chased off. Where? So. You're drunk enough you would? Well there you go. Powerful. Pretty much Mega Butterflies. I'll ask very simple things and then people don't get the vibe and then they want to just fuck around. Again, you learned quickly. Uh, let's see what's in the crate. Yeah. You learned very, very quickly. Anyway, uh, before I do anything else, uh, I'm going to upgrade survival. Uh, no, uh, brawling, bladed weapons, and uh, elemental. Cool. So here's where the game gets busted. Uh, the ice sword. This is the only combo weapon you need. Oh no, he's beating the shit out of me. I can't believe it. Oh, of course, Manicor. I see who got banned. Remember, nothing of value is lost. That happens quite often. Alright, got him. Ice Sword. Do weapons have durability? Yes, but there's so much liquid nitrogen and bladed weapons laying all around that you'll always find them. Alright, this was supposed to be a fallback point for Obscure, so who brought all the zombies? What? Yeah, for a third? I'm not trying to go for more bands. In fact, I'd prefer not to have more bands. It's just, you know, things happen. What could we say? Boom! Says over a hundred soldiers have died. Dragon right, shits. His face skin off and hung him here. Four outposts, City Hall. They didn't have 3.5 games. Combo up and start in Dead Rising 2. Which is why I often mention that Dead Rising 2 is kind of the death of the series. So. But yes, that's the that's where that goes. And I mentioned kind of my piece on it as well. People will come by, they'll try to get banned. It's nothing of any kind of value. A lot of the shit really doesn't affect me. It's like going through the motions. It's like I don't know having having an old man try to whip out his junk at Denny's. You kind of just get used to it, I guess. It just sort of eases. Well, that Rising 1's definitely the best one by far, yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's like a... It's like a, uh, a celebrity whipping his dick out in a movie theater. Sorry, I got you. I got you. <laughs> You're just kind of aware it might happen in some movie theaters. Very public ones. There we go. Out of the way, you. Good job, Frank. Yeah, it's your team. The word of the day is warriors. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, time for a boss fight, I think. It's weird. It is, but it isn't. Hey now, come on. Let's just sit down Slap. and talk about this, all right? Anyway, Frank West is gonna murder a man, and after murdering a man, chat, what's he gonna do? Selfie time! I'm just saying, like, this game has its flaws, and some of this shit's pretty fucking funny. Get a scoop on me by cozying up with the creeps. Frank, over here. Those bastards took Darcy. You see which way they went? Westridge, I think. Okay. You're going after them, right? You'll save Darcy? Uh, probably, but not on purpose. Where are you going? Oh, God damn it. Uh, probably, but not on purpose. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'll see if I can figure out where they were uh, I have no idea you don't like. You know, but, uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you're good. You have no problem, Dusty Bots. Hey, lots of great food at GDQ. Alright, my proudest moment of GDQ was after the Elisa run, I was really hungry for burgers. So I am really tired as hell. I walked over to Burger King and I bought like three cheeseburgers and a couple burritos and I ate all of it in the lobby. I felt like shit and then I went to bed. Hey Brad. Truly I, I know, peak peak fucking man right there, right? Absolutely the good shit. I I understand how you feel about that shit. Don't, you know, don't don't all rush me at once here. Hello, Paula. 
They have burritos in Burger King? Really? Yeah, the Mexican guys working at Burger King hooked it up. Talk later. They're speaking in Spanish, and they told me, wait five minutes, and then they got me the fucking burgers. I was in Rodrigo, I'm doing good. Whee. Anyway, time for the uh, first major boss fight of optional boss fights. Here's Santa Claus, also known as Sadistic Claus, because he's sadistic. Do you get it? American experience. I was Jersey Mike's good, but I have Jersey Mike's a lot. Imagine just trying to be a simple elf. I think I'm gonna go for the bow knife. There we go. The moral of the story, don't be an elf. I, I don't fucking know, actually. We just kind of murder them. <laughs> like, see, this is what I mentioned. It's just such a strong weapon. You do nothing else. Here's the gift sub. Yeah! Uh, I said if we hit a certain amount of gifted subs, or su our subs in general, uh, I would do mini golf. And Twitch chat likes mini golf. They're big fans of the thing. You know, I actually wanted to go to the Mall of America and play mini golf, and I ended up going. And then once you're in there, I learned apparently Fourth of July weekend's really fucking busy at Mall of America. And holy fuck, I wanted to leave the moment I got there. It was so fucking crowded. Don't kill me, Santa. Not allowed. All right, chat. Santa's dead. You know what? I'm gonna take his sack. Mine now. I have stolen the man's sack. We call that a vasectomy. Yeah, I don't think I'll include that one in my next book. So I have 19, yes, 19 left. The ones here are good? They are. Imagine getting asked, but they can't all be winners, Aerolith. They can't all be winners. I had some balls? What, you mean for killing Santa? Apparently. Be gentle with that sack. We're gonna give it the... I don't have a fun, festive way of saying cock and ball torture. The jingle and, I don't know, something festive torture. I was going to love Angel, be doing good. How are you doing, Mrs. Fiendish? Ornament and candy cane torture. That's a good one. What's the story? Hey, the old chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Eye. Obscurus has them pinned down. No shots fired yet, but that won't last. I don't get it. Why are you guys poking that particular badger? There you go. Selfie mode is very important to the stream. Tom wants to send a message. One of those sparkly little balls, ornaments. Look, Hammond's capable, but she also, I'm glad people enjoyed me reading of Unban Request on Twitter. I wonder if my TikTok did. You know what? I'm going to check right now. I wonder if it did good. Let's see. Ah, oh, shit. Game time. Tom can keep his pokers to himself, thanks. I'll tell you in a moment, Chad. I will look. I will see how my TikTok did. It is do it did uh I think mid. It got four hundred views. Yay, it was mid. You know, I've never heard of this radio station and holy fuck that's awful. <laughs> Right, I can't believe it. I can't look at my dank TikTok stat of me reading on a band request on stream. I mean, I tried. Okay, look, I'm dealing with something else right now. Okay. Love the happy Frank face. I mean, it's a fun face. Sounds like someone fired the first shot. Ooh, it's sleepy, chat. All right. Anyway, uh, murder time. Hold on. The cool thing about this game, if you ever run low on health, just, uh... There you go. All you gotta do. Good.
Hey, buddy. Fuck it. Come here. Dead. Got him. Alrighty, flash grenade and some machine gun. Cool. No, we're not gonna sack him yet. Soon. I can't hit the men with my sack yet. It's supposed to be the other way around, right? I'm Bumble and during speed on TikTok. Well, I don't. I'm not on Bumble. The Bumble thing I mentioned is that Bumble paid me money because apparently I'm terrible at dating. According to Bumble, which, uh, it could be accurate. Oh, hold on. And the iris stole it, correct. One... Two. Good. Cool. All right, more liquid nitrogen. Good. I'm actually pretty good at headshots in this game. Awesome, Chad. I don't know about that one. I'm just saying, like, I appreciate the compliment, but I did indeed get paid by Bumble because I was apparently discriminated against. So keep that in mind, chat. I was paid by a dating app for uh, being bad at dating. <laughs> But I do appreciate the vote of confidence. It is something to appreciate. What is there? Honestly, I think Dead Rising 3 can be really good for RPG Line Break. Like, I might start submitting Dead Rising 3. Oh, thank God. Whew. Need Dead Rising 5? I mean, if we get it, we get it, but we'll see. Ah, yes, it was all Bumble's fault, it's not mine. Yeah, I think 3 would be the best one. Like, 4 is technically decent, but, like, you really don't even notice half the time about the fucking, uh... You know... The elements. Hey Frank, you still breathing? Yeah, I got tied up no way? What, You're for Dead Rising 3 or being an RPG? Oh, absolutely. Or do you mean for Bumble and the IRS taking my money? Yeah, that happened. Hammond. She's helping me get into the dam or... Like, Dead Rising 3, you really use the RPG system. In this game, it's just like... Oh, yeah, I'm low on health? Okay, here we go. See what turns up. That'd be a real help, Brad. Thank you. Me, okay. They bribed me for it. They didn't bribe me. I guess they did actually. Frank, I just got some analysis back in the reading. Also, here's a fun strategy. Uh, you can run over someone, and it counts as saving them. See? I saved Angie by running her over. It's my favorite fucking glitch in this game. It's so goddamn stupid. Saved? Yeah. Survivor was saved, like I said. Beautiful game, right? I saved them, chat. Because you moved them away from all the zombies, so the game doesn't count it as they're being surrounded by zombies. I'm not kidding, that is an actual feature of this right. fucking game. Let's see what damning evidence you're hiding. <laughs> there we go. I'm kind of worried that I may not have killed that one, but I'll be okay. Um, good. Oh, come on. Good. Um, I think I did. Nope. Wow, still alive. Oh, of course you are. Well, now you're dead. Um... There we go. All right, now you wait. All right, okay, hold on. Do I have any more all the connection? There we go. Hey, at some point we're gonna continue blood bin. At Who's some point. I um, I can't see you. Hey, hey, there's a light in the corner. Soon. I mean, I said when people stop doing Elden Ring, I'm down to oh do blood God. bin. Frank. Hey, Darcy. And uh, that has started happening. I am a man of my word. Huh? You came to rescue me? Well, that well, what word? Really what me playing Bloodborne? I already said I plan on going back at some point. I didn't the OG voice actor come back for this game. They didn't want to pay union fees because uh, TJ Rotolo is a part of a union, and Capcom Vancouver didn't want to pay money. So that's why. Highly funded military contractor, while you, well. 
You write for your girlfriend's blog. <laughs> There's got to be something useful in here. I think it's a briefing room. Hey, come on. Untie Poor me. Darcy. No, no, no. You just regain your strength. I got this. Darcy will be okay, I suppose. All right, one. Where you get colder? What is two? It says they've been hunting it since since before the outbreak occurred. Three. This is a request. Yeah. Hey, we'll see. Will you will I see. Heavy combat. This monster's too fast, too strong for regular. All right. Uh, I need to get another knife. So they lured it here. Catch it. I can show you where. And I can whip out the. Oh, I don't need to whip out a knife entirely. I just need to be careful with the sack. The sack's a fun weapon. I don't really use it, but it's fun. Hey, take it easy, street bad guy. Hey, 19 more subs, and we'll do mini golf. So you might come back in time for mini golf potentially. We will see. We will see. I'll be the world's sleepiest round in mini golf because I am a bit of a sleepy lad sometimes. Shit. Kill. Very good. I didn't quite have to. I wanted to. Anyway, the weirdest part about Dead Rising 4 is the insistence on mech suits. Like, not a lot of people know about it, but this game really, like, went down the rabbit hole of wanting to have everyone, like, wear a mech suit, and you'll, you'll see. Oh, of course, we'll, we'll protect the sack. It's Frank's now. It's no longer Santa's. Now it's ours. We can't let the sack go to waste. It's his sack. Hold on. Okay. Um. Good. Good. Okay, I need an axe, by the way. I want to say it is a minigun. I'll take that, though. Okay, now because of the fun. Headshot, please. Oh, God damn it. Good. Not dead yet. Good. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, there's an axe over here, right? Boxing gloves, I'll take those. All right, fight time. It's such a weird game, isn't it? I mean, we're about to spine. There we go. Alright, he's on damage. Oh, I missed a comment. That's fine. Oh, what is it? I'm missing comments. Oh, they talk about Bloodborne spoilers. Be careful. I still need to be Bloodborne, by the way, chat. I didn't read them, but. Excitement's fine, just be careful. I'm assuming that's what it probably was. I don't imagine you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, you're all good. I was like, wait, these people aren't, like, bad. These people don't do mistakes. Like, it's a spoiler, isn't it? Yeah, you're not in trouble at all. Just be careful. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I didn't read it. You're good. Like, that's kind of one of those things, like, wait, why are people getting timed out? <laughs> uh, again, it's pretty keen. Yeah, no worries. I, di I, didn't read the I didn't read the messages. So you're all good. Is where the game is too far fetched? You mean the part of the overweight reporter is able to build a fucking death car is fine, but the part where he gets into a mech suit's kind of weird? I mean, I agree with you, but still. Alright, come on, almost. This game's weird. Yeah, it's a really strange game, and I really don't know what they're trying to exactly do. I think that's a really good way of putting it to this game. Yeah, mods are good. Mods are always good here. Hey, chat, look, selfie mode.
You know, maybe. Maybe Dr. Fox. It's not like the game was made a year, right? I can't believe it. It's not like the game was made a year or anything, right? Stash? What? For anchor mines? I shaved my stash. My stash is gone. No mustache anymore. I'm no longer a mustached man. I'm... Regular man. Honestly, I like being un... No mustache. You know, he just might have dragon scale. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like he it was bound to happen to him eventually. You know why? He had like two ponytails and it's silly. Hey, burgers. Hey, burgers are good. Not gonna lie to you. I do enjoy burgers. Oh, you're all good. I I didn't really read it there. You're all good. I haven't seen it. Oh God. There we go. I definitely know the feeling. And I'm glad Chad enjoyed Don't that. He deserved it. Convoy. Exactly. He had two ponytails. I don't know. Maybe Tom's been? Pretty for a bunch of That's forwards. the rule, right? Also, Chad, I'm forklift certified. No mustache? I, I'm cool being a baby face. Like, just look at me. Paler than the Michelin man, my guy, right? Yeah, I get a lot of fun comments, don't I? Give me the follow, by the way. Glad you enjoyed the stream so far. You see, I always like when people follow and have a good time, and then it, like, immediately, and, like, changes the opinion of, like, some other guy coming in, like, oh, God, it's, you know, such a hostile community of people. And I was like, no, it's not. It's easy to fit in. That's a very good team, Rock and Stash. Oh, you're looking, you're rocking, like, the Reno 911. I know that, I know that style. It only works if you wear the tiniest shorts, though. Are you wearing the tiniest shorts? Hold on. Yeah! It's a new Osh's boots. I can't sleep, shit. Huh. I'm all out of water and caffeine. There's something not right, though. I'm gonna investigate. Don't get eaten, Frank. Good advice. Thank you for that. Hey. Oh, yeah. Now, gotcha. I was in rants. Yep. Well, that's because you're pleasant people who you don't really, you know, do anything dumb. So you're good. Who wears short shorts? You know, I think you can convince Frank to wear short all right, shorts. All right, I'll think about it. Anyway, let's fight the boss first. Do many dumb things? Yeah, you're good. You have no issues. As far as I'm aware, Ranch, you're perfectly fine. Yeah, yes. Of course, yes. 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 That's the correct phrase. Yes. Well, hopefully not yet. Hopefully you will be, uh, a-okay. Hey, they even follow. Rain is the cake. I mean, Frank's rocking the Morgan cosplay. Again, I'm just saying, Morgan cosplayers are pretty based, yo. Something here. You know, I'm wondering... God, I kind of wish I took a break after Dead Rising 3. If only so I can, uh. What's the word? Oh, let's go through. If only I get more water. I'm thirsty. All right. Also, here's a weird boss fight. There's a bunch of survivors in here, right? Uh, all you have to do is run to the back, and the boss, like, for some reason, doesn't do anything, which is my favorite one. See, there's the boss, but like, they don't do anything. This boss fight's really easy. See? And it's kind of weird because, like, even if you want to bitch about this game, like. It's less of a problem with the game and like, there's so many weird design flaws. Like, I really don't mind the idea that maybe this boss isn't the best tuned. Like, it's just really weird that we just destroyed the boss that easily. Like, it's a boss and it didn't do anything. No, uh, Crafton, this is, uh, Morgan from, uh, Darkstalkers. Uh, 
It is certainly a mood in an outfit. Also, I'm about to die, so let's heal. Take a good look around. There we go. Alright, another ice sword. Like I said, all ice swords. Alright, eat sack. Come here. I need sack. Hey, I've survived three outbreaks and still have never lost. However, I thought of the Wii Port in Rising. I played it casually, but I don't quite want to run it. Just cause. Wii games are kind of in a weird area. Good work anyway. <sighs> it is. I mainly know her from Marvel. Marvel vs. Capcom. Marvel, baby. God, I need to take my flannel. It's getting warm in my room. It's making me a bit sleepy. But I don't have a point where I can just kind of stop yet. I have water left. I hope I do. I think I do. I'm almost to a part where I know I can take a break. I know it's coming up. Oh, I can actually get... Hold on. I know where I can get, I know where I can get water. I'll be good. If I ran out, I know, where I, can, I know when I can get more. Okay, let's see... Uh, I think it actually might. There's like a lot of like Capcom heroes in this game. There we go. Oof, see I did it. Took me a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I got off the flannel because it's getting fucking hot. Oh no, I got ground and pounded. Oh no. Poor Frank. Give me back my sack. Thank you. We did it. See, Bustu Alpha, you lean towards life. Well, there you go. Okay. Got it off. Oh my god. I feel so much cooler now because it took off a fucking flannel. And it just, it's nicer. It's a lot nicer now. Like, oh lord. Oh lord. Up next is drinking water. I like how far back the car moved. I do have water, okay. No, actually, we didn't dragon scale. I'm glad you noticed. Howdy, mini. What do you mean, mini? Also, we don't look anything alike. He has like blonde hair. Uh, what else is there? I'm Mexican. I do every horror game ever made. Interesting. Okay. Only thing we have in common is Silent Hill, and that's about it, really. So, maybe not. Interesting. Oh, Interesting. But howdy. So, who took out the convoy? I have absolutely no idea. I saw the purple. Oh no! Strong. Normally I'm blue, Aspects, but chat decides the lights and they wanted purple. Yeah, I'm, I'm all blue. That's my aesthetic. But I let Twitch chat have their fun. Gotta go. Bonk. See? That's the sound of a good sack attack, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no worries. I'll be doing good today. Yeah, I got the uh, the blue thing going on. Oh, like I said, I'm younger. That's the... On that end, but... Nah, I do pretty all my own on, like, you know. I'm just a dices. Mr. Ekidi. Ekudi. Exactly. Good sack attack. Sounds like boing. See? Yeah, not really my uh not really my aesthetic. 
See, there it is. I think I'm much more... It's weird, they don't smoke, but I think my vibe's more of the quiet stoner. I'm not really the, uh, the loud host. I'm more of the... Also, I'm gonna eat all these bananas. They're all mine now. I'm taking all the bananas. They're all mine. Oh, purple's not bad. It's just, you know... It was requested by chat. I don't rock a bow tie. I can't rock a bow tie. Do I look like I want to wear a tie? Dude, if I'm going out, I'm rocking my grungy flannel filled with fucking natter days. I'm the anti-stoner stoner club. Uh, ah, gotcha, comrade. Yeah, right now the lights behind me are a purple shade because it was redeemed. Uh, actually, wait, you're right. I can actually change it back to blue. Good call. Hold on. Back to blue. Is there even 30 fucking minutes? Hey. Oh, God, I'll get it later. I'm at a point where I can't really, uh, we're moving. I think it's long hair. I suppose. I mean, there's also horror games. Like, you know, all of really just Silent Hill, I suppose. Uh... Go back to blue! You see, it was so easy to go to purple, but going to blue... Hey, got it! Good super weird zombie. Night shift? Something like that. Nice super weird Eat sack, dick! See? I'm gonna feed this man my sack, and I've done it. The guy's the problem. What is in his pockets? I'm glad chat's enjoying that meme. You thank Abu for that. Alright, hold on. Get it? Worst threesome ever, because Frank West is having sex with the zombies. And earlier, he had regular women. So, this is much more of a downgrade than the usual, as you can imagine. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I hope you're doing good out of the way. That's the important part. Alright, all the grenades. This is good. There we go. I beat my sack into them, and now we're good. Alright, good shit. Purple's less okay as my match for blue. I fucking love blue. Like, blue is the aesthetic of the stream. Like, that is the mood right there. The blue. If I was green, I might die. Is, this gonna be an on the is there a knife I can borrow? No, it's all sandwiches. Oh, this is fun. Alright. They have not sacked. Oh, I drink water right now. What am I doing? Mm. Doctor? Doctor Blackburn. Mm. Hmm. That's a All pieces based on shades of blue? That they do. That they do. Now, I think all the streamers always get their own colors, and mine definitely became blue. I'm trying to think if there's any other streamers who really vibe with blue as a color. Like, I think for the horror community, it's really just me. Like, there's probably others, but, like, I definitely think I got the blue aesthetic. I don't know which one that is, so maybe not. Yep, blue's a nice color. Which is funny, because when I was a kid, I was like green, but now I'm really into blue, and I make fun of green, because I think it's funny. Anyway, time for the next boss fight. Uh, it's Captain Black Friday Beard. Name yeah, of the follow, by the way. Kill! Anyway, the fight's easy, because I just hit him with a fucking acid hammer, and he dies. Who would have guessed being covered in acid would kill a man? Couldn't it have been me. I can't believe it, Chet. I never would have guessed. Red means scary? Red does mean scary. That is, uh, actually correct, yeah. 
Uh, can I go jump down here? No, not there. Uh, all the way around. There we go. All right, cool. Meowskis. Real acid? I mean, some hammer made of acid. Uh, if you had mine, you... Wait. Wait, what does that mean? Maybe. Ah, I mean, you're not entirely wrong. There we go. Okay, I got the supplies. Cool. Alright, time to chug food. Good. Alright, back to business, chat. Back to business. I like how I golded somehow. Yep. I'm glad you enjoy them, Pluto. I'm glad that you enjoy them. I like to have a chill vibe. It's nice. Like most of my cases, I like playing video games online. That is a big jam. It's fun. Like, I'm a gaming streamer. I want to play games. I've always heard the joke that a lot of gamers, a lot of streamers who do gaming, want to move away from gaming. Like, their ultimate goal is to become a just chatting streamer. Which, it's accurate. I, I've, I've seen a lot of streamers, uh, you know, just chatting. Or hitting variety to where they can do whatever games they want instead of having to do their bread and butter. Which... I think it's an ideal thing, but I do so many fucking games, I really do enjoy what I do. So it's never really a huge issue for me. And usually I have enough, like, bonus games too throughout the year, so it's nice. Golded- ah oh, yes, the power of the sack helped me gold that split, you're right. Because I, I, I yoinked Santa's sack, I was able to gold that. Nah, I mean, I don't know, for horror games, yeah, but like, for all? Nah, there's a lot of runners who do a lot of games. Uh, but for horror games, absolutely. Like, I have more horror games than ever. Like, nobody beats me in horror. I just do so fucking many. Why? I like variety. I've always done it this way, and it's managed to, uh, stick for a while. So. Well, I definitely say that there's people who run a lot of games. Not a lot of horror games in particular. Holy crap. You know? Ooh, cars about break, by the way. Well, let's, uh, let's not totally break this car yet. It has to be this way, for which part? For me running a bunch of horror games? I mean, I, I know my aesthetic. I know what I got. I think being able to play the hand you're dealt is very important. I'm surprised I don't have any grenades left. I thought I'd pick some up. Oh, no, I did. Oh, there. Come on, come here, thank cool. you. Dude, my fucking marks and little shit. Hold on. Alright, good. Let's also do this. Good. That guy's alive, right? No, I actually killed him. Okay. Wait, no, he's not. Alright, good. I think that's almost... Oh, you're left. Um, cool. Good shit. Bi ah, yes. The violence. Are you doing Metal Gear Rising? Standing here. Well, what did you realize while standing here, Chad? That's the real question. Could it be that you were just like me? What do you want to tell me? Our research at Obscurus, it's all based on a project that was abandoned 15 years ago. 15 years? That's back to the original... I know jack shit about Metal Gear Solid, except standing here I realized you were just like me. That is all of my knowledge of that fucking franchise now. been looking for this secret laboratory. Obsessively. It has the potential to change. Trying to make history exactly. Wow. Shit. Good lord, I am Look, I'm getting tired. 
Which I guess is good. Not bad. Oh my god, dude, it's Barnaby's cat Flamel. That's Dr. Barnaby. He basically Don't you remember Barnaby's zombie. cat from Dead Rising 1? He was my favorite part. He was the most important character. And both were abandoned on his death in 2006. You know where the lab is, don't you? We were colleagues for years. I swear on the soul of my SLR, if you tell me where the lab is... Also, I guess that's all is a camera. Help. I'll do this. We got a raid from H-Ray. Hey, wait a minute. We're just talking about Metal Gear Solid. How was the stream? I'm pretty sure I have a mod to give you a shout-out. Chad, you do not know. H-Ray kicks ass. She's great people. She has a lot of badass cosplays. Has a fun TikTok. Hello. Hope you're having a good time. Are you doing more Metal Gear? I hope it went well. It's been fun watching you play that, because I don't I don't know anything outside of the memes of Metal Gear. Anyway, we're on the worst Dead Rising game, because it's cursed. So you're doing good. How's it going, Blue Kiwi? Welcome on in. And welcome a Trey Raiders. I don't know if I have a mod. I might have one. I might be modless. Really die pushing through 80 boss. Wait, wait, 80 boss fights? Wait, there's 80 fucking boss fights in that game. Are you doing the whole franchise, by the way? I was doing Cilantro Disser. Wait, you don't like Cilantro? No. Why? Also, you're gonna love Frank's beautiful outfit. There's a lot of boss fights. Oh, we had fun. That sounds like you beat the first game. Yeah, finish, finish mode one. Or solid one. I know you're gonna love three. You will love three. I was in Craxel. Yes, Chuck, if you do not know a tree, you absolutely should. Also, wait, no, I don't like it. You know what? Just so I can do it, because honestly, it's fucking Dead Rising 4. There you go. Check her out, she's great people. Oh yeah, are you going to TwitchCon? Ah, uh, there we go, going here, cool. Make sure we're all good. Good job, Dead Rising 4, I love you, but yeah. Yeah, I'm currently doing all the Dead Rising games, because I haven't done these in a while, and I thought it would be fun. So they're good times. Wait, isn't Raft that game where you're <laughs> on a raft? <laughs> so. Out of the way, thank you again for the raid. And if anyone does lurk, you're more than welcome to lurk. We do a lot of that here. It's late night vibes. I just do a bunch of horror shit. Oh, TwitchCon, no hotel look yet? Likewise. Oh, man. Well, if you, you catch me there, definitely say hello. Oh, so look, we're running in the dark, and the game wants me to use, like, the night vision, but wow, I can actually see pretty well. Guess I'll just wait for my eyes to adjust. Because it's always just right it. here. Promise see? Nice and easy. <sighs> hey, I'm going to show you how cool Dead Rising 4 is. So, I bet you're wondering, how is a... How does a game of this kind of caliber play out? Let me show you one of my favorite missions coming up. This is going to be a great introduction to uh, hey Brad, the game. Obscurus was already here, one one moment. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I would say definitely... Uh, All right. What's the word? Definitely hit me up to hang out, but I fucking know TwitchCon. This that shit's well, busy as hell. That's why if you see uh, me, definitely feel free to say hello. <laughs> I guess Barnaby really Cause I abso fucking lootly know. Where's my sword? I had an eye sword. Where did it go? I know how busy that event can be. Uh, TwitchCon. I guess I don't have it. Okay, fuck it. Uh, do I really lose my sword? Alright, that's fine. So Dead Rising 4 is kind of weird because this one's considered to be the bad one. Uh, Dead Rising 1, 2, and some of the other ones are better. Have a good night. Sleep well and get some sweet dreams. It's like what? It's fucking 5 a.m. Wait a minute. Oh, there's my sword. I found it. Like, I think. I don't know how late you normally stay up, but yeah, it's like 5 a.m. So. Yeah, if you any questions, let me know at Dead Rising. Oh, right. So all I need to do is penetrate a fortress filled with trained assassins and steal their shit. Great. Well, hold on. There's another door. There we go. I won. F -L -A -M. By the way, that's a number pad, Bart. and he spelled flamel, Huge which is a, a word. Alright, chat, let me show you the dank gameplay of Dead Rising 4. So, this is going to be really riveting gameplay. It, it defines what the game's all about. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna murder these two zombies. Uh, I do need to kill these two. It's very important. Okay, so these two are dead. Uh, I will then be uh, getting a bottle of water. And, uh, okay. Um, I'll be back in like two minutes. Don't you love it? Great fucking game. <laughs> I made it. Of course, I made it. I know the time with this. I got. I got bread. Come on, open up, open up. Come on. But yeah, um, that's pretty much what this game is like. This isn't the good Dead Rising, and I feel bad because, like, hey, Dead Rising speedrun. This is the worst one. Uh, all the good ones are earlier. <laughs> Name of the follow. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Hmm. Name of the follow. Yeah, there's a fuck to them, aren't there? And then once you're you're done, you just there. See, that's an easy. Great speedrun tech, right? I wait for like two minutes. Truly riveting gameplay. It's just like Saw. It's somehow better because. Like with Saw, you know you don't you know you have to like just wait. With this game, like you wouldn't expect it. Oh dude, that bread hit the spot by the way. I feel more awake now. I was a little bit sleepy because my hours have been kind of fucked lately. Uh I've been getting um I've been waking up a lot earlier, which is good. I like waking up early, but like I've definitely been waking up at different times. Come off the radar. Talk later. Wait, wait, which which house? Damn it. So I'll be knocking on some doors. Now, chat, are you ready to fight the Grim Gobbler? I'm just saying, when I hear the Grim Gobbler, I don't think about turkeys. I'm thinking about, uh, something a little bit more sussy, I suppose. Is that an eyeball on my windshield? Frank, I've heard rumors of survivors at the local school banding together in some kind of secret society. Well, what the shit? Hey, you got a great the Grim Gobbler. You used to go to shows just like this. Or they also named the Grim Gobbler, Jack. The Grim Gobbler. It's just a fucking turkey. Am I just dead? Did he really just RKO me? 
Because I'm not going to lie to you. I think he fucking did. Okay. Uh, fortitude. Give me more health. And uh, how about you buff my shooting a little bit? Uh, hold on. How many skill points? Seven? Uh... Uh, all I need. Um, okay. Alright, he's dead. Oh no, I murdered the football players. Anyway, the Grim Gobbler is dead. Dang, got gobbled? I don't want to be gobbled. You're a mind goblin? What's a mind goblin? Anyway, we killed him. I mean, quite frankly, I think he deserved it. He was in a turkey costume. I know about D. I know. I just, I thought I'd set chat up. Believe me, I know. I know. I like to let chat have their fun. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at this driving. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hammond's gotta be in one of these houses. It was a pity mine. Oh my god, Frank! There we go, thank god. By the way, the answer is always the same. It's this one. Good job, Frank. See, he's not as good of a test dummy as Nick. Like, Nick fucking launches and has the fun scream. Frank just. Slight launch. Hmm. So what's first? There's civilians at Tom's farm. We need to get them somewhere safe. I'll take care of it. You just get me into that base. We're on it. Hmm. All due respect, boss, but mounting a siege isn't exactly our style. We'll get slaughtered. Okay. Think positive, hmm. Tommy. I'm positive hmm. we'll get slaughtered. Leave the base to me and Jordan. You three? Oh, of course. Stone siege sold back with a snake. Got you. Hmm. You know, Fred was the right move, chap. Frank's used to being ejected. You know, he might just be, actually. Oh, wait, we're going this way. Hey, thank you for the follow. I'm glad I'm enjoying the stream. Also, I'm not going to lie to you. I like Christmas music. Call me a fucking fool. I enjoy it. But I guess it's because I never worked Christmas retail, so I don't have the the feverous hate for Christmas. You know what I hate instead? Printers. Fucking hate printers, man. I feel like with anything you work with, shit sucks. You like Last Christmas? That's not a bad song. Is it Pickle Fork Where? There we go. Oh yeah, I mean, I think if you work Christmas, I totally get it. But, like, I never had to work a job where I... Wait for the crosswalk, jackass! No, some people have to work jobs that, like, you know, they listen to fucking... Simply having a wonderful Christmas time, like, eight times a day. If I heard of the Paul McCartney song, like, 20 times a day, I'd probably be pissed. But I've never had to do that. So that's more of the difference for me. Nice. Wait. Like, I get it. Commander Fontana? The in charge of this entire operation. Printers Ooh, do suck. Yeah. I worked an IT job for literally uh -huh. like seven years. But they're very sorry IT jobs, I should say. Oh. Yeah, sure. Exactly. You get it, Maze. Alright, let's go. Good job, Frank. You're doing it. Alright, we're fighting the cultists now, right? Yeah, let's go to the cult first. We got some trouble in paradise, Brad. Hammond needs my Oh no, poor Frank. Huh. Let me know when that goes. Hmm. No, I did not work IT at a boob factory. Is my car stuck? Wow. Oh. I did it. Okay, that worked. It does. Then it's Christmas album and the, the name is Thunder Pussy. 
So you're telling me the band Thunder Pussy has a Christmas album? What the fuck's it about? Actually, wait, can this be a skip now I think about it? Nah, probably not. I don't think it's high enough. Also, the one good part of the game, they bring back the cultist. Hunters? Yeah. I, I hold on. Mazed. Mazed. For anyone who doesn't know about my IT background, let me tell you something really quick. Guess who got to take care of the zebras? Not only did I work IT, I worked in an area that had zebra printers. If you know, you know. No, not that one. I'm glad you followed me for my disdain of zebras, because holy Nobody fuck, I hate zebras. Like Absolute garbage? Yeah, the zebra printer is uh, pretty fucking awful. Uh, hold on, let's heal, because I don't miss... I'm, not, I'm just healing because I don't want my screen to be black and white. There we go. Zebra's terrible? Yeah, I mean, it's good at what it does, but, uh... Yeah, it's pretty fucking bad to deal with. Another day, another yep. Origin shipping? Yep. Oh, my favorite part, by the way. Pluto Syndrome. Uh, I kept having to repair the zebra printers. And every time, I would have to replace the fucking roller, because the goddamn people who would work with them didn't know how to cut off a fucking label. And what they would do is they would take a knife to the printer to cut off the labels. When all they had to do was like slightly pull it. Yes, they would take box cutters to my fucking printer. And then I'd have to keep buying new rollers. And then manager's like, oh, why isn't the printer working? You morons keep fucking taking a knife to it. Stop cutting open my printer. I have to fix it. I'm going to bitch. Oh, yeah, they are. They totally are. There we go. Kill. Wait, why aren't you in the costume? Oh, you have the reindeer. That's why. There we go. Oh, no, I put signs. I did put signs. That's my favorite part. I did put signs up. People don't listen to them. This post apocalyptic barter system is really working for me. There's so many ways of doing it, is the funniest shit. There are so many ways where the answer is just please don't fuck my printer up. Hey, can I need a vehicle? Is there any vehicles around? What the fuck's all the cars? I mean, I guess I could run on foot, but I kind of need a car. Huh. Alright, I guess I'm not getting a car. Really? Really? Nothing? No car? No. I see one. Oh yeah, and then they bet you it doesn't work, and then you have to fix it anyway, and then... Uh, yeah. There I am. What the fuck's a samosa, Chad? I don't know what samosas are. I'm guessing something... Tested. It's not a car, it's a truck. Morning Mars Cakes. Oh my god, I can't even make it through. Delicious? I believe it. I don't know if I've had them, though. Maybe I have. No, those are Samoas. Customers don't read? Oh, they don't. They do not. Whee. There you are. Yep, all of that for a van that barely fucking fit. Jar has it a piss poor job on this wall. So we're gonna blow it up. Alrighty. Indian Siri pastry. Ooh, I think I have had one. Hey chat, check this out. Alright, so one of my favorite parts of the game. Check this out. Ready? Damn, not exactly subtle. 
Good job, Frank. Shouldn't we do something about this alarm? I think I have had some Osas then. Ooh, they probably are. They do sound good then. Never mind. They do sound good. I think it's great you wait there. Like wontons will curry. I do love curry. Yeah, I hope you're having a great morning, Mars Cakes. All right, let's heal. And my axe. There. All righty. My Pac-Man attack. Well, there you go. Sounds like good times. Also, murder all of these guys. Honestly, I need to do this a lot more. Moida. Didn't Frank die in the first one? No, it's left up. All right, so the end of the Rising 1, you don't know what happens to Frank. You just know he does escape. And it's left to be um, open-ended. Um, the thing is, they never actually tell you what happens, and you find out Frank West lived the events of Dead Rising 1. Um, he ends up trying to take down Phenotrans with Chuck Green. And that's how Dead Rising, uh, you know. That's how Dead Rising Taste West ends. And then Frank doesn't come back until this game. Well, that's the way it goes. It's a weird thing, but yeah, Frank West isn't dead. Hey, Think fast. I like how they got me midair with a fucking RPG. The guy's firing a rocket launcher. How the hell are you gonna give me midair, lad? Very good. Good morning, Mocha Claire. We have a great day today. Dead Rising 3. Yeah, Dead Rising 4 doesn't get a lot of love for a few reasons. Um, they certainly seem to be uh, as a bit of the black sheep of the series. Which, I know, it makes sense it is. Not to say the game is terrible, terrible. It just, you know. It's definitely not a game that's going to be getting all the love uh, for a variety of reasons. So, I think that's the best way to really describe this game. Are you not dead? What the fuck? There. Now you're dead. Good. Yeah, dude, the rock is like fucking auto aimed, right? Oh, hell no. You weren't invited. And who invited you? All right, there we go. Also, there's like an upgrade you're supposed to use, but I think they just stop caring at this point because you can just run through this. Like, I'm not saying that that's like a programming error. It's just there's a strict moment where they want you to kill everything, but once you break everything, you can just sort of leave. And the game's pretty chill with you just walking out the front door. Like, I don't actually know what they wanted to make the pacing of this game. Exactly. There's a head attached to a cheerleader's butt. Ah, of course. Gotcha. Hey, we got a cheerleader emote now. Also, these birds are not going to shut the fuck up. My god. I owe you one, Hammond. Good luck, Frank. Give Fontana hell. My sword. Do I have, like, another, like, three minutes of fucking... Oh, right. There we go. You know, it probably would have been, yeah. I'm just saying, it's a great emote. I'm glad chat's been loving it. It is a fantastic emote. I like the sparkle combo, too. It's good. You love it? I'm glad. I figured it'd be fun to have a cheerleader emote. Commander Fontana has reviewed all progress on Project Saturn. No to... No test subject quite like a live one. Hey there. It is actually, yeah. Uh, I wanted to make it because I got rolled the record in Live Up Chainsaw, and I like cheerleaders. Oh. I 
Are you sad, Cat Cruxy? But why? Is it because I have bread? Or because we're burnt? Hmm. Or is it because of the cheer email? Good. Most good. It's so beautiful. I'm glad. I'm glad. Honestly, I like I like cute emotes. I like really cute emotes. Which is somewhere else. Okay, gotta keep looking. Well, the whole goal of this game is the military wants to use zombies to pick fruit, and you can't really make a combo weapon that picks fruit. So. I smell zombies. That's the that's the catch. You know? Come here, you good. I wanna say there's a machete around here. Yeah, the the plot of this game you find out isn't the fact that uh you know they recreated zombies, it's the fact that they're gonna use the zombies for like manual labor. And then the zombies kind of have their Planet of the Apes moment where one of the zombies gained sentience and decided, hey, wait a minute. No. What? Oh yeah, sorry chat. This game is literally fucking Planet of the Apes. I'm not kidding. This game even makes a reference to Planet of the Apes. And one of the zombies straight, straight up gets a Caesar moment. There we go. Where's this intel lockup? Amazon warehouse? Damn, Not quite. Here. But that did make me laugh at least a little bit. Also, oh, Day of the Dead? Yeah. The tag has coordinates. I think Dead Rising 1 does that better, Davey. Okay, Unless luckily I have a bit of time to chill, so let's go to the window. I need to follow, by the way. So they raided Barnaby's lab on November 25th. That'll be the date I need to find the right info. Do I know my Dead Rising? Do I know my Dead Rising, by the way? November. Yes. See? So, yes. Nice and easy. You are one sexy little surveillance vector. I'm going to take you to a computer and watch you so hard. Now, let's see. See? Nice and easy. Hey, take it easy. Have a good one, Barnard Filler. What the hell? All right, let's go. Oh, shit. Fontana. You don't scare me. I All right, time for the boss fight. Out. Who's going to win? Let's military go. brass or an overweight reporter? Oh, we're doing good, Harry Mason. Oh, so you get to watch this cutscene because it's fucking hilarious. I said that Frank falls down the stairs, so you get to watch the intro. But thank you very much, Harry Mason, for the 16 months of Tier 1. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors once again. Thank you. Hope you are having a great day today, and hope you are doing well. Oh, right. I know I want to keep the acid for this section, because uh, acid works really good on Fontana. This has gone on long enough. Fuck. Oh, right, she's dead. Doing good? Nice. Yeah, Frank's kind of a monster, isn't he? Obscurus had He's a strong I... lad. Very strong lad, chats. What can we say about Mr. Frank, huh? What can we say about him? You know what I can say about Frank? The man's a fucking monster. Oh, so we'll see if we do mini golf chats. I will say right now that the time for mini golf might be. Uh, less than you'd expect to possibly go for it. Frank's a tank. He is a tank. Guess that's it for Obscurus. Hey, Frank West is BD. That's why he knows fashion style. Frank, Frank, can you hear me? 
Let's go. Honestly, though, the bread was a good idea. I'm saying right now, like, I've been yawning a lot less since I had the bread. You know why? I was a little bit hungry. Hammond, are you there? So bread was certainly the move. Yeah, grab anus. I usually go for long periods of time. I want. I've been wanting to go harder lately. And you know, literally first week back from GDQ, you know I gotta go hard. You you know I. Do. I'm all about a momentous return of dank gameplay. No, oh, not the bread sandwich. No bread sandwich. Not allowed. All right, making it back. I don't know who Frank Castle is, so you got me there. No, no whipped cream shakes. I already had that. Not good. I would eat a garlic bread sandwich, but I don't want any bread sandwich. I would like regular sausage. I don't eat sausage. I can't. Yeah, you unleashed. I'm a baby face again. I like being a baby face. It's a lot better for me, I think. It's in lockdown, but something's not right. Check it out, then call me. Good morning to you. This car's gonna blow up, and I'm kind of worried about that. I mean, I guess we'll see what happens with it. Anyone? Okay, this sounds Thanks sort for the help. Perfect. Look, Chad, I saved Claire. You're welcome, Claire. This car's gonna blow up in a moment. This place is out of control. Gonna find some higher ground, get a Exactly. See, I saved her. I'm good. I wasn't actually trying to save her, I, I just kinda ran her over and the game counted it. Check her facial hair out. I mean I'm happy being clean shaven. I think it's a better look for me. Like I said, chat, we're entering a new era of Ecdysis. I'm trying I, you already got animated emotes, I've been working hard. I'm getting more content. I stopped playing League of Legends. So. I'm doing good, chat. Those aren't some. Now let's see if I can see. Oh, wow. Right. Well, I have I'm popping off now. There we go. Flashing orange lights. What do they mean? BDO. Well, uh, oh, Black uh, Desert Online. Oh, of course. That was what it was, man. That's why I, I'm not even on Bumble. I can't get discriminated by Bumble anymore because I'm no longer on Bumble. I stopped using the dating app back in, like, I don't know, fucking 2018 or something like that. It's been a bit. Hold on. No, I wasn't banned by Bumble. They didn't ban me. I need to heal soon. Hmm. How much time? Probably like six hours a night. Like, give or take. Like, not exactly entirely, but like, I would definitely say that's accurate. Yep. I've been working out more. I, which, you know, I gotta get back into it on Sunday. Which is funny, because it sounds like, oh, you're working out again. Why are you working out today? Because I started my workout in the middle of the fucking week, like a dumbass. Which I was told better than nothing, but like, I gotta wait till Sunday. Is being fire Tinder better? What, you mean on t uh, the dating app Tinder? I don't use Tinder either. When I was on Tinder, I only posted my world records, and I that went about as well as you expect it to go. Really? Really? There. I heard that. I'm, I'm starting up again on Sunday. 
Like, what a Chad trap. move? Exactly. I'd cry with relief, but I need to focus on not pissing myself. God, I hope Ham is all right. What do you mean? She's not here? Tom's people took what her. What a move. And Jordan. We tried to go back yeah, I must have deleted the app because of too many messages, right? Tom's probably holding her at the farm. I'll go check. Keep your radio on. I'll that was the plan the whole time. Thanks, bud. Then there's miserable app for most dudes. I mean, I used it when I was in college and shit. Like, I don't really use... It's not a good place for me to be. I'm cool not using Tinder. Oh, but how's it going, Slicky? Hope you're doing good. Welcome on in. Did the guy die? I kind of need the weapons vendor. Where the fuck is he? Where's where's the weapons vendor? What the fuck? Come on, man. We, you, gotta check on Hammond. Fine. We fuck it. I'm leaving. Actually, no. I kind of need the weapons vendor. Hold on. Did the weapons vendor die? If I ever see Tom again, I'm gonna use yeah, I guess. Wow. We hold still day. I play video games online. Uh, I don't know. Hey, I have a buddy who found his wife on Tinder. Uh, do it live. Oh, doing sister. Great to see you. Alright, I'm a little bit worried though that I don't have a gun I want to have. Bop. Uh, so I need to find uh, missiles and grenades. Or crossbow and grenades. Alrighty. Inside. Good. That's gun. Crossbows are upstairs, I think. Yep. Oh no. Got him. Reloading. Okay, I need to find some grenades now. I saw Malikil Strad. Well, there you go, natural. More part two. Okay. That's um a lot of scuff marks on the ground. There we go. Aha! Secret entrance! Wait, what the shit? A secret entrance? For real? No Hammond. Okay, I gotta be careful. Alright, maybe you mean, I, it's fine to meet significant- I had a buddy of mine who got married off Tinder. I don't think it's bad to get married off Tinder, even. Take the masked boys and meet me at the Kippix. Masked boys? So... I'm really just saying it is certainly not an easy thing to do. Is it manageable? Yes. Is it easy? No. I've seen these yeah, I can't complain. I'll be doing good, Dark Sonata. Where the fuck's... Th oh, there it is. Okay, so I need to find, like, two bombs. Maybe a knight. Oh, there you go. Where's the knife? Broadsword. Alrighty. Uh, where the fuck are the grenades? I know there's grenades around here. Well, I got a bunch of crossbows. Yep, a shitty hero for America's shittiest town. Well, that should be fun, shouldn't it? I think I find, I think I find some shit. This is our turn. I give me the car. Oh, but, yeah, there you go. It's trying to work. Yeah, we're doing good, Dark Sonata. Hell, I'm just saying as well, but for my buddy who got married on Tinder, he's still married to his wife. Oh, uh, and she's pretty great, actually. I like I like his wife. Kind of she's nice. Maybe I should check that out. We are a mind, young apostle. Alright, time for the Walk Scare around. King. Those farms creep me right the hell out. Wait, am I taking a car in here? Yes, actually, I took a car in here. Okay. Alright, I mean, I'm cool with that. 
Hey, you never know. If it clicks, it clicks. Who said you could throw a party? I usually don't think too much of it. If shit happens, it happens, chat. I think it's a good way of putting it. No risk, no reward? I mean, I, I feel like there's never seen risk in, I don't know, something else. Oh god, this guy's beating my ass. Uh, there should be resources in here for my weapons later. Um, I like how a meat hook counts as a knife, by the way. I mean, that resin's fun. Oh god. Oh, don't kill me. Hold on. Alright, cool. That's fine. Come on, kill him, Frank. That's fine. Rule the Warcraft. What a Chad move. Oh, uh, yeah. So you can make sure that you looking what you don't have. I mean, I don't worry too much, I suppose, what I'm saying. I'm just happy with my day to day. Hey, my Reaper. Oh, God. Ooh, that's a fucking fast heal, isn't it? Um, I think I should be able to get it from here. Yeah, okay. Dead. Alright, good shit, he's dead. Frank, I just figured out who that guy is. It's the elementary school trauma teacher. Uh oh. Sorry about that. Oh, here we go. A lot of eyesores. Scooby Doo reference. Which one? A lot of ice swords. All ice swords, chat. Remember, Dead Rising 4 speedrun, all Ice Swords. I have one Blambo, by the way, and I'm kind of worried about that, because I kind of needed to buy a gun with all my money, but apparently the merchant just fucking died. Also, let's get that sword. It really is just all Ice Swords. That's Dead Rising 4 in a nutshell. It's all Ice Swords. Just Ice Sword, Ice Sword, Ice Sword, Ice Sword. All right, well, we'll see. Ah, I get to get some nice rest after this run. So that should be nice. Oh yeah, assisted, are you drinking any more Natter Days? My man assisted had some Natter Days. All right, hold on. I can go through here. I should be able to make the jump, I think. Let's try it. Woo! Are we not human? Huh? Did Made we it. not sacrifice everything to preserve our own? Is that Tom? Sounds like it's coming from the Jansen, roof. wow. Good job, Frank. So Alright, the second half of that sentence is much sadder, so I'm sorry about that. I was about to say, oh, meeting your fiance and wow sounds nice. And then you mentioned she found a guy who plays Apex. I'm assuming you don't play Apex, because otherwise you would have mentioned you played Apex. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully you're doing as okay as you can. Genuinely dodge bullet? Are you married? You guys are the worst zombies ever, like the Hitlers of zombies. Ah yes, chat. The Hitlers of zombies. What a classic line out of Dead Rising. Definitely my favorite part of the the witty dialogue is always my favorite part of this franchise, you know? Like, the lines, the Hitlers of Zombies. Well, that's the best one, Shudu. Dead Rising 1 is definitely the, uh, the game. Anyway, heroic leap. Pop. Alright, so this is kind of why I need the- Oh, I can make another Lambo, thank god. Okay. I am going to kill you for that, Tom. This'll do. One. 
shit. Uh, not yet, not yet, not yet. Hold on. Not yet. I keep, like, going early when I don't need to go that early. Now I do that. Okay. Literally edging my health state. Alright, GG. Hey, very nice, Dashama. I hope it goes well. Now we just have anyway, here's my favorite skip. Now I just have to kill a robot zombie. Now I just have to kill a robot. You just fucking leap off the cliff. Hey Brad, I'm heading back to the sewers. Hammond's people are gonna clear the way. For okay. You. you see, this is what happens when you're not a dick all the time. Too bad you can't see what finger I'm holding up. B. Now I just have to kill a zombie robot marine. I like how we just ignore all of them, by the way. We just run past them. It's like, okay, we're done. All right, Brad, this is it. I'm going after Calder and getting that hard drive. All right, evac chopper. All right. Funny enough, uh, usually I like having a Molotov, because, like, you're supposed to use night vision in this part. Like, the eye sword kind of works for a light source, but also I never actually use my eyes. I, like, I kind of do, but I just followed the mini-map on the bottom right. Which is kind of funny, because you'd fully expect, like, hey, maybe I should go the right way. Nope, follow the mini-map. What's the point? The point is, to feds like me, there's nothing more dangerous in this world than a journalist who stop at nothing to There we go. And if there's two of them working together, shit. I think we're past that. We'll see. All right, hold on. Almost, almost. Yeah, I wonder if I could have skipped that and actually got the photo. Can I? No. Okay, I saw the kill. I mean, it was worth a shot. Come on. Almost there we go. All right, bombs. Where would you like to be dropped? You're, you're kidding me. Bingo. No, okay, okay. For a second, I was like, did I softlock the game by not letting me plant these fucking bombs? Like, I would have laughed, but I also may have cried. I would have cried maybe if... Oh, there's a Molotov. Okay. If Calder God. didn't hear that, then at least I know he's ugly and deaf. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so Molotovs are nice here because it gets dark and I don't use, uh... You know. Night vision. Are these sewer arenas? Uh, I think they really wanted to fix it on zombie combat because they thought, hey, people like killing zombies, right? And then they thought that's all Dead Rising was. Which I guess is not entirely wrong, but still. That's, I think, the general idea. But this is why having a Molotov is good here because you can actually just run through here with being able to see. So if you have any issues, you just sort of book it. There we go. And see, I wasn't kidding about the plan of the Apes thing. They have like a fucking hard drive. And since they're like top knowledge, and he has a Caesar moment. I think he even mentions the, the word Caesar to this guy. I've got the hard drive. I'm on route. Need extraction. All right. Oh no, I'm on fire. Oh no. Out of the way, you. Ah, oh, I'm smashing. Welcome back. Good morning to you. Hope you're having a great morning. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We're doing some nice Dead Rising 4 right now. Finishing up the marathon pretty strong, I'd say. Like, I kind of fucked around with some of the cutscenes, but in all honesty, I'm still gonna be so fucking far ahead even watching the cutscenes. Like, it ain't too bad. Almost done, almost done. 
Save a little money in 217 months. Bring out my inner suck? Exactly. You see the new emote, by the way? We got a cheerleader emote, and it's pretty fucking great. But hope you're doing great today, and hope you're doing well. Hey, thank you for the follow, by the way. Yes, do enjoy the emotes and the scissor sale of mine. Thank you very much. And yeah, a lot of people will actually sleep to the stream because I have a pretty cozy voice. I don't yell a lot, and really, it's just the sound of every gamer playing that day. Which, in most cases, horror games don't get obscenely loud, even with all the fucking firepower here. I like it. It's a good vibe. It's a very good vibe. Alright, looks like I'm like barely ahead of this shit. And there it is, right there. Ah, thirsty. All right, almost done, chat. Almost done. Oh yeah, I guess I lost count. Seventeen. I'm keeping count, chat. Don't you worry. I'm still keeping count. All right, time for the final boss. Oh no, it's Vic. It's a chase. You know, I don't actually know if you can really lose her. Oh my gosh, really? Maybe, maybe I do. Maybe I learned very quickly that I can lose her. Jesus Christ. Well, luckily for me, I can make it surprising my distance with the glitch. Because Vic doesn't really know how to jump up the staircase. It's faster. She doesn't know how to do it. See, nice and easy. You actually get really close to her because she doesn't really uh, have a plan on where she's going for the most part. I mean, I guess we learned this in a moment that that's supposed to be the entire point of this section. But like, by jumping down, you can get really close. The problem is though, you don't want to get too close. Because if you do, she'll flashbang you. Like that. Could I have made a combo weapon off the grenade she threw at me? with? A is that what the game was telling me right there? Oh, I got hit. That's fine. I mean, that's fucking hilarious if true. Could really use a hand in here. Vic's running through Caribbean Cove. Okay. Hang on a minute. Head upstairs. There we go. See? See, that's what I was thinking. Grab the grenade midair, make a blast from the past. We're good to go, right? You better know what the shit you're doing, Vic. Hey, the Vic! There we go. <laughs> All right, now it is time for quite literally like a giant boss fight. Oh no, I'm getting my ass beat. And then Frank never lived again. I can't believe it. Here lies Frank. He never scored. Alright, time for the actual fight. This fight fucking blows because it doesn't matter what you do. Like, he'll always just take a certain amount of damage. You're supposed to get the mech suit and it's just a series of waiting for shit. There we go. Also, my arms are actually sore and I like that feeling. Is it weird to enjoy being sore, chat? Oh, nah? I don't know, it's a good job. I know it's a job well done for me. It's a boxing match! See, horror boxing, chat. All right, you're going to get the energy boost right now. No, not yet. Oh my God! See? Do I? Huh. Well, good to know about that then. All right, give me the the tree. Oh, Christmas tree. I'm gonna beat the shit out of me. 
I count it, it rhymes. It tracks. Yeah, so this fight sucks because every time you damage him, he'll gain health back. So it's not really a fight, like, it's... You just sort of keep, uh, hitting him. Also, hold on, can I do this? Uh, brawling, uh... There you go. There we go. See? I see. It, it pretty much is an auto score because like you'll always be taking the same amount of time. You just have to, you get into a certain amount of damage and then you fight his goons and then you get into a certain amount of damage and then you fight his goons and that's the whole fucking fight. Thank you for the follow up, by the way. Give back my ice sword. Thanks. Oh no, he's beating the shit out of me. You back? Welcome back. Hold on. There we go. Almost. Oh god, I got punched. I am Neoletta. The very same, actually, yeah. This is a Christmas game, yeah. Fuck. Really, you're still going down, huh? There, now you're running away. Alrighty, now you wait. See? How riveting. You get him low enough, he takes damage. You get him low enough. Heals, you get him low enough. Vic, That's it. Now would be a good time for that plan of yours. Almost ready. Just count them. <sighs> oh, well, thank you, Grim. That's some value. Enjoy the stream. All right, where's the guy? There he is. Slap. In a moment, I'm gonna get a better weapon, the electricity, but I need to wait for that. For now, the Christmas tree will do. Hold on. Alright, uh. Come on. Wait, I didn't have the weight throw. Vic Chu. Chu. Like, yes. uh, yeah, the second one. That sounds like it hurt. Yeah, thought you like that. Alright. And now I finally have the actual decent power up. Why didn't we team up earlier? See? Here we go. And why is this weapon good? Because you can do like a full combo and then whenever he's about to interrupt you, you just sort of do that. And, like it mostly works. Oh, so close. Almost there. Oh, come on. Okay, almost. There doesn't so much fucking health in this arena. So you, you're almost never going to die. Correct, Ratchet Fire. Okay, very, very correct with that, that assessment. And then you just sort of slam these guys. See? Like, it's a stronger melee punch. They just sort of die. And then uh, it all works out. 
kill. Good job. One, two. Good. Exactly. Just gonna pound some guys. You see, yesterday we were doing that with a Hellblade. We can't take more than three guys at once. In this game, dude, we're taking a lot more than three guys at once. That's because Frank West is actually BD. Since Lane and Dead Rising 4? Yeah, that's Dead Rising 4 in a nutshell. Like, I still want to mention, I don't think this game's absolutely terribly bad. It just, it's kind of shit like this that just sort of... It's one long fight, that's it. And like, the fight's not really a skill expression thing. You're just... Don't die. Hit him enough. Which, I think that tracks. Oh god. I hope I don't die by the way. It'd be hilarious if we did, but uh, I don't want to die. Oh no, I got punched. I died in skill issue? I guess that's fair. Okay. Last phase, and then we're almost done. I wasn't kidding when I said it. It's just. Do damage, he heals. Do damage, he heals. Fight the waves. Do damage, he heals. And uh, rinse and repeat until he dies. I wouldn't mind if he healed, if there's more meaning behind it. Like, that's my problem. Like, if you can out-damage him or knock him down, like, here's a good example. Uh, Harry Z. Wong in Dead Rising 3. It's a similar fight, you know, you do, no, you do enough damage, he'll start healing. But you can knock him down from his pedestal, and that's the cool thing about it. Like, I don't mind that he heals because there's a way to prevent him from healing. I hear that, Manicor. It is a bit of a sleepy... How do you think I feel right now? They did, yes. They did. <laughs> Alright, now you just kill. Get it? Because it's a Christmas game. And then we're ringing the New Year. Because it's a holiday, chat. Do you get it? Hooray, I won. I only lost 13 seconds. After all that, I only lost 13 seconds. You don't get it? Because he's beating the shit out of him. He's ringing his lights. But also, the new year is like, you know, baby new year. Wait, fruit. Holy fuck, I love fruit. You don't have to tell me twice. Grab anything you need. And let me know when you're ready to go. Alright. There we go. Another cop named Brad? Yeah, I mean, this guy was in Dead Rising 3, though, apparently. Nah, I'm not gonna do the Zombie Frank DLC. Although, I did offer to possibly do mini golf, but I don't think we hit that, so. We'll see. I'll get this gate open. We have, like, about a seven minute auto scroller left in the game. It is me waiting for seven minutes. Come on. We're good now, right? We're good? Also, that's a goddamn big sword. Look at this shit. Then we'll be good. You need to get out of Ruler Metro. Go. I wasn't kidding when I said it's a very powerful weapon. Hold up, Frank. You got some Morgan now? Yeah. There we go. Damn it. Frank, where the hell are you going? Just getting one last look around. You know, for old time's sake. And there we go. I do like the fact that you can do a lot of skipping by just running to the destination if you know where it is. Like, the people are supposed to meet you here, and they actually go faster. See, look, there he is right there. Huh. Brad, you cool, buddy? Brad. Brad? Oh. 
Rad. You good? Good. Journalist, inventor, godsend. Maybe he is waiting for Vic. Hmm. Frank, did you hear that? Unfortunately, they sound miffed. Get your ass to the sky bridge now. Park out. There we okay, that I guess this is bugged out. Cool. No idea what the fuck Brad was doing, but I'm cool with that, I guess. Did everyone get a souvenir? PTSD counts, right? It did for me. Well, cool. You know, as long as it works, he, he fixed it. Okay. Let's go. I'm not sure why, but who am I to judge? Alright, now I just wait like seven minutes. What? You got some place better to be? Yes, actually. Almost done. The timer's gonna show up, and then uh, we just wait. Give me a second with the store. No, no, no! We don't have a second. <sighs> oh no, zombies! I can't believe it. Who would have ever guessed zombies in a zombie game? Not me. Was the costume Morgan from Darkstalkers? It's usually a cosplay for hot chicks. So Frank West uh, likes to break the mold. If you know what I mean. See you chat in six minutes. Are you guys isn't a hot woman? No, I can't say he is. Not exactly. Just lobbing grenades. Beautiful. Alright, Flambo time. Cool. Keep moving. Go up, up. Hustle, hustle. Alrighty, let's move. Come on, Vic. Five minutes, chat. Five minutes or nothing the whole thing. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's a PB. Saying right now, that is a PB chat. We can make a stand here, so the next chopper can get zombie bomb. My people won't let us down. We're getting out of here. All right, Vic's taking some damage. We may help her out. Okay, good. Let's be uh, fair to Silent Hill. Ah, uh, the Silent Hill marathon was fun. I like doing that one too. No, he said my people. I there's subtitles, you can read them. Read read the subtitles, they're there. No, that's it's reaching. Yeah, I use subtitles like hell. It's always good. One. You can't read good. Well, then it's fatal. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. Almost done, chess. We're almost done with the whole game. About a few minutes left. About three and a half. Alright, almost. But yeah, this is the actual final boss. They ended on a uh, wave defense. They ended on fucking cabin. Chat, you know how I feel about cabin, right? I fucking hate cabin. What should our final boss be? Cabin. Perfect. 
You all know how I feel about cabin. Yep, it's a cabin. That's what it is. I mean, it, it is a Capcom game. I've seen how this movie ends. zone. Yeah, like a little bit. Chats, two minutes. Oh, really? That's a relief. Fuck yeah. Nice wait. Two minutes were done. Yep, two minutes on the dot now. That's just a plushie to kill that guy. I'm fucking dead. I guess that's fine. Oh no, I'm getting my ass beat. Can you imagine I die right now and I do the seven minutes again? That'd be very embarrassing, so let's not do that. Clap! Good. Hey, we're getting there. All right, one minute left. Right at the end, chat. I've been enjoying this shit. Yeah, this is pretty much the Rising 4 and why this game has some issues. It fucking takes forever, especially at the ending. Keep moving. Let me go ahead. Um. Okay, 30 seconds, chat. We're counting down. Can you hit this up? Mini golf circle? No. You're 17 away. Uh, honestly, I'd rather take this over the drones, because the drones are fucking 20 minutes. Well, this is like 7. And honestly, it's not a bad seven. Sag, there's always next time. It was a valiant attempt. Wait, I had another Blambo? Jesus Christ. And chat, it is now GG. 90503, we did it. Yes! Wait a minute, I'm actually ahead by 18 minutes. What the fuck? Hey, I get upload this to YouTube! Yay! If you've been watching this on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah! We did it. God damn, wait, that's actually good. Now I'm gonna get some great sweep tonight. 7906, you're damn right. Honestly, not bad. Like, I'm kinda happy this is a big improvement. Sweet GG. I mean, I got world record in Dead Rising 3 for this. Like, not even kidding. Like, I got about, like, a wide margin. Because I'm the only one who really, you know, runs all bosses for all the games. Exactly. Check is also... Oh, no. Frank died and the franchise ended with him. I can't believe it. They definitely didn't make more games, right? It's weird. It's not weird they retconned it, because they were cowards who didn't want to stay with their decision. They wanted to kill off Frank, and then they realized, uh, you know, they can't really do that. Yep. Let's see. He is dead rising? I don't know about that one. I don't know. Hmm.
GG. If Frank could have it his way, and we'll watch the endings. Then you watch the other one. I mean, yeah, I guess I could upload a Dead Die Rising 3 PB, but it's kind of weird. Drunk a boss in over 230 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you very much. Well, you're doing good today. Frank lived as Frank's he not here to tell the story his costumes. way. He can't load it up with spicy embellishments. I mean, I heard Frank say twice. Listening he did, notes, Drunk Opossum. He did. I kind of wonder how this story would have gone. It was the Morrigan cosplay. You know what? I, I get it. Would he have it. defeated Montana in single combat? Refused to conspire with the evil Dr. Blackburn. Added a sweet romance with the city engineer. I'm sure his second book would have Poor sold Frank. Well first. And that's where the franchise Frank's leaves us, Chad. A story. So he's got to trust me to do it. Whether he wanted it that way or not. I'm just saying. If Vic was playable, we probably would have liked her more. The truth is better than fiction. There we go, 23530. I'm glad there's an IGT in this game that's weirdly accurate in some ways. We did it! 43%, hell yeah. I'm a blogger. Anyway, it's gonna be in the tweet, what? Do I, uh... Do I do it now? I'm down. You want to be in the tweet chat? Type a... Uh, I don't know. Type the cheerleaders. Let's do that. Oh, wait. I'll do thumbs up. Imagine a low percent of rising run. Oh, God. I don't even know how well it can go. So. Ow. I hit my hand. All right, let's uh, get the tweet ready. Enjoy the song, chat, while I get the ready to... Hey, name of the GG. Um... Chat, like my, uh, like my tweet. Here you go. You wanna sleep now? I fucking hear that. Cause, uh, it was killer. I mean, we did good, but I've been streaming for like nine fucking hours. Almost ten hours. So. It went well. There's the tweet, chat. You know what? I think now 